lovely jewellery makers. How are we all? The sun is shining. It's a beautiful day. Oh. And we have our beautiful Monica. What more could we oh, possibly want? <laughs> Oh, it's lovely to see you. Yes, it's and you, you, were say, you were saying this weekend you spent a lot of it beading. I did in your little element. I got lots of seed beads. Yes, I, well, this is it. <laughs> if, if you were to if you were to describe heaven in your world, it would include seed beads, wouldn't it? It would probably sitting outside in the garden, seed beading. Perfect. Then we can mix the two. Probably. Idyllic with a barbecue on the go as well. Oh yes. Oh, that's pretty amazing <laughs> to me. I'm there. I am there. Well, you have got truly a fantastic Monday morning show. It is Monday, isn't it? Sorry, I'm it so is, confused yes. what day of the week it is now. Um, a truly amazing Monday um, because we have Monica and her mate, incredible talents with beautiful sea beads. As you can see, it's a vision of colour across this desk, which I'm going to get to in a few seconds. But so last night via WhatsApp, I was having a little convo with your producer um and you know producer ross and it went sort of kind of generically the way they always do before a show you know here's this here's that here's this and you start uh, brilliant l i can just start prepping then by the way l something huge happened on the weekend oh really now you know the the, the love story that is ross at yeah. the moment and it is a wonderful love story and it makes me smile from ear to ear you know there's a baby roscoe on the way yeah. um this weekend he not only popped the question to his beautiful, beautiful Aww. fiance now. How amazing. Can we all say Aww. huge congratulations to our Ross? Oh, okay. Yeah! <laughs> Going to the chapel and you're gonna Aww. get married. Oh, Ross, I'm so happy for you. It's Aww. just wonderful, wonderful news. Aww. And do you know what? He put a post on Instagram and he was like, my heart is full. Um, you know, he proposed to his best friend. Aww. That's the, do you know what? If any, I mean, I'm, I'm only 44 years old, but if somebody was to say, what is the, what's the foundation of a solid marriage? It's friendship, isn't absolutely, it? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. that they definitely are. So how lovely is that? Aww. I know, I know. <laughs> kind of, kind of, um, I'll be honest though, uh, um, I couldn't, I couldn't concentrate on my prep then because I was like, oh, oh, that's so nice. Bless him. Oh, what, um, a, what a nice way to start the day. I know, oh. exactly. Weddings and babies. Oh. Wonderful. <laughs> um, so what is coming up on your Monday show? Well, you have got, first I'm going to start with your early bird because I'm really excited about these. We haven't seen them in a very long time. Um, you've got something that really beautifully tessellates together. Love this. Like I said, we don't see strands like this very often it's available right now so you can shop ahead on this one and um, you have these beautiful slices of gorgeous shell gosh that just screams summer holiday doesn't don't it? they just oh absolutely yeah you, you you want to go on holiday when you when you're definitely, working with something like this yeah. you need to be on holiday i'm going to correct that <laughs> yeah. sentence um so you can shop ahead on these they're in item number one on the website as we speak i mean i'm visualizing it maybe with some i don't know maybe coral colors um, and a nice as turquoise well. yes absolutely um well speaking of of, not turquoise oh, but a gemstone yeah. of distinct similarities that definitely has that ambience of the sea yeah. how about oh, the beautiful perfect. Larimar perfect. yeah I mean those two as a combination would be absolutely amazing um, and you can see these have to be some of the largest rounds we've had of Larimar full yes. stop and that was the first thing I saw when it came in yeah there. yeah you honed it on the Larimar I did, yes um, yeah <laughs> normally Larimar we see around if in if we're lucky in rounds they're about four millimeters in their yeah. size Whereas you can see these are, uh, what, seven to eight mil. Um, wow. So absolutely beautiful. They're coming up in today's show as, um, as well. So you can get hold of both of those. Um, your deal of the day today, listen to that. Mm. Just amazing sound. Your deal of the day today is a beautiful selection of three millimeter faceted rounds. Look at these. I love the three mil faceted rounds. You can do so much with the three mil faceted rounds. I mean, on, on the strand as they are, I think they're really beautiful. But when you start, you know, um, expanding your creativity. Absolutely. Yeah. Adding sea beads, maybe adding yes. simple elastic well, spacer beads. The demo that I'm going to do later, mm -hmm. I've added some size eight sea beads, but you could add in the three millimeter faceted beads instead. Wow. So yeah, they're pretty much the same size as your size eight seed. And you can see bead with three mil rounds. Of course, yeah. So they'd be perfect for that. And as you can see, you've got the most, be I'm 
look drawn to that one um, <coughs> absolutely beautiful gemstone example so they're coming up at 10 o'clock today um, we have got kits all about sea beads in the nine o'clock hour so check these out mm -hmm. yeah this is why monica <laughs> was in her um her absolute element we haven't done seed bead kits in a very long time have we, we haven't yes it's been quite some time and as you can see lots of different colorways beautiful jewelry monica as always amazing 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 um and then at 12 o'clock what's our kits in the 12 well, o'clock 12 o'clock we've got all the colored elastic They're gorgeous all the summery colors um and there's some gemstones in there as well mm -hmm. beautiful are they, are they new we've ne we've never had those before have we i didn't think so there's 300 wow. of each by the way it's a big quantity so make sure you're there at midday today to secure got yours. all different thicknesses there as well <clears throat> oh really are they in different yeah. gauges so, so you could incorporate them to your smaller stones uh, again they'd work perfectly with your uh, deal of the day today Absolutely. as well Absolutely. and your kits yes definitely. so there's nothing definitely. saying you can't do a stretchy bracelet in your seed beads no no you can do uh, stretchy seed beads yeah there you go nothing saying you can't do that there you go it's not, it's not a rule it's especially not. especially what's uh, <clears throat> what i'm going to do for my demo that'll work with seed beads as well perfect so there you go they're happening they're launching at 12 o'clock today um text in come and say hello i'm sure lots of you will want to share congratulations with producer ross because it's been a pretty amazing weekend for him and the sun <laughs> came out especially for you Aww. Aww. Love it. Oh, hello to you, Mandy. Hi, Ellen, Monica. Glad to see you're better. Um, and congrats to Ross. Oh. Yes, I'm much, much better. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are you, are you Paulie? No. Oh, okay, you are, that was aimed at me. Yeah. So I'm sorry I didn't turn up on. The, oh, I didn't just not turn up. I did say. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't just not turn up. I did just say. Yeah. Where's Elle? Oh, she just didn't turn up. Um, no, I did say. Yeah. No, I had Quincy again. I've had it too many times now, Quincy. But thankfully, I managed to nip it in the bud quite quickly with some antibiotics. Oh, so um, I'm all good now. Thank you. That's very kind of you, Mandy. Um, yeah. Keep those messages coming through because yeah, it's lovely. Just lovely. I just, oh, Ross, it just makes me go, oh. <laughs> babies warm, and warm fuzzy. It does. <laughs> Have a big softy, what, what, what do you know? Um, I tell you what, should we get cracking? Let's get cracking with one of your absolute essentials here, oh, jewelry yeah. maker. Um, this, as we've been talking about stretchy bracelets and also um, sort of your need for threading material. Now they are already set on the website. They come in a little bag, by the way, in a nice little pouch. Um, so if you have a look on the website, by the way, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com, um, click watch live. And then if you scroll down, You'll see all the items that we'll bring you. I've not, I've forgotten to mention that Tanzanite. How could you, Elle? Um, yeah, you've got that beautiful Tanzanite cabochon coming up as well. We've got the last remaining quantities of your, uh, um, of your uh, magnetic class. Thank you, Ross. Pearls. You can see some lovely peridot there. Some of your multicolored gemstone strands there. Some amazing um, keshis. Um, so, yeah, there's a load of selections on the website as we speak. Laramar looks. Some lovely black onyx, which we see very seldom. Um, um, single pearl you can see there, some nephrite, um, you've got your Alhambra inspiration. Do you know, it's funny, I was talking to, uh, to my husband over the weekend about the Alhambra. See, I talk about jewellery even when I'm at home. Um, and my husband, you know, we were saying it's not just ladies that wear the Alhambra. Yeah. My husband was saying, um, and he, he's, he, I think it's fair to say jewellery is not his thing. It's not his thing. But he actually said, Al, if ever we came into money, I'd buy myself an Alhambra necklace. Oh, nice. Yeah. Would you wear it too? Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, Tom was saying he'd wear a nice... And I was thinking he was talking about just a single. He wasn't. He was talking about, like, the mul you know, with lots of uh, Alhambra. Well, I think, I think men's and women's jewellery is kind of starting to overlap a little bit. I like, totally agree. All the pearls that yeah. men are wearing. Yeah. Totally agree. Um, so anyway, you know that everything's locked and loaded on the website, so you can shop till your heart's content. Remember, though, that they are only available until the top of this hour, so you do need to make those confirmations um, or until stocks last. Starting with some of your essentials, your beautiful threading materials. It is beautiful because uh, without your threading material, you can't make amazing jewellery, can Absolutely. you? Absolutely. And that's a really good colour of thread that you've got there, actually. It's not... It's not gold gold, it's almost like an antique bronze. It is. Oh, it's pretty, isn't it? So even if that was visible. Yes. One pounds and 99 pence. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I know. I know, there's the way to start your day, isn't it? One pound 99, essential, and I think that's the key word um, with your graphics right now. You need threading material, whether you're a sea beater, whether you're, uh, uh, well, any medium. 
if you're liking your jewellery designs, you're going to need your uh, your threading materials. And at £1.99, it's not exactly breaking the bank either, is it? Um, so make sure you do check out. And you get a little Brucey bonus, little little chiffon bag there as well. And I mean, the, these pools, they look small, but 10 metres, that's going to go a long way, actually. Yeah, you're yeah. going to make a lot out of yeah. that. Exactly. 10 metres, yeah. Yeah. I mean, especially, I'm, not, I'm, I'm rubbish at converting inches into metres, but you use, what, let's say 20 yeah, inches 50, of beading 50 thread. 50 centimetres, so... That's enough for 20. 20 necklaces. Or necklaces. Times yeah. how many spools you've actually Times got. Three spools, exactly. Yeah. So there's lots there. Um, again, make sure you do check them out. And uh, lots of items already will be snapped up on the website. Good morning to you, Veronica, Lynn. Hello to you, Isabel, Yorkshire. New customers getting involved as well. Welcome to the wonderful world of jewellery maker. Um, yeah, we're going to be bringing you lots of inspiration. It's lovely to have Monica in the studio once again. And again, these are going to work across every single hour, really, that of, of items that we are going to be bringing you. Your deal of the day, you'll need your threading material, um, your masterclass, yeah. you'll need, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, let's do the biggest magnetic class that surely we... Uh, it must be. Oh, sorry, I thought you said magnetic class. We'll do that next. Let's bring you the black onyx. I did mention a, it. It was just a teaser, wasn't it? I did tease you, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'd like to say it was intentional, but it wasn't. Um, yeah, earlier, I just said a few moments ago, we don't see black onyx very often. No. Um, and it is one of those beautiful black gemstones. Um, not all blacks are equal no. in terms of um, the intensity of the colour. Um, you actually have that really beautiful silky black luster with black onyx, um, whereas some other black gemstones can be quite matte, um, all beautiful in their own way. Um, but basically, uh, you're getting that amazing high luster from black onyx. It's a favourite amongst multiple high-end designers. Tiffany's and Co. certainly work with black onyx um, in abundance, and you can see why. It's a stunning gemstone. Um, in your faceted round, you get this absolutely beautiful, gentle graduation at £24.99. Pence. There's 40 available within our vaults. We're going to open up the graphics. Under £10. And I'm going to tell you we're not done there. Ooh. So I can show you black onyx in those high-end jewellers if you like. You know, like I said, it's, it's used sometimes in slices, sometimes yes. in rounds. Oh, no. uh, <coughs> here we go. Bleak room, uh, Cartier, this is, sorry. Cartier. I mean, beautiful in terms of that contrast between the sort of precious metal and diamonds. Tiffany's and Co. There you go. Nice. Very simple, beautiful. Yeah. How about some Bulgari then? Yes, please. I'll have a little slice, a slither of Bulgari uh, um, jewellery, effectively, uh, but genuine black onyx. How about Boucheron? Boucheron also. You could take inspiration from this look, couldn't you? I know it's not exactly the same, but you could, you could be inspired by. You could take six of these individual stones and create that lovely long line necklace. Um, how about Bleaker and Prince? They also work with uh, black onyx. Again, amazing. It's very dynamic in its appearance. Um, there's also the ring, which contrasts beautifully with what look like Zavarite garnets to me. Um, and some matching earrings. I think they're called cornflake earrings, oh, bizarrely. Right. I know. <laughs> well, we're at £9.99. pence. Looks amazing. I always think I can uh, sort of Coco Chanel stroke Dior inspired piece. Really lovely monochrome uh, um, contrast. In 55 seconds, we are going even lower. But remember, we only have 40 available. When it comes to black onyx, we don't see it very often. And when we do, it always flies out the door. I can totally see why. It's going to complement everything, isn't it? You know, whether you go Absolutely. monochrome or colour. And I mean, with pearls, it's very 1920s, isn't it? Love it. If you're looking for something that's black with luster, the only other thing I can think of is, is black spinel, but you'd never get that in sort of these sizes, would you? No. Very, and it wouldn't be that price tag. Yeah, because because there's agate, but agate has got some patterns, and it's not a, not a proper proper solid. It's black. not pure black, is it? Yeah, it's not pure black, and 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 jadeite to a certain degree as well doesn't have that 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 mirror like luster Absolutely, that you see yeah. within um within your black onyx love them all of course but yeah this if you want that Different high things, shine yes. then definitely black onyx is the one for you i can't believe we're going lower than 9.99 that's an incredible price point already but it's happening that's what happens here at jewelry maker um and especially in the eight o'clock hour I, I i yeah i can't believe you're going lower ross to be honest i would have thought if you if i was to call it i'd have said 14.99 oh my gosh that's amazing. I'd be snapping up some of these. Six ninety nine. If you were to ask me what these were going to, I would have probably said fourteen ninety nine. 
and, and that would have been me being cheeky. That's right. definitely a stash builder, isn't it? Because you're always going to need black. Yes. I mean, look at the call screens. You can yeah. see. Everybody loves it. Irene's multi bought. Well done. Perth and Kinross. Dawn's multi bought. Um, West Midlands multi bought. Linda, Denise, and Sheffield's multi bought. Maeve's multi bought. Neathport, Talbot. Irene's multi bought. Amazing. Um, yeah. I mean, we all recognise that's an absolutely amazing deal. But also, if you're great at maths, you'll realise that looks like about half the stock, I'd say, that's gone um, in a matter in a matter of minutes. We started with 40 of them. And, oh, yeah, that would be perfect with this, Ross. The oh, magnetic class would be amazing. Yeah, it's coming up. We've had a, requ a request, did you say, from Lancashire. Um, Lancashire, we'll bring it to you next. We'll bring it to you next, so do bear with us. Um, number 14, okay. Um, and you can do that, by the way, if you want to put send some requests into the studio. Drop us a message. We are live, so... Um, We'll always endeavour to bring that to you. Um, if you are thinking lovely long line necklaces and maybe adding uh, um, additional pearls or um, other vibrant gemstones, whichever way you choose, um, then maybe a statement class might, might fit. I think this is absolutely beautiful. It is certainly the biggest that we've ever done here at Jewelry Maker. Um, this is silver plated. So silver plated base metal. You've got that wonderful, again, mirror light cluster. Um, and look, we can bring your magnetic class to different sizes and I, not just aesthetically does it make a difference, but also um, if you are creating something that is on the heavier side, yeah. then you need to have confidence in the magnetic class itself. So precious metal plated, um, this is a 20 millimeter magnetic class. And I cannot bring these to air without saying the word revolutionary um, because that's what they are in my eyes. A magnetic class makes your jewelry wear so much easier, you know, instead of having to mess around with a fiddly uh, lobster claw you just put them in the same vicinity and they find one another now if you weren't with me on the original launch you uh, um, then you won't know where these will be going to or this rather will be going to um, it's an absolutely unbelievable deal for this beautiful magnetic clasp um, yeah actually I've just remembered Ross it's not 7.99 is, isn't it it's not 7.99 no we're going even lower and it's really contemporary as well if you make a feature of it. Yeah. And you were saying about the size, it's, it's not just the strength, it's also you want your piece of jewellery to look balanced, especially if you have the clasp showing somewhere. So if you have really big, chunky gemstones, it wouldn't look right with a little tiny no. um, magnetic clasp. No, and the, and, and the probability of you maybe pulling it um, yeah. if it's heavier. Yeah, exactly. Especially on a necklace. But aesthetically, it is yeah. a statement piece, isn't it? And it's something that I think, yeah, becomes very much part of the design as well. As if we are, we went lower than 7.99. Already lots of you there. So yeah, maybe you missed that launch. It only happened last week, wasn't it? Was it last week or the week before? Um, yeah, last week. There we go. Um, I know it wasn't long ago. Um, and I know they absolutely flew out the door as well. 7.99 is a great price, but it's not your price. It's only the second showing. How many have we got left? 70, okay. So, not really enough people, says Ross. I'll tell you what, he says, I'll crash to another price in a few moments and, and tell you that that's not where we're closing. But we want that 70 to sell out. If we're, gonna, if we're gonna do this for the second time, that's not your price. And think, those of you that are, are regulars here at Jewelry Maker know that, what comes after 6.99? <laughs> what a jewellery maker pricing. Do they do five ninety nine very often? Do they? No, not really. That's as much of a hint as I'm giving you now. <laughs> we don't tend to do five ninety nine prices. That's just I don't know why. It just it don't, we just don't. So that's as much of the hint as I can give you. And if you want a multi-buy like Lancashire, then I would be checking out nice and early. In 26 seconds, there's lots of you there with multiples in your baskets. Well done, Buckinghamshire, Linda, Valentina, Irene. In fact, every single person that checked out has bought multiples of these. Um, I don't think you're going to regret that. We've never done a 20 millimetres, not that I recall. 100% of bidders have multi-bought. Yeah, I, can t I would do as well. I would, I, would, I would do that too. I would be saying, right, I might as well get a couple of these whilst they're on air. Have we ever done a magnetic class of 20 mil i don't think so i don't think I we have seen one anywhere to be honest with you that no time. that's true that's very very true i think 12 mils the biggest that we've done before i might be wrong 4.99 only and it is precious metal plated as well so you have got that precious metal yeah. um quality within it too it's an absolutely beautiful clasp it's simplistic i think and oh. I, I you know 
It'll work with any style of jewellery. <coughs> Excuse me. You want something contemporary, whether you want something a bit more classic, mm. minimalist, anything, it'll work. Absolutely. Yeah. Totally. I'd be stocking up on those. There was only 70 of them. As I said, we've got people getting twos, threes, fours. I can see quantities like 14 in baskets. You will need to check those out if you want to guarantee those. Uh, Molly, hello to you. Ivy, Maeve, Christine, Sue, West Sussex, North Yorkshire, Lancashire, you're there as well. Um, remember, all of these items are only available until the top of this hour and then they will disappear. <laughs> they disappear. That's the catch. That's the only catch with your early birds. You have to check them out nice and early to guarantee your success. Amazing. Um, well done, everybody. And again, keep those messages coming through. We'd love to hear from you this morning because it's a particularly lovely Monday morning for us today. I saw Ross in the... Well, in, 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 was it in the canteen, Ross, or was it actually in the production office? Don't know. In the office, I'm like... <laughs> Hope I didn't make you feel uncomfortable, Ross, just by the bear cuddle. Bear cuddle. Just really happy for you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think he wins for having the best weekend out of all of us. Out of all, <laughs> hands down, definitely. And I thought I had a nice weekend. Yeah. I had a barbecue. I had a barbecue. Kids had a bounty castle until it all went Pete Tom. That even beats beating in the sunshine. <laughs> oh, what, bounty castles? No. Oh, the engagement. <laughs> the engagement. Definitely the engagement. <laughs> the castles maybe as well. But <laughs> oh, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Definitely engagement celebrations. Um, and can I just ask, Ross, did you celebrate the whole weekend? Because by that little little video that you uploaded, there was a lot of champagne. It was your one year anniversary yesterday. So those photographs are actually over the course of the year. Oh, OK. I just thought there was a lot of alcohol involved in your weekend, that's all. And I ain't judging, you know. Yeah, it deserves celebrating. Um, um, no, no, you haven't. <laughs> Ross, is, am I allowed to say that? Ross is saying, I'm surprised you said that because from that video, Elle, you can see that um, Ross has put on a bit of weight through the year. Do you know what that is, Ross? And it happens to us all, most certainly. It's you're happy. Yeah, it's happiness. Happy. Yeah. Uh, no, no, she hasn't. And she's pregnant, let's be honest. So she's allowed She's allowed to put weight on. <laughs> Bless her. Um, well done, everybody. Congratulations. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Now, we had a request, didn't we, come through from Lancashire? Well done. The quality of this Larimar is unbelievable. We always, always say the more exotic the blue, the, 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 the finer the quality of the Larimar. Look, you can see from there, it's a really beautiful, vibrant blue. Larimar is a one locational gemstone. For those of you that don't know, this is a gem that comes from the Dominican Republic um, and only in the Dominican Republic. It's actually a, a form of pectolite, rare form of pectolite that's solely in that location transformed to this beautiful blue. Um, that is your price point. We've set it there because there's only five. So we're not doing any of the pantomime. We've gone straight down to that price. These are huge pieces. Um, if you love Larimar, then we have got a selection coming up, um, including the biggest rounds that I've seen, different shapes as well. Um, that's coming up at 11 o'clock this morning as well. So if you love um, the beauty of this gemstone, which I don't know a single person who doesn't, to be honest. I think Larimar is one of those stones that everybody's obsessed with. Make sure you do check out, though, because like I said, we only had um, we only had five, um, and I'm straight away down to four. I've got Lynn there, Maker there, Buckinghamshire, Bernadette there, and Molly there. Um, if you all check out, in actual fact, it's sold out already. So don't let that put you off dialing through, though, and adding it to your baskets, because we do need those confirmations. Um, somebody's asked for number one and number two. Well, number one is your early bird. Um, so that's a lovely shell. So we'll be bringing that. Number two, we played just where? where? Oh, the Zhujiang pearls. So when are we going to do that? We'll do those just before the early bird. Um, but lovely requests. Um, there's also another, um, another, uh, let me show you this. We've got an amazing opportunity on beautiful. Look at the quality of that tanzanite. It's 1.5 carats. Um, you can shop ahead on it right now. It's an item number three. I'm going to tell you that this is going under 10 pounds, which is just madness. Wow. That's absolute madness for tanzanite. I tell you what, let's bring the graphics to air. 
for tan tonight. Make sure you check out your baskets on your Larimar. Um, now, a few of you have already got this in your basket, so well done for those of you. Look at the quality. Look, look, look at the quality, though. You know when tan tonight, colour is king, don't we? Um, we always, always, always uh, um, say, look, ca the carrot weight's amazing, and clarity is not as important as that wonderful, deep, intense vanadium blue. Now, we've made a price pledge, promised it under 10. Let's get it under 10 pounds. And I'm going to leave it here and then we're going to revisit it in a couple of auctions time. And I'll tell you that we're actually going lower than that. Yeah. You know, you know it's under 10, so you can check out. But it is going even lower in a couple of auctions time. When did that become a thing, like tans night under 10 pounds? Well, let me, just, let me just explain. Never is the reality. Not even here at Jewelry Maker. Um, in five minutes, it's going even lower. Yeah, outside of these four walls, you absolutely should not expect to see tans like anywhere near these prices. So well done, everybody. Um, okay, let's do... Oh, yeah, I had my eye on this when we actually went to... Oh, my goodness. That's Look huge. That. Wow. The lowest price pearl you've ever seen, says Ross. I totally agree. Totally agree. But wait. And the chain goes through. The chain goes through, yeah. So let me just show you. I'm going to hold it like so. It's getting away. <laughs> it's a perfectly round pearl. If, it, if, if we had a bigger quantity, can you see at the bottom there? Yeah, lovely chain, which has the slider ball. Oh. So you can feed your pearl on there oh. or right the way through. So what I would do is take that off feed the pearl directly through and then you'd wear it round about here. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. So it becomes like a floating pearl. Here we go. You can see in the recording. Oh, look at that luster. Wow. Is that a South Sea pearl? Because it certainly looks like one. No? It looks like a South Sea pearl because you've got that golden yeah. colour, don't you? And, uh, and just amazing luster. It's huge. Plus, it's a huge drill hole, um, which means you can wear it just like so. Oh, my goodness me. If we had quantity, then this would definitely be one of our star buys today. Um, I don't know when this was launched. There's 30 available. Or is, is, this, is this launched in April? We've never seen it on this shift side. Um, so this is the last stock opportunity. The price on this, Ross is saying in my ear, is incredible. Yeah, I, well, I, I don't know. I don't know what it's going to, but it's a gigantic pearl. It is, and I know technically we can't say it's a perfect round, but looking from here, I can't see anything that makes it not perfect. I'm going to say it, Monica, that's a perfect round. It looks like it. Uh, it do you know what I mean? Like yeah. It's a really beautiful spherical yeah, pearl. We should expect there to be, yeah, you're, I, I love, like I said, you'll be, you're right to say that because it's an organic gemstone. Um, so we should expect to be like slightly off round. As it's going to get. Exactly. Yeah. We're at 49.99. Really? It's going even lower. Wow. Okay. In 60s, I don't know what this is going to. You get the chain, you get that 14 millimeter pearl as well. Um, we're already far too low. And I think if we were launching this quantity, that probably would be our closing price, wouldn't it, at 49.99? Um, obviously, we got a, very, a great deal when we purchased these. We, we'd, I don't know, I wasn't there on the original launch, but I'd imagine we probably got as many as we possibly could. Um, this is a mega deal, says Ross, honestly. I love the fact that this, this is going to kind of glide um, sort of a, a, along the box chain. Look how beautifully lustrous your sterling silver box chain is. And then that pearl, goodness me, that pearl is sensational, isn't it? In 20 seconds, I, I'm finding out where this is going to, um, along with you. Once this goes, oh, I like it. Ross is saying, look, the phone lines are relatively clear right now, but once we get to that price point, they're not going to be. I'm intrigued, Ross. I have something in my head that doesn't make sense, but I'm kind of wondering. Just because you've made a big deal about the price point, yeah. This is a genuine, yeah, I knew it. I knew it, I, I knew. I was gonna say 29.99. <laughs> I had a funny feeling in my bones that Ross was gonna go under 20 pounds. Just because he was going, this is ridiculous, this price point. It's absolutely wow. ridiculous. For the chain on its own, there are only, what, 31 to be exact. And I think this design will work for any age as well. Absolutely. You know, it will work for an 18 year old, it will work for a 19 year old lady. Beautiful. Pearls are timeless, uh, but it's modern, isn't it, in the fact that it actually yeah. glides along the sterling silver chain. 
Um, oh, Ross, these are all going to disappear by the break, aren't they? So I'm probably not, yeah, otherwise I'd be joining you on this opportunity. Well done, Richard. Hello to you, Susan, Margaret, Diana, Denise, Veronica. Hello to you, Annette. Hello to you, Margaret. Hello to you, London. Hello to you, new customers. Wow. Yeah, that, that, that has, uh, 29.99 would have been too low, but I had in my head, can Ross possibly, could he possibly be taking this under 20 pounds? You gotta remember we've worked for, together for some time now. I can pick up on vibes. <laughs> I, I, yeah, the vibrations, that's what it is, Ross. I could just sense that you're gonna do an under and 20 pound price tag. It also, it's really unusual to get a pearl with a really big drill hole. Yeah, because it's difficult to you know, do. You almost never see them. They're usually really, really tiny drill holes on pearls. Yeah, because we lose a lot of pearls yeah. during that process. Um, well done, everybody. This is getting rather limited now, so I would recommend uh, checking out soon rather than later. Beautiful. The chain is 18 inches. You've got that lovely, I can't remember what they're called. There is a, there, there is a name for that, isn't it? there you know you the same as what you get on your laces what's it called eglet eglet something like that yeah that's it. it's a strange word isn't it um so you feed your eglet <laughs> sorry it just sounds funny aglet Aglet. Uh, I prefer your version, Adam, frankly. I prefer eglet. eglet. I prefer eglet. Um, so you feed your aglet through the actual pearl and obviously remove it from the chain. Job done. You've just made some beautiful, yes. fine quality jewellery. If you want to reconfigure it, you absolutely can as well. Um, the final few of these from the 150 that were first launched. I can't believe they launched it at under £20, but that's precisely what they did. Crazy, crazy low. Remember, you only have 29 minutes at this deal. Time is racing by already this morning. And of course, you can, you can add to it as well, because sometimes we have other gemstones with large holes. So yeah. But let's say two red gemstones on either side. Nice. Or, what about Laramar? Or, or something. Oh, oh yes. Two Laramar either yes. side. Those, uh, those lovely shapes that we saw a few moments ago. That would look nice too. That's probably have large enough. Uh, drill holes probably yeah probably and um, give it a try well done sue deborah moira nice to see you denise well done susan well done elizabeth amazing um i'll leave that one with you no we haven't oh uh, this is much more limited but we've got it in pink oh oh i want to get these so monica one of the things that we were saying is that it's natural, so it's, it's not the same price. It's how. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This should be more because it's a natural pink pearl. Wow. So this isn't bleached and dyed. That's all, oh, all Mother Nature's doing. You can see it's perfectly spherical because it's kind of rolling around. Unbelievable, but this is much, much, much more limited. Obviously, with this, you get the chain as well. Um, be quick checking out on this one. So obviously it's, you're going to wear it like this, aren't you? But if you like, you don't but have to. But now I'm thinking I would get three. Because yeah. your chain, obviously you can uh, adjust the length. So you yeah. can either have three pearls above each other. Nice. Three separate chains. Yes, yeah, an adjustable chain. You can put all three pearls on one chain, have the middle one a different colour. Lovely. And then you still have two chains left over. Amazing. Adjustable chains yeah. as well. They're not just your bog yeah, standard exactly. sterling silver exactly. chain. I'd pay 99 for that chain on its own. And I know you've said that already, Ross, but that's a great price for a slider necklace, isn't it? Um, <clears throat> but you do get that natural pearl as well. Um, sorry, you did say how many is left? Six. Okay, so you do need to be really quick. Well then, Deborah, Sue, Veronica, Jerry, Moira. Um, this is on the verge of selling out. There's four left. I've got Susan, Elizabeth, Cheshire, Maker, Susan, Christine. Um, you can still get the white, um, but again, that is also uh, very limited. Now, just be oh, one of the most requested items that we've had this hour was number twenty-two, um, which was. Oh, the multi gemstone faceted round bundle. It has sold out um, and it's set at that price, isn't it? Yeah, it's set at the price. So well done to those of you that shopped ahead on that one. <coughs> Amazing. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. Now, I can't believe we've actually said this out loud. You know, rewind, never mind outside of these four walls. I think we all know that Tanzanite, even in your sort of luxury high street jewellers, you could walk into a, a, um, a high end jeweller, something like Ernest Jones, Beaver Brooks, whichever it might be, um, and see Tanzanite. You will see Tanzanite. It's now um, a member of the Big Five. Um, but immediately we know that it doesn't come at an affordable price tag, don't we? I think that's fair to say. Definitely. Um, <laughs> it is much more of a considered stone. So for us to just say, okay, well, we're bringing this to you at under £10. In fact, there it is. It's under £10. This is a one and a half carat solitaire 
with that beautiful vanadium rich blue that we all desire. It's not pale, it's not wishy-washy, it has that wonderful intensity of saturation. And then we also said it's going even lower. Shall we wait no more? Are you ready for this? This is one of those deals that even if you haven't got a Scooby-Doo clue, what you're going to do with it, it's an acquisition for your family. It's up next in Star Buy. I'm going to, I'm just thinking right now, you might not do, do gemstone setting. Not, not everybody does. You might not work with wire. You might not know how to bead bezel. You might not know how to silversmith. But still, you're going to be interested in this star buy. Because most of our audience understand gemstones, or, yeah. you know, most of you are extremely knowledgeable about gemstones. But even if you are new to the gemstone world, you've probably heard of Tanzanite. Yeah. Yeah. Tanzanite is a one locational gemstone. We often say one generational. It is, it is uh, um, documented that it's probably going to run out within the, the foreseeable future. And it's the only blue gemstone that has this wonderful, very unique, deep, intoxicating blue, quite unlike any other blue gemstone out there. Now, with Tanzanite, yes, the four Cs apply. You talk about the carat weight. Well, firstly, look at that carat weight. You pay a premium for any gemstone. Yes. Diamonds being the easiest to sort of uh, um, discuss. You know, if you, if you purchase a one carat diamond, it's significantly more than a 99 point diamond. Yes. Um, and same applies with Tanzanite. This is one and a half carats on the nose. Then we start talking about things like cut. You've got a beautiful traditional cabochon. Um, you've got beautiful clarity in this. <clears throat> um, what have I spoke about? Yeah, and, and lastly, colour. Colour is the most important out of all four C's when it comes to this beautiful gemstone. You could pop along to First Dibs and you could look at their Tanzanite offerings on there. And yes, you will find some beautiful eye clean stones, but you will also find Tanzanite have a certain level of characteristics inside but as long as it doesn't hinder the quality of color saturation it's still an absolute investment stone now here i am saying this is a one and a half carat tanzanite with not pale wishy-washy color it's that deep i'm going to say graded quality blue and we've got a single figure price tag on our screens which is just ludicrous really that is absolutely ludicrous but we are not going to stop there. Do you know, I, I buy opportunities like this, not because I think, oh, I'm going to do that with it or I'm going to do that with it. I buy it for my girls because I know that when they grow up, when they re reach adulthood, they're probably not going to be able to afford Tanzanite. It's going to be Tanzanite that they either get from myself, um, or you never know, do you? But more than likely, it's going to be something that they inherit from me. Eight ninety nine for a one and a half carat Tanzanite solitaire. You could pop along to our sister channel and have a look at their one and a half carat Tanzanite rings. Or you, they're not gonna be anywhere near, and I know they're finished pieces of jewelry, but they're not gonna be anywhere near what's on your screens. And that's Gemporia who do amazing deals. Another price crash. I don't know why we're doing this, to be honest. I generally don't know why we're doing this. We, can, we, we struggle to buy this gemstone. We don't do tans night hours anymore. We don't do tans night days anymore like we used to. We bring you one tans nights once in a blue moon. When we launched this one and a half carat solita solitaire back in 2020, that's how uh, um, preserved our tans night deposits are. Over 300 went and they went at the next price crash, which I just don't get. I don't get it. We're going to match that previous uh, price. We're 300 sold almost three years ago. And we don't have that quantity today. And remember, you only have 20 minutes to make your confirmations. Do you think all of a sudden then, three years on, fast forward three years, when the price should have gone up, not down, have they all of a sudden found more Tanzanite? Probably not. Of course not. <laughs> it's one in a million luck chance. 
Uh, that's the statistic they say. What's the chance of finding more tanzanite? One in a million. Um, just because of the whole, whole gemology of this gemstone's formation. We are going even lower. Like I said, I, I, I don't know what I'm going to be doing with this tanzanite solitaire, but I'm going to get it for sure because it's something I can put within this uh, sort of, uh, I don't know, um, a safe or uh, put it in safekeeping for the girls when they grow old enough. And they might see it and think, oh my goodness me, that's a tanzanite. A tanzanite which is more than likely have depleted by the time they reach adulthood. Yeah. Um, and they're not going to see 7.99 alongside it, are they? <laughs> no. In three seconds, we are going even lower, jewellery makers. I'd be stocking up on these. How many do we have then, Ross, out of curiosity? Just shy of 100. It's not a small stone. You've got an 8 by 6 millimetre vanadium rich. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, I agree. Like a 20 point car um, 20 points. So 0.2. In tanzanite at 6.99 would be amazing, wouldn't it? It would be. Like a granular size would be amazing for 6.99. Definitely. And as you were saying earlier, you might not make uh, a type of jewellery that you can set this in at the moment. But as jewellery makers, we're always evolving and learning new things. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, you never know. At some point, you might get to a piece of jewellery, you might look at this later on and say, oh, I want to try this. I know thing. just the thing. You know? I know just the thing. And you might do that, something that I do quite frequently, buy opportunities like this because I'd be foolish not to. Um, and I put them away and I forget about them. And then, uh, then you kind of open up and go through sort of all your amazing jewellery maker purchases and you're like, oh my goodness me, look at that Tanzanite. Yes. And you're going to forget that it would cost you £6.99. You know, that's kind of a price point that you don't remember. Um, but you're going to realise that you've got a beautiful quality tanzanite in your possession. Hello, Michelle. I got these. Um, they're, they're beautiful. Um, I've used in ring mounts, brilliant stones, price and fit. Absolutely. Well, it's an 8 by 6 which is a calibrated one. So you could easily put them in some of the ring mounts that we have on our website or on the live show quite frequently. £6.99 only for tanzanite. No disrespect intended, but that's the price that you would get you would pay maybe for a quartz or a jasper something that's far more abundant than a one locational gemstone do you see where i'm coming from absolutely yes yes i'd expect to pay that for i don't know a, a, a mukite look oh no that's a bad example because that's a one locational gemstone as well but okay let's that's what i would expect to pay for a cabochon of picture jasper yeah. there we go do you see where i'm coming from that's what I would expect to pay for a Jasper of... Uh, I'm saying Jaspers. Let's name a different gem. Lapis, maybe? A lapis, yeah. A lapis lazuli. Or maybe, um, how about just a... Um, how about a quartz of some variety? How light? How light? How light? Mm. Magnesite. Well done. Well done. You've got 18 minutes to make those confirmations. Um, now, in the last couple of minutes, lots of you have requested... Item number 10. Hello, Sarah, saying morning. Could you bring number 10, please? No problem. Uh, the bundle of six uh -huh. mil agates. Love this. A vision of summertime, uh, isn't it? Oh, yes. Love it. Absolutely love it. Now, I'm, I'm assuming it's because the other bundle that was uh, you were requesting um, sold out. So I would be quick. Six millimetre is your most popular size um, of round. And you haven't got to choose. You haven't got to buy each of these colours individually. You get the entire bundle, which is 10 strands in total. So, wow. I mean, that is a fiesta, isn't it? A I mean, fiesta of colour. Yes, Monica. Coming up later and you've got so with all these... Summer on the table. Oh, perfect. These are launching at midday today, brand new coloured elastics. We've got 300 available. Perfect, Monica, because you can complement them, by the way, Absolutely. with the colours of the stone. Of this bundle, though, Monica, there's only 14, so we've got to do it oh, in one okay. price clash. We've got to be quick, then. Yeah, no dilly-dallying. We're at £8 per strand. All those visions of colours. The I love agates because you actually have sort of areas of opacity yes. and areas of translucency. Yes. Love it. You get so much. It, they're just so what? visual. That, what? That's two pound fifty a strand. <laughs> oh, were well, we meant to do that? Hmm. Two pound fifty though. Well, that's my point. I mean. Even there, so Ross is like, actually, we should have gone to 29.99, but there's 14 left, he says. Let's get it out. You've got an extra fiver back in your pocket. Amazing. Happy days. That pretty much buys you that tanzanite, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. Not far off buys you that tanzanite. 
How amazing are these? It's just a vision of colour. And you've got, like, what, half term coming up in a week or so? Oh, yeah. If I gave these to my little willow, she oh. would be in her absolute element. With the electric. This, with that, she... Yeah. Oh. Oh. Do you know, on a regular basis, and I need to sort it out, she's like, Mummy, can you make my friends their stretchy bracelets, please? Mummy, have you made my friends their stretchy bracelets? Mummy. I'm like, OK. <laughs> <laughs> I know, perfect. It's, I, I'm going to say I was waiting for today quite clearly. I needed that, those elastics at 12 o'clock. Um, we only had 14, though. Northamptonshire, Lynn, Cheryl. Hello to you, Catherine. Hello to you, George. Hello to you, Fife. Hello to you, Karina and Denise and Gwyneth. Well done to you as well. Make sure you are checking out those baskets. £2.50 for a genuine gemstone strand. Um, there's four left. You're going to have to be quick. Is it going to be you, Antoinette, Karina, Denise? If you're on the phone, Auntie, you press your option one. I'll keep everything crossed for you. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Ten strands of gorgeous, genuine gemstones. Two pound, two pound fifty. I'm not sure how much my coffee cost this morning, but I'm fairly sure it was more than that. Probably more than two fifty. Yeah. Probably, probably. Yeah. Um, amazing. Um, okay, all oh, these are pretty. Oh. A very popular price point within this hour, says Ross in my ear. Yes. Yes. Are you about to do it again? Oh, but look, but look, technically speaking, again, I'm not trying to sway you on this, Ross, because, you know, let's do it. But you think about the different gem locations that we've had to go to, to yeah? We have travelled the world to get this strand. Yeah. Basically, you know, we've probably got Brazil, we've probably got Mozambique, we've probably got Zambia with your amethyst, we've got, probably got Sari Sang for your lapis lazuli, I don't know. You've got a huge selection um, of gemstone locations and a vision of colour. £9.99 pence and your beautiful little faceted coins that look amazing, by the way, with three millimetres and would be perfect with your nine o'clock kits. Yes, for seed, I was going to say for seed beading, it's perfect because you can embed it into your seed beading flat. Mm. Like, oh, it's beautiful. Um, in a minute. In a minute. We're going even lower. Ooh. You went Welsh then, Monica. Sorry? Did you intentionally go Welsh then? No. Am I rubbing, rubbing off on you? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> in a minute. In a minute, we are going lower. Uh, we definitely are. I know. I know. If you give me, give Elle a glass of wine, that's how I talk. All the Welsh comes back out to me once again. Um, <laughs> um, 9.99. And going even lower for all of these beautiful visions. You've got, I, I, I mean, let's, let's go through it. Look, you've got citrine. You've got some lovely carnelian. You've got some rutile quartz in there. You've got some of your garnets. You've got tanzanite, that looks like to me. Um, you've got some quartzites. You've got some of your lapis lazuli as well. Look at all this aquamarine. You've got a huge selection of beautiful gemstones all in one strand. So, you know, uh, as somebody that loves the variety of colour and gemstones um, in our stashes, you haven't got to buy separate strands. Strands. That's the joy of multicolored gemstone strands. That's why they're always so popular because you think about it, this is probably, I don't know, 10, 15 different gemstone strands in one. $7.99. We won't have many of them though. Is that how many? 50. Okay, it's more than I actually thought there would be, but 50 available opportunities and straight away lots of you there. West Midlands, Manchester, Richard, Lorraine, hello to you, London, Sandy, Nadine, Irene, Lorna. Good morning, everybody. Happy Mondays. It's the start of what will be an amazing week. The sun is shining. It's a beautiful day. I'm well, seeing it's a theme in today's show. With Colour. Colours, yes. Yeah, lots and lots and lots of colour, which, yeah, just in time, isn't Perfect. it? Perfect. Because finally, yeah. the weather has decided to buck its ideas up, hasn't it? And, <laughs> yeah. you know, you know, start... I was saying on the weather the other day that the warmest day of the year is coming up. I thought, well, that's not saying much, is it? <laughs> no, let's be honest, because we haven't had that warm. It's, it was quite warm this weekend, though. It was, yes, yes. Quite warm, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, I mean, we had, uh, had the little ones sort of running around in their shorts and T-shirts, so yeah. it was warm enough to do that. Yeah, because, yeah, 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 I totally agree. Well, we'll uh, let's, fingers crossed then. Yeah. Fingers let's crossed. It stays like this. Yeah. I actually while. don't like it too hot. I much prefer it to this temperature. You know, I was thinking this is perfect, exactly the keep, weather that I like. This is yeah. my summer, ideal summer. Yeah. Just keep it in the... I know Adam's like that. No, I want it hotter. You love it hot, though, don't you? Yeah. See, so, you know, I quite like it 20... 20s, lower 20s, lower 20s yeah. that's perfect for me. Yeah. Much, I don't like it when you go, oh, sticky, I'm just, just clammy. <laughs> uh. 
Don't and like a bit that. cool during the evenings and, yeah. the, and the nights. I think that's nice. Perfect. Um, sorry, I've put, totally sidetracked, but it's the vision of <laughs> the colours that's on our screens right now. But if you go to places like Misoma, they're also working with colour as well. Yeah. Um, Ashley Clark, we always talk about the biography collection, which we'll do um, also during the 10 o'clock deal of the day. Loads of you have this in your basket, so make sure you do check them out. Genoifa, hello to you, Sheila in County Armagh, Sheila in Devon, hello to you, Kent, London, hello to you, Cornwall, Corinne, nice to see you um yeah you've only got 11 minutes on this hour so time is against us now um amazing speaking of summertime is there anything nicer that and I, I get it if you suffer with hay fever thankfully i don't but um when you cut the grass and you've got those fresh little green shoots coming through i love that well this is the strand for you if you appreciate that beautiful vision oh. This is cashmere peridot. Now, cashmere, um, much like the sapphire, obviously, cashmere sapphires are regarded as the best. Um, in the world of peridot, cashmere, cashmere peridot um, also regarded as the best. Um, so, you know, it's like Columbia to an emerald. It's like Mogok to a ruby. And you have that perfect balance of saturation. Peridot can either be a little bit too yellow or a little bit too dark. So you want it to have that almost, that's how I always describe it. If you cut your grass and you see the fresh shoots, that wonderful vibrant green, that's what you want your peridot to be to look like. At 39.99, that's an absolutely unbelievable deal. And these are not small sizes. Um, faceted for their own um, individual um, uh, individual beauty. I mean, I generally think right here we're at a closing price for cashmere peridot. Um, a, a fascinating gemstone. I don't have the time to talk about it, it's a sort of gemology, but know that this forms within the Earth's mantle rather than the Earth's crust. So you think about the intensities that this gemstone has withstood. At 39.99, that was a closing price in my eyes, especially for cashmere, as I said. If it was, if it was a more abundant location of source, um, if the quality was maybe just a little bit um, paler in its saturation, maybe a little bit more yellow, it's not any of those, though. So you're getting a fantastic deal here for, the, for premium quality. That's the thing. Um, and I know, again, this will not be hugely abundant in terms of its, uh, its quantity because... Um, um, cashmere peridot never is. I've told you the story, haven't I, about one of my friends, family friends, who approached me and his, it's his wife's birthstone and she was celebrating a 50th birthday. Um, and he's like, Al, is there any chance you can help me design a ring? I've got, this is the, this is the design I want to do, something very similar to that. Can you source a peridot? Which we did um, with the help of Jake. Um, and yeah, I got a cashmere peridot, designed it in platinum. It was a beautiful, big statement ring. The peridot cost him £300, so it was quite considered, but it was valued at eight thousand pounds at the end wow. of it so yeah exactly so and but cashmere is that quality that i would always suggest first if you if you want the best in the world um 19.99 denise well done to you imagine this on a long line necklace with pearls oh, beautiful beautiful but also in the deal of the day we've got some peridot coming up we do well, but also is that garnet next to it uh, uh, yeah you want to put that next to it well both of them really <laughs> you want both oh look at that yeah coming up today at 10 o'clock how beautiful, oh, how beautiful cool. are they as a combination? Oh my goodness me, yeah. Well done everybody. Again, you've got what, eight minutes left on this hour to make your confirmations. Um, okay, let's squeeze in some lovely mookite, but. Ooh, how long is that strand? Two meters, goodness just, me. just two meters. Like the Wall of Fame, by the way, today is coming up at midday. Um, so you have to bear with us on that one because we've had a few technical issues. Um, so coming up at midday today. So uh, make sure you tune in on that one. Um, now, there's 11 available opportunities. Talking of one locational gemstones all the way from uh, the west coast of Australia. Totally and utterly natural. Mined along the Mooka Creek in Australia. Um, a beautiful one locational gemstone that gives you love, just the most glorious palette, doesn't it? Amazing palette. Um, and it is natural. £24.99. I mean, again, if that was a 38 centimetre strand, incredible. It's not, though. It's two metres. There is a little bit of a queue on the phone lines. If you press your option one, then we can guarantee one as it stands right now. Um, but you can also shop with us via the app or via the web um, make your confirmations as soon as you possibly can I mean you're gonna make loads of jewelry out of a two meter length aren't you um, okay so from Australia to uh, the amazing story that is Su Zhang now and there's an article that I found recently and these aren't my words this was actually uh, um, a media article 
talking about the success story of the Sujang River. Now, if you've heard of the Sujang River or you've heard of Sujang Pearls, um, you can see it photographed just here. And it says the pearl shines again in clean waters. And that's because, sadly, well, we can read on. It was actually um, a, a real cause of concern because there was... Um, pollution. It was really affecting the marine life within those waters. So the Sujiang River, known as the Pearl River in South China, um, is not a single river, but actually the largest water system flowing into the South China Sea. Formed by the branch-like uh, convergence of the Zhang Rivers, the Beijing Rivers, um, and the Donjiang Rivers, excuse my pronunciation, um, the Pearl River Delta um, of a dense network of cities uh, formed by alluvial sedimentation as the three rivers enter the sea is one of the most economically advanced and modernized regions in China and is considered the south gate of China. So you've got to think about it. Now, we know uh, we know pearls, obviously, which most of us would think, okay, well, they're either in sort of freshwater lakes or salt waters, of course. They actually can be formed in rivers as well. But with the urbanization and with it being a gateway, if you like, to China, it was, it was suffering somewhat. So in the past decades, um, with the process of urbanization and industrialization, in the Pearl River Del Delta, some rivers have been seriously pol polluted due to domestic sewage and factory discharges, uh, which impacts the lives of residents along the banks. Besides the severe destruction of the marine um, ecologi ecological sorry, system and biodiversity decline is attributed to human-induced activities such as over-exploitation of coastal and offshore waters. Now, you might be thinking right now, El, why are you telling me this? this is really sad. This is really sad. It is very sad. But the wonderful thing is they did recognise there was an issue and they needed it to be, uh, they realised that it needed to be restor restored. The Pearl River, um, I'm going to skip that first, but an extensive river system in South China because we've already covered that. Um, you can see the sort of kilometres, it covers 2,400 kilometres long, that's 1,500 miles. So it's a huge, the third longest river um, um, in China itself. Um, it drains the majority of uh, um, sadly sewage etc out to the actual sea itself doesn't sound like the ideal place for actually forming pearls which once upon a time it was you've got to remember you've got this massive network of rivers and you've got areas to live around it so um, in terms of actually farming pearls it was it was completely ideal now they recognized it and they have completely turned it around and the Sujiang River as that article says once uh, uh, at the beginning um, back to its former glory which means that we are now now, again, seeing the beautiful, iconic Sujang pearls that came from this river location, right. because obviously they were probably the first thing to actually be impacted. They are widely regarded as some of the best pearls in the world, um, and it's, there's only five available. So this, for me, I, I, it's difficult, because would you call them salt water? Would you call them fresh water? They're kind of in between. Um, but ultimately, yet yeah, they are premium quality pearls. And if, if, those, if there was still that issue of pollution, then you wouldn't be seeing this luster, you wouldn't be seeing those beautiful um, uh, um, overtones um, in these natural pills. You know, they would look well, unhappy, effectively, I suppose, um, in their overall beauty. Sujang pearls, for me, I would put up there with the likes of uh, um, your Edison pearls. I would put them up there with your South Seas, your Okoyas, and your Tahitian. So even here at £1,699, you've got a beautiful multicoloured strand, and they are all completely natural as well. Um, one word I'd like to sort of add to your graphics is the word metallic, because these also have got natural metallic beauty, um, which from a harvested 10,000 pearls, it's estimated less than 10 will be naturally metallic. And yet here you are with a full strand. We're going to do it in one price crash and we're going to do it at the best possible price we can. There are five available opportunities. Already two of you have them in your basket. You, know, you could get these, you could knot them, you could put them on uh, an 18 karat gold glass and you could sell them on straight away. And I'm fairly sure you could command the first price point that we saw. At £299 for Sujan Pearls. But you have five minutes to make your confirmations. You do not have to take my word for it. Get it home. Use your 30-day money-back guarantee. Not that I think you're going to need it at all. You'll fall in love with these pearls instantaneously. For me, if you were to say, El, what's the, what's the name, uh, sort of, what's the main... Um, 
um, attribute really attached to this location of pearls. I would say color and I would say metallic beauty as well. They have the most amazing, um, ama amazing sort of uh, uh, metallic luster to them, um, which in my opinion, and it is only my opinion, actually surpasses that of many of the saltwater pearls out there. £299. I get that is an investment price. I get it, but it's not in comparison to what it should be outside these four walls um, for Sujang pearls. You can get hold of it today as well on your 0% interest split payment for 70 four pounds and 75 pence a 40 centimeter strand so you've got more than enough to make a full suite of jewelry if you wanted to you could knot this with your precious metal class i always suggest gold when we're talking about pearls like this um, and probably keep a couple for uh, a matching pair of earrings as well the wonderful success story that is sujang pearls um amazing like i said it is it, it are they are they fresh water are they are they salt water really <laughs> they're kind of in between aren't they i suppose yeah. um but again happy mollusks and you can see the beauty um, in the actual pills that pill treasures that they actually offer you well done to those of you that have made your confirmations there's only five remaining um, and, and by the way we're diving into your early birds so you've got the remaining time to make your confirmations on those or any other item that i've brought you thus far this morning um, i'm really excited about your early bird this morning not only because they're beautiful but also it's something that we don't see very often they tessellate and make the most beautiful summertime uh, sound again wonderful mother of pearls Shell up next. Do you know, sorry, it's just in that summertime vibe then. That introduction of the early bird, we always say here that it's our favourite. Out of all the intros, we think that's the best one. It's just nice, isn't it? It's just really nice. Ooh. It's a bit Jack Jonesy as well, I think, yeah. in the introduction. Yeah. And the colours, and it's the birds flying past, and it's almost like that summer sunset. Or is it sunrise? Who knows? Mm -hmm. And either way, it does conjure up images, particularly of today's early bird. I absolutely love this. And I love the fact that it is at a super affordable price tag. I know with your wonderful talents and all your creativity, you're going to make the most exquisite jewellery. Be that lovely, I don't know, you could go for tessellating earrings that are going to make the most beautiful sound. You could put these in anklets. They could be lovely little charms or long line necklaces. Um, they're not drilled centrally. They're drilled through the top, so they actually are going to have that lovely suspension um they're brand new it's a premier opportunity they've never been on your screens previously before and you have the the, the joy that is mother of pearl mother of well shell is used in lots of the big establishments you know you use shell in we've shown it before haven't we countless times in the alhambra they use shell um, they use it in Rolex. Lots of the big designers work with this material because you get that wonderful sort of uh, chromatic shift of color, an amazing iridescence that literally glides across the surface of these with a mixture of your beautiful uh, sort of earthy tones. And they make the most amazing sound. I, 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 I couldn't even guess how many are actually on this strand because they're obviously we're talking about slices. But just think about the potential of jewelry that you're going to create from this one strand. Uh, I was going say you can you can put them face on as well you can do almost like a bubble style but on sort of bits of chain or something and have it sort of like a like a, a bib style oh beautiful with, with the face is showing you could also set it into resin almost like scales yeah into into a piece of uh, um like a jewelry box the top of a jewelry box oh beautiful like sort of inlay them yeah so there's so many things you can do with this it doesn't have to be jewelry no absolutely not I want to join you on this. Now, I'm going to give you a heads up. We are super busy this morning. Super busy. There are 90 available. Look how many sellouts we've had so far. So if you've got your eye on anything in particular, check it out as soon as you possibly can. Or that chance might well be taken away from you. Um, at the end of this auction, all of these items will disappear anyway. We'll dive into the break and then into... Um, your lovely CB kits with Monica. Um, make sure you're checking out to guarantee your success. Loads and loads and loads of sellouts. Those Sujang pearls, I can see a lot of interest on those still. Um, for me, I want to make an anklet with this. Yeah. I think it'd make a really beautiful anklet. I would maybe not use it all in, oh, in well, no. one. I'd separate it, maybe space it with some yeah. of the... Hang on, here we go. How about some of your deal of the days? Oh, How about alongside some gorgeous turquoise or maybe some rose quartz, yeah. or maybe some seed pearls. 
they just look lovely together and you could separate and space them uh, and space them out um but i want to join you on it as well 29.99 even if we were to stop here how amazing is that price tag but and then sorry, go on. but it's also really lightweight so you can put five or six of them into a pair, into an earring lovely it'll be lightweight Oh, I like that. That's what I would do, Monica. I'd go for something, yeah. you know, like multi-layers, waterfall, waterfall style. Yeah. yeah. Get some featherweight headbands. I actually have a pair like that. Do you? <laughs> yeah. You need to dust them off for the summertime, Monica. And we're looking at the part which, which obviously doesn't show the, uh, the yeah. mother, you know, that, that lovely iridescence of shell. You know, when I, that's what I was trying to show you earlier on. When I sort of buckle the strand over, you can see, there we are. Look at all of that beautiful, beautiful iridescence that you get naturally from shell. Shell is one of those materials that is often carved, um, but favoured by lots of the big luxury uh, design houses. Like I said, Alhambra, you see Mother of Pearl. Um, within the Alhambra at yeah. Van Cleef and Arpels. You see it in Rolex, certainly on their timepieces as well. And it's one of the more expensive uh, choices. At 19.99, there's 90 available opportunities. The drill hole is just at the top, so you're actually going to get these kind of oval shapes which I think really, really will um, enable us to create some lovely movement in your designs. Good luck, everybody. 0800 644 We are super busy this morning. Um, and I know that this is going to be appealing to lots of us as we crave the summertime vibes. Oh, that was me, sorry. Um, as we crave the summertime vibes. Um, the weather is here. Now we just need those beautiful pieces of jewellery to wear with it. But totally natural. Also for summer, if you do the tiara technique, these are great for flower petals oh, nice. as well. I mean, Maybe you're getting married on a beach. Yeah, I mean, you only need five of them to make a flower. How many flowers can you make from that strand? Well, shall I count five? <laughs> should we just for kicks, Monica? Should we just count five? Count five. Two, four, five. So that's about a centimetre. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to make a lot, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. That if you think good, good point. If you think that's one flower yeah. wire wrapped together, super yeah. simple. At twelve pounds and ninety nine pence, look how beautiful they are. It's the movement that you get from these. As soon as I saw this on my star buy sheet last night, Ross, I was like, ooh, lovely. I mean, right at my street, these are. Something like a bag charm. So yeah. You can, you can play with it and hear the sound. Hear that gorgeous sound. Amazing. And all the high street jewellers tend to work with Shell as well, don't they? Um, I tell you what. I tell you what, just because time, yeah, we, wanna, we want to dive into uh, um, your kit. Half the stock is already gone. It's been a very busy hour already. Um, and if we can, we always will. We're going to push those boundaries. You know what's going to happen. In 60 seconds, we're going to take these under £10. There are only 90 available opportunities. And yeah, I would like very much to put my name on that call screen as well. Um, there's 40 available now, so you will need to be checking out soon rather than later. Um, hello to you, Nuala, Denise, hello to you, new customer, Marge, hello to you, Barbara, Morag, hello to you, Maker, Mikey, uh, another Maker, Sandra, West Midlands Market, Carol, hello to you, Karen, June, Caroline, London, Lancashire, Sue, and George. Super busy this morning, amazing. I do love your beautiful shell, and yet we don't see it that often. I think it's perfect that we are finally getting, getting it. The week that the British summertime finally decides to turn yeah. itself around. <laughs> Amazing. It is going to be an on-screen sellout. I can say that with absolute confidence. Well done. Be and I can't wait to see your pieces of jewellery. Are you going to go for sort of maybe the uh, um, waterfall style earrings with just a few of these shells just sort of attached to? Are you going to go for something corded on, a, on an anklet bracelet or something yeah. like that? Are you going to go long line necklaces? Do you know tassels, as you said? On the bottom of tassels, they'd be nice. They would, yes. Oh, 9 99 Now, we should we should have been 12 99 Also, something that are really easy to use. All you need is jump rings and a piece of chain, and, and you get that sort of waterfall effect or the bubble style effect. Yeah. You can put them straight on with jump rings because yes. the hole is quite close to the edge. Let so me see if I can try and show that. Yeah. All you need is a jump ring and then just jump ring it straight onto a piece of chain. Directly onto? Yeah. How simple is that? Very easy. Beautiful. Well done, everybody. These are going to be a sellout imminently. There's a lot of you there. Well done. I've got three full rows of names. Amazing. Uh, good morning, everybody. Selena, Pamela, Carol, Kay. Hello to you, Tamina, Cheryl, Elizabeth. Now, after the break, we have got beautiful CB kits um, coming your way. Visions of colours as well. Um, leading into your deal of the day, which is all about your three millimetre fasted rounds. Um, then you've got Laramar at, at 11 o'clock today. And then at launching, you've got these beautiful coloured elastics as well at midday with Monica's masterclass. 
Well done. Heads up, these items on the website that you can see right now, if anything is in your basket, you need to be checking them out. They are going to disappear um, as soon as we dip, uh, so nip into the break. So make sure the Tanzanite, for example, the Sujan pills, for example, the magnetic clasp, uh, your cashmere peridots, multicolored gemstone coins, they're all going to disappear off the website in a, moment, in a moment's time. So check out as soon as you possibly can. Um, it's been busy from start to finish, and that is absolutely going to continue into the next hour as well. Keep those messages coming through, everybody, and good luck to you all. It's gonna, they're going to disappear in three, two, one. See you after this. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day 365 days a year if you have a question or query contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2 alternatively you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page Jewelry Maker happy to help here at Jewelry Maker we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better that's why on certain items we've got split pay where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. It's been a while, hasn't it, since we've had kits all based around the beautiful sea beads. I know, I know. Um, yeah, sea beads actually have been quite low in stock within our vault yeah. um, over over sort of 
recent months, maybe even years, I don't know. But they are back and they are back with a vengeance and oh my goodness me, Monica, your jewelry is incredible. I don't, I, look, take a little look. I can't choose a favorite because I'm loving the twisted bracelet, loving the twisted necklace, which I'm sure has probably got a technical term. And I also love these leaf earrings. Yep, these ones. Talk us through them, Monica. Well, I've, because some of the bundles are all round seed beads and some of the bundles have got uh, delicas and seed beads. So I've tried to make pieces, some of them. So like the, the these earrings are all delicas. <gasps> They're amazing. Yeah. And What's that technique? This is called uh, folded peyote stitch. I love it. I think I demoed this once a while ago. Oh, Monica, I love those. And then, of course, some of the other pieces, like the one next to it, the red one, is a mix, mix of delicas and round seed beads. Oh, my goodness, they're amazing too. And then the twisted ones, uh, I wanted to do, show a technique that... Well, I haven't shown yet. I, I don't think any of the other designers have either. So, that's so this is a new just, technique, potentially? Well, not in the beading world, but on jewellery maker, yes. I think it is. So yes. what's this technique it's called? It's called the Dutch spiral. The what? Dutch spiral. Dutch spiral. And how does it differ? Well, we have the simple spiral, which has got a core, and then it's got the beads going around it. Then we have the Russian spiral, which is like a, a spiral of strands, almost. Uh, basically like a netting. And then we have things like the kiss cross, which is a, a filled netting. So this one, and then we have the Cellini spiral, which is a really time consuming spiral with different sizes of seed beads. Yeah. Um, so this one is quite quick and easy, and it's almost like a cross between a simple spiral and a, um, and a Cellini spiral. Okay, so we're talking, the necklace. Yeah, the bracelets are the same as well. Okay. So. And, you, and oh. it's a really cool stitch because you can, as you can see, you can vary the size of it. And it, it just, uh, I, I really love it. I've been wanting to do it for a while. I just never had the, the opportunity. It, it, it almost looks like, are those, you know, the loop over bits? Are they kind of loose? Do you know they where are, I'm coming they from? So they're kind of they concertina? Are. Yeah. Oh, Monica, that's beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. So this is the Dutch spiral. It's the Dutch spiral, yes. How exciting. And it's actually a really easy stitch and fairly quick as well. That bracelet is the same stitch as well. So how long approximately does it, I know it's going to depend on different people, but how long approximately does a bracelet like that take? Well, the bracelet probably would take no more than a couple of hours. Okay. I mean, the necklace uh, I probably spent, and I was watching Jewelry Maker on TV while I was doing it, so I probably could have done it faster, but I probably spent about four hours on the necklace. So, yeah, it's, it's fairly quick. I mean, you'll see because you're picking up a lot of beads at a time. Um, so it, it is quicker than it looks. It's, well, it's definitely quicker than a Cellini spiral. Well, let's get cracking, shall we? So I'll bring you the kits, or the bundles, rather. They are all on pre-order, so you can choose your favourite colourway. Um, and then, obviously, we'll get into that amazing demo. So I'm very excited about this. Um, love, love, love the colour choice that we're first starting with. Um, very Monica. Yes. Very, very you. That's what I'm going to use for my demo. Oh, you're demoing with this. That's fabulous. So, um, as you can see, you've got a mixture of your sort of pearly colours. You've got some really beautiful opaques. Some, I think they're all actually the specialised uh, uh, well, my UK. Obviously, purple is one of my favourites. But in this bundle, actually, my favourite one is the is this blue. Oh. Yeah, because it's like a travertine. Yeah, described as colour. Picasso Montana matte sea beads. Is that right? It, it is, yes. It's like a... It looks colours. like a gemstone, really. Yeah. Uh, like, a, like a jasper, that's what it looks like. Yeah, it's got yeah. different uh, different colours across the surface. Um, yeah, I'll, let me give you the descriptions of these because they're not on my specifications, so bear with me. You've got pale purple um, in the centre, and then this one here is... Come on, give me the description. It's not on there, but it looks like a cream salon. Yeah, it's definitely got the um, AB coating as well. You can see that really beautiful sort of pearlescence to it. Um, so you're getting all three tubes... Um, all three tubes, um, which are in excess of 20 gram tubes, so you will get a lot within there. Enough to make that necklace? Uh, yes, of course. I mean, I used up one of the tubes. I used up the whole tube. Um, and the other tubes, I have most of it left over still. So Okay, so yeah, and maybe even a matching, maybe even a matching bracelet. Um, happy at 19 99 for three tubes? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's about what you would pay elsewhere. Okay. 
Oh, we don't want to do that, Monica. We don't want to pay what, <laughs> the same as what you pay elsewhere. I was hoping it was going to say it's oh, going to be less than that. What, that's that red flag to a bull, isn't it? Ross is like, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. How about £12.99 then? Oh, much better, yes. £12.99, and that is for all three tubes of them as well. Um, yeah, I can remember when we first launched my UK, and they were around about £7.99 per tube. Yeah, well, as I say, that's what you would pay elsewhere. Elsewhere, yeah. elsewhere, yeah. yeah. But we don't want to do that, do we? We no. want to um, beat where possible. Twelve. 99 for this beautiful colorway um i'm just looking across again for those people that are wondering what's uh, they are already on the website but if you really love this edition um then this is the kit to get involved right now because this isn't included in any other of the kits that we've actually got coming up i really love those do you know i would buy this kit as well for those not as a seed beader i'm not a seed beader at all um but i love this tube i think it'd be really nice as spacer beads absolutely Amazing. I'm going to leave that with you because, again, we've got lots of kits to bring you as well and we want to get into the demonstration. Um, your favourite? Well, <laughs> can you guess from the jewellery? <laughs> I'm guessing, yeah. I think it's a fairly... If I was a betting person, Monica, I would say that's Monica's favourite. Especially if you got the tendonite earlier. Oh, lovely. Purple power. Oh, look, you've got beautiful... I, I don't have the colours on the, uh, um, on the descriptions. <laughs> Adam is like, well, you've got purple, and then you've got another purple, light purple. Okay, so hang on, you've got lilac just here, but it's silver lined lilac, yes. and then you have uh, opaque lilac, opaque, dyed. opaque dyed lilac. opaque. Yes, well done, thank you, Monica. And then this one just here is eh, it's not on there. Um, brilliant. Uh, so this is the violet luster, do you think, maybe? Yes, that one I just think, there. I think so. So, yeah. uh, again, all speciality beads, especially the ones with the silver lined and that amazing luster across the surface. At £29.99, we're not closing there. We're going to do another mega deal. If you are a lover of purple, much like our lovely Monica, then definitely, definitely make sure you're shopping in nice and early. I know that in terms of quantity, we've got less than 100 of each of these bundles. £12.99. And just the amount that you can get from these tubes. Absolutely. I mean, as I say, for the... I mean, I can show you... Where is my purple kit? I can't show you. It's in my bag. But I used up one of the tubes completely, and the other two tubes I used up a little bit from the top. I did cheat a little bit because I also added in some size 8s for this technique, but you can do it without. I'm going to talk to you about that when I do the demo. Uh, but, yeah, it doesn't use a whole lot of seed beads. Okay. So you could probably make... It's not cheating. You'd probably be able to make at least two necklaces from... Uh, from this bundle? From this bundle, yeah. Wow, how awesome is that? So you can make this times two for £12.99. That's amazing. And you probably still have some left over. £6.50 per necklace. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Well done. We've got less than 100 of each of these bundles, though. So, again, make sure you do check them out nice and early. Again, visions of beautiful purple in this. Uh, I love the contrast as well from the opaque yeah. to the lovely iridescence that you see within these um, as well. And there's nothing stopping you mixing each of these bundles oh, together. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, likewise, it's very colourful this morning. This show is very, very colourful. So um, it will work alongside Monica's masterclass as well this afternoon. But if you're excited about learning how to do the Dutch spiral, then make sure you're, um, you're with us this hour because Monica's going to be demoing that. I'm going to bring you each and every single one of these kits and you can shop ahead on those like so many of you are. OK, let's now bring you... Ooh, Ooh lovely. Going into the blues... A bit Laramar-esque, actually, this one. You've got sort of the golden sands, and then you've got your sky blues. Oh, it's a lovely blue colour. It is, yes. Oh, that's pretty. I've never seen these before. Can you see? They're amazing. So this one is described as silver-lined crystal, which is this one. Yes. Um, then you've got the gold luster, which is one in the centre, and this is transparent light blue. Oh, that's one of my favourite colours I think I've ever seen. Yeah, and the other two colours are very um, sort of... Versatile colours, those will be colours that you use all the time. And then, of course, you have Staples. a flash of colour in there yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, I agree. That's amazing. I've never seen anything quite like that. Actually, this bundle would be really nice with the shells that we had earlier. <gasps> yeah. yeah, beautiful. Very Love that seaside. idea. Yeah, seaside. perfect. £12.99. They are all 11 O's. Oh, OK. You want to, want to do a massive deal? Oh. We've got big quantity, apparently. Over 100, I beg your pardon, I've been saying it's under 100 on each of these. Over 100 of this bundle, I'm going to say it, and this is probably one of my favourites. I like this bundle. Yes, well, as I say, it's, it's probably the most versatile 
colours in there. So, um, yeah. Should we take it under ten pounds? Oh yes. Under ten pounds. That's working out at three pounds thirty. <laughs> well, that depends. Yeah, I'm going to say. No, three pound thirty-three. I was going to say. Ross, as I tell you what, I don't like that. I want a round number. How about three pounds per tube? Oh, three exciting. pounds per tube. I can tell you a story about that after. Can you? Yes. Oh, let's exciting. just wait and see if he keeps his word. You don't believe him. You know, just, <laughs> no. nah, nah, it's too good to be true. He couldn't possibly. He's not gonna do that. I think. Oh, you know what? I, I he is a man of his world, word. You know. I almost said you're a man of the world. <laughs> <laughs> Three pound a tube. So for those people who used to come to the workshops uh, at Ivy House when we had them yes. there, and there was the, the workshop shopping area, which let's face it, a lot of us came to the workshops to be able to shop. <laughs> and it was chaos as well. And, it, it was, was just yes. utter chaos. And of course you got super extra special prices in the workshop you shop. Did. And there it was three pounds for a big tube of seed beads. So we're doing workshop Same price, five years later. This is now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, we're doing shop prices, basically. And they were kind of end of lines, weren't of they? Of course, That's yeah, the reason yeah. why that yeah. colour. These aren't end of lines, they're brand new. Um, three pound a tube. We have just over 100 of these available. I love that blue. I just think that blue is absolutely beautiful, don't you? I mean, even, even the most, um, I say basic colours, the standard uh, opaque seed beads if you went elsewhere for a 24 gram tube you wouldn't find it for three pounds absolutely not no of course no. not it's because we've got ross isn't it that's why <laughs> that's why you're only seeing three pound because we've got ross in the hot seat <laughs> isn't it there he is he's had a he's buzzing he is right now he's had a lovely weekend did our ross <laughs> pop the question he's got a wife to be Baby on the way, it's all good. That's why you're feeling the three pound vibes. Amazing. Right, we're going to dive into... <laughs> uh, we're going to dive into the demonstration again. You can shop ahead on all the other kits as well that we have. Um, we ha are bringing you as well. So I would recommend doing that because um, you know you're going to get great deals. So um, the first time in jewellery maker history that we are learning <laughs> the, the Dutch, spiral. Dutch spiral. Take it away, lovely Monica. So if I can bring over the two braces quickly so I can show you something. So can you see on these two bracelets, it's, both of them are the same technique. Mm -hmm. The only difference is in this one, I've added in some size eight beads. Okay, so it's slightly chunkier. Uh, it is, but also it's a bit more of a spiral. Yeah. This one is less of a spiral, but it still looks really good just like that. So because the bundles don't have size eight, so you don't have to add in any size eight. Um, it just makes it a little bit even more spirally if you add in the size eights. Yeah. But as I say, you can do it just as fine, uh, just as well without the, the size eights. So I'm going to show you with the size eights. If you don't have the size eights, you can just substitute in one of the colors in place of the size eight beads. Okay, so I just wanted to show you the difference there. So it's really a really, really simple technique because it's basically a tubular peyote stitch, uh, stitch really. So I've just got my fire line threaded on. Uh, you can, I'm using 10 pound fire line here. You can use pretty much any of your threads. Um, maybe a little bit stiffer thread, so I wouldn't use the silk threads, uh, but your fire line, six, eight, ten, wildfire, any of those threads will work. And then thread on as much as you can work with, because especially if you're doing a necklace for a bracelet, you probably wouldn't need more than a couple of meters, but if you're doing a necklace, you're going to need to add in anyway. So just use however much thread that you're comfortable working with. And then I've put on a stopper bead and I would leave about a 20 centimeter tail uh, so you can finish it off and add the clasp um, onto the end, which I'm not going to do now because for a demo I don't really need that. Okay, so now what you're going to do to create your spiral, you're going to start off similar to a, peyote, uh, a tubular peyote stitch. So I'm going to start with my eight toes. I've just added in like a random color of eight toes just for the demo so it's different to the other colors. So I'm going to start off by picking up a single one of my eight toes. So as I say, you can use one of your colors for this. Um, just make sure it's one that stands out a little bit. So if you're going to use one of your colors for the, in place of the 8O, then don't use that color in the rest of the necklace. Just when you, when you, until you get started and you sort of know how to get on with it. So I'm going to pick up one of those. And then I'm going to do, if I bring this piece over here so you can see what I'm talking about. So now I'm going to pick up the combination that's going to make this 
inner section, which is like a peyote stitch there. Okay, so I'm going to pick up. Let's say, uh, okay, which color should I use for my for my loops? So I'm going to use I'm going to use the cream this time for my larger loops. So I'm going to use these two colors for the peyote section inside. Okay, so I'm going to pick up two of the blue, two of the purple, and two of the blue. Now, as this is peyote stitch, that's only three beads essentially because this is your first two rows of beads. Okay. So you've only got three stitches on the inside section there, okay? Plus your single bead here. And then I'm gonna pick up the first of my loops. Now on the bracelet, I haven't graduated the size of the loops. So for every single loop, I use 10 beads on the bracelet. When I show you how to do it, I will explain how to do the necklace so that you get a graduation, but I'm just going to show you without the graduation first. So after I've picked up those peyote stitch beads there. I'm going to pick up my first loop. So in this case, that's going to be 10 of my cream. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. And then I'm going to bring those together into a circle. So I'm just going to go through the 8-0 bead okay. or the other color, the one that you only picked up one bead of. Okay. So that's your starting circle there. And then from here on, so I'm going to pick up, it's basically you want to pick up the bead that you're coming out of. So I'm coming out of the gold, so I'm picking up a gold. And as with peyote stitch, I'm going to skip over one and I'm going to go into the second of the blue beads. Okay, then I'm going to pick up a blue because that's what I'm coming out of. And I'm going to go into the second purple bead. Okay, then I'm going to pick up a purple bead and I'm gonna go into the second blue bead. Okay, so now I've got to the section where I've got my loops. Okay, because after this blue bead, I've got my loop beads coming up. So I'm coming out of a blue, so I'm still gonna pick up a blue, okay? But before I go through the next bead, I'm gonna pick up my loop beads, which is my 10 cream. So I'm picking up a blue and 10 cream. So, oh, one, two, three. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I'm going to jump to the other side and I'm going to go through the second of the, of the gold because that's the one that's on the outer level, so to speak. So if you were doing peyote stitch, this would be the outer round. You are doing peyote stitch, essentially. You're just picking up an extra loop of beads in between, okay? And then it's your peyote section again. So I'm coming out of the gold, pick up a gold, Go through the next bead that is sticking out, which is this blue here. Then I'm picking up a blue. I'm going through the purple, which is sticking out. It really helps to use the different colors because it's easier to see, especially when you're getting started with it. Okay, then I'm picking up a purple. Okay, now with the blues, you will see that the second blue here, this one here, just before my last cream loop is the one I need to go through. So I'm gonna go through just the blue, not any of the creams, just the blue. Okay, and you start pulling it tight, then your piece starts coming together. Now again, remember, we're gonna pick up the blue and we've gotta pick up our 10 creams. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, then we jump around again and we go through the, the uppermost gold. Okay, this is also why it's easier to use a size eight when you first try it out because you'll see that after your loop you jump across to the size eight, so it's a little bit easier to see. And then again, and then you just repeat this process pretty much over and over again. So I'll show you one more round. So a gold, then a blue. then purple into the blue at the beginning of your loop, just the blue, okay? And then you pick up the blue and your 10 cream beads. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And again, you jump across to the gold bead, which is sticking up like that. 
Okay? And it's, that's basically it. You just carry on like that. You can see how the peyote section is starting to happen there. Just make sure you keep your tension quite tight. So I find it easiest to, to wrap the thread around my finger so it keeps the thread tension tight. It also stops your thread from twisting around the bits that you've already done underneath. So that's the easiest way to hold it. Now to do the graduation, it's exactly the same technique. So you're picking up the next, or the bead that you're coming out of, the gold, go into the next one, so into the blue. Then you pick up a blue, go into the purple. Pick up a purple, into the blue, just the blue before the creams. And then, now if you want to graduate your loops to become bigger, all you've got to do is pick up more of your creams. So I've got 10 here, so let's say for the next loop I want to pick up 11 and then do a certain number of loops using 11. Oh, don't forget to pick up your blue first because you won't have anything to go through in the next round otherwise. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 this time. So you can pick up pretty much any number of beads for your loop um, and it will change the look of it a little bit. And then you jump across into the gold and so on and so on and you carry on in the same way. Now, the way I did the necklace, so if I bring the necklace over, so with the necklace, I started off at the end, um, and I started here. Can you see I've got two of the loop purple color there? Right? So I started in the same way as this, but I used only two beads for my loop, so two purples instead of the two creams. Okay? I did five rows using two. Then I increased it to three in my loop, and I did five loops using the three beads, and then five loops using the four beads. Now, the easiest way to keep track of how many beads um, that you're using is what I did, because I was also using the size eights there, but as I say, you can just use a different color of 11s, is as I was working on my piece like that, what I did was I said, okay, so I need to use 11 in my loop here, and I need to do five rounds of 11. So take out five of your size eight beads, put them separate, and then you pick them up from here, and you know when you've used up the five, then you've done five rounds using 11 beads. Then you switch to 12 beads in your loop, so you pick out your five gold again, and when your five is finished, then you've done five loops using 12 beads. Then you increase to 13, 14, 15, and I carried on going until I increased it to 22 beads in my loop. And then I started decreasing again until I went all the way back to two again. And then actually I carried on on this end uh, and I used only one. So you can even graduate it all the way down to only one bead. So here you would be picking up the one blue and just the one cream. And then after five rounds, I left out the cream altogether and then it just becomes tubular peyote stitch using four beads. Okay. And on the other end, where I started with the two in the purple, you can carry on in the other direction with your tail thread because you have exactly the same spiral going in the other direction. Um, the only difference is you, you pick up the, um, the purple. Well, you'll see the pattern when you carry on in the other direction, but it's mostly just going to be peyote stitch because you've only got two purple beads at this end. So you just do that little bit extra just to make it the same as the other end. And then I finished it off with a jump ring at the end. And that's it. Essentially, it's just tubular peyote stitch. But if you don't want to graduate it down to nothing at the end, you can just stop. See, this one I just took down to two pink beads in my loop. And then I finished it off after that. So you don't have to go all the way down to nothing. So you can start with two, go up to 10, which is what this bracelet is, carried on with 10. And then at the other end, I came back down to two and then finished it off straight away. So if you're not graduating, you don't have to graduate. Today. You can even finish it with 10. So you can just stop where this one is. Can you see where I've got my tail thread there? And you can just attach a jump ring to this end mm. and leave it like that. Um, and you still have the same sort of effect. Can you see the spiral is starting to happen there? So it's actually quite a quick spiral because you've only got one, two, three, four stitches to do per round. And that's it, really. It's, it's really, it's really simple. It's absolutely beautiful, though. Look at that. It creates this lovely lace-like design, doesn't it? It does. It's quite light and airy. Again, I think it's quite nice for holidays because yeah. it's, uh, it's not as heavy as, let's say, a Cellini. Yeah. And a Cellini spiral is very stiff as well, so it will stay yeah. the shape. It is because it's a solid a tubular peyote, whereas this has got the... the the loopy sections. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I like that though. The lace, yeah, it does. It creates like this lovely lace. Yeah. Um, also reminds me of quite, it's, I don't know, it's quite uh, um, 
aquatic, I think. It's yes. got this kind of coral reef-like vibe it to does. it. It does, it does. So yes. beautiful. Thank you, Monica. Absolutely amazing. Oh, um, and again, any questions that you have for Monica, do feel free to message us live into the studio. Um, so um, regarding, let's bring you some more of the colorways, shall we? Because we've got a lot to squeeze in. Um, and I don't think we can bring you um, a technique, a new technique like this without bringing you the decadence of wonderful gold. I mean, can you imagine that necklace? in the shades of gold that we have here as I well. I mean, that's the bracelet. Oh, oh, look, look, look. <laughs> Except I did add in, again, some Atos uh, yeah. in the gold, but again, you don't have to. You can just do it with the size 11s. It will have a little bit less of a twist, but it will still look just as good. With, wow. Uh, I mean, that's an incredible, incredible piece of jewellery, isn't it? Um, so again, so you said the necklaces, you could make probably two of those. Yes. Um, bracelets, obviously, you're going to make... Well, let me fish out my leftover beads because I do have them here. They're going to go a long way, aren't they? Nine pound, Ross. You seem to be stuck. You seem to be stuck on three pounds per <laughs> tube. It's uh, okay. There we go. All good. And 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 even if you're not a sea beater, these are going to appeal, aren't they? Because I'm not a very talented sea beater. I'll have a go. I will have a go. I don't have the patience that um, lovely. This Monica is a really has. easy technique, and it's it's really effective. So this is how much I used for one bracelet. One bracelet is used probably I don't know a few centimeters from each of these tubes. You'll see it in a sec. There you go. Just obviously, a few centimetres. Yeah. So obviously, the, the smallest one is the one that I use for the loops and then the other two colours. And I use maybe probably a centimetre from the top of a tube of size eight. Yeah, there you go. That's, wow, amazing. So it's going to go a long, long so way. I would say probably five or six bracelets from a kit. Wow, so a lot. Yeah. And even if you just uh, gravitate towards these because uh, they are effectively gold, for me, I use them as spacer beads because you know they're not going to tarnish as well, are they? I mean, um, so I use them quite a lot. This, as... is, this is the necklace. This is my, my own purple that I added in in the ATO. So you can see for the necklace okay. I used that much of, okay. of the ATOs. So they do last. Okay, um, and then that much of two of the seed beads. Number seven. And wow. then I used that one was for the loops. Yeah, perfect. So Absolutely you can probably perfect. make you can probably even make three. Wow. Okay. So they well, will go a long two way. And a half. Two and let's half bring you. Let's bring you some more summery colours, shall we? Um, love this. It's so pretty. Kind of reminds me of candy floss and fairground rides and yeah, very quintessentially summer. Yeah, so that's um, this bracelet. Here. That's the bracelet. Oh, let's swap yep. it over then. Here we go. You know where we're going, don't you, lovely jewellery makers? Um, I don't know why this has become a thing, but it is purely because it's, I don't know, maybe because it's you, Monica, oh. because we love you that much. <laughs> um, three pound per tube. How many have we got of these then, Roscoe? Is there, is there many available? 60 available, so actually quite limited. Love that cornflower blue. It's so yes. pretty, isn't it? Um, so again, you've got the translucency of the cornflower, you've got your opaque uh, baby pink, and then you've got almost that lovely zavarite like green, which is amazing. Three pound per tube, but there are only 60 available. So again, make sure you check out nice and early to guarantee your success. Um, nothing stopping you mixing these colors up and an ideal opportunity for you to replenish your stash of seed beads um, because we haven't had it for a long time here at Jewelry Maker. I don't know why, for what reason, but we haven't had seed bead uh, sort of hours actually for quite some time. Um, they are back and they're back with a vengeance so how amazing is that lots of multi buyers well done to you all and I don't think the joy of seed beading and it was one of those when I, I remember when we first introduced seed beads and every there were certain people that were quite resilient to it weren't they oh no we only want genuine gemstones okay that's fine if that's your bag but you can use them with your genuine gemstones as well um, okay let's bring you so number five is oh delicas so that's this one. Those earrings, Monica, are yeah. absolutely incredible. If you want to make those earrings, you can search up on, on YouTube. You just have to search for folded peyote stitch and, and you'll find uh, several videos that show you how to do that. I, 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 I'm going to reiterate what Ross has just said. Did you hear it? Oh, I didn't hear him. He said that's some of the best seed beading I've ever seen. Oh, thank you, Ross. He loves it. They are so cool, aren't they? And I they, like it because it's kind of kind of mathematical. And what you can also do is you can suspend a large bee, like a pearl oh. or something, in the bottom of it there. How, what, just stitch it on? Yeah. How amazing is that? I have you demoed this, did you say? I think I did, yes. Well, I don't know what I'm asking because I'm never going to be able to do that. Never going to be able to make those. But 
I thought Adam was like, yeah, you can. You can do it with Monica's help. I probably could, of literally, uh, holding my hand. They're abso ooh, absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Love those. Um, Monica, could you like make those and link them all together? Yes, I, that, that was one of the things I did, actually. When I demoed it, I linked them together into a necklace. Oh, can you yeah. imagine that? £8.99 only. So with this one, you're getting your Delicas. The difference between a Delica and a seed bead? Well, the seed bead is rounded. And you can see in the picture there that the Delicas are like little tubes. Flat. Which, which is why they sit together flat like they do in the earrings. Mm. Um, and don't be fooled by the tiny little tube. Well, it's not that tiny, but with the smaller tube than the big tubes. Because Delicas, you get more of them in a gram. Mm -hmm. So you get 190 Delicas uh, in a gram, whereas you get 190. 10 seed beads in a tube. Okay, so actually, yeah, so they in that go a long way. So tube that I would say, you might say it's a small tube, but it's seven grams yeah. times 190, you've got almost 1,400 beads in In each it. of those little in tubes? In each tube, yeah. So they do go a long, long way. Um, and I was expecting 8.99 maybe per tube, but you're actually getting three of them. So it's kind of like buy one, you're getting two free. I don't know. I don't know how much they are ordinarily, but we will always bring them to you at the best possible prices. Well done, everybody. How many have we got of these kits then in terms of availability? 70, but I can see a, a, a full call screen of names. Well done, Pauline, Vanessa. Hello to you, Cumbria, Anne, Jacqueline, Linda, Kim. Hello to you, Manchester, Carol, Molly. Hello to you, Alison, Judith, Elaine, Anne in County Wicklow. Hello to you, Anne in uh, Isle of Man, Christine, Manchester, uh, Celia. Hello to you, Pauline. Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. I hope you're all well. Hope you love the demo demonstration as much as we did I love these Monica you need to do these again <laughs> I will <laughs> I'm, I'm with Ross I think that's one of my favorite looks and also the, the green tube it just says green on the description but it's actually a frosted so a frosted AB color yeah so much more than just a flat green isn't mm, it it's beautiful. Um, beautiful loving these love those earrings yeah, I agree. Very, very cool. Amazing. Well done, everybody. I'll move on just because uh, time is of the essence. Um, next up, Before this is like gold dust. The other earrings. Red okay. is like gold dust. Um, because in terms of it, oh, they're fabulous, aren't they? Um, in terms of pigment, it's the, it's the rarest colour. It is, um, yes. So in your clothing, for example, it's the most expensive yep. pigment to actually have within your clothing. Um, and likewise with seed beads. Um, it's also one of the most uh, popular colours globally. So um, I've got how many? 115, did you say? Wow, OK. Um, but red does tend to come with a higher price point. Oh, look at those. You see, now in these earrings, you can see the combination because in the base of the top, I've used the Delicas because that's just peyote stitch underneath. And then I've embellished it with the round seed beads. And for the fringing, I've used the round seed beads. And I sneakily added a few crystals from my birthday. Oh, I don't blame you. Birthday. And they could be at the pop. That, those, those could be a tassel on a necklace, couldn't they, Absolutely. as well? Absolutely, yeah. And yeah. so on trend tassel jewellery, isn't it? Not just in uh, necklaces, but also in earrings. £8.99, pence. again, that's not far off the cost of the tube of red um, yes, seed bead. Definitely. Um, but Ross, uh, Ross is saying, I've got a bigger quantity of these, L, so you know how it works. Six ninety nine. Oh. <laughs> I don't. I don't know how. I don't know how we are doing such low prices on on Mayuki. Mayuki is like the Ferrari of sea beads. It is. And, and I'm no car person, but I know Ferraris are quite uh, are quite quite good cars. <laughs> <laughs> They're quite posh. Um, and I am going by the price tag. I would assume they are anyway. Um, but yeah, Mayuki are regarded as some of the best in the world. Absolutely. Aren't they? Yes. Yes. Um, hello to you, Ted. Hello, darling. Say more uh, beautiful Monica um, and so easy to follow your demonstration. Oh, thank so. you. I'm, oh, gla I'm glad lovely. it makes sense. That's always good. <laughs> uh, you, 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 do, you do demo very, very well. Uh, Lisa, hello to you saying, um, ooh, use microfaceted gemstones. Beautiful, Monica. Well, this is what I was saying earlier, that instead of the atos that I've put in there, you could put the three millimeter um, microfaceted. Your deal of the days. Your deal which are of coming the days. up. Yeah, exactly. they're coming up. Another message for you from Josephine. Wow. My CB stash is expanding. <laughs> Loving this. Thank you. Oh, welcome, welcome. And you definitely well need the red in there, especially with Christmas coming up. You've got red and gold in this kit. Christmas, summer, well, Valentine's well, it's Day. it's coming up at some point, Christmas. You know, Chinese New Year. Yet, yeah. 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 We've got Christmas in July coming up. Christmas too. in July, absolutely. Red is one of those colours that transitions through it every single season. Valentine's doesn't it? Day, yeah. Valentine's Day, yeah, absolutely. Just if yeah. you just love red. I think. You always need always need red and as you say it's quite hard to find. 
Yeah. It, do you know, red has a personality, I think, as a colour. Yeah. Do you know, um, one of the things back in the days when I, uh, um, um, outside of, of jewellery making, my previous role is we used to talk about um, your personality matches a colour. So red is quite a passionate colour, quite a driven and ambitious yes. person. Yes. Um, and you can, you can see that. You can totally see that. Six ninety nine. we had over 100 of these, but there are tonnes and tonnes of you there. Make sure you do check them out. Congratulations. Um, I've got to move on just because there's still more to bring you. Um, we've got one more bundle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, because I've made another pair of ears. Three. So there must be... <laughs> That would be it's all about the monochromes. Oh, look at that. So again, this is a combination of the delicas and, and the round seed beads. Oh, wow. That's very classic, isn't it, the monochrome? Are you, I love black and white. I think black and white, again, it's just, it's, it's always appropriate, isn't it? It's actually it? black and cream, which is a little bit softer effect yes. than, the, than the, the black and white. Yeah. Six ninety nine for three <laughs> tubes. Are these, hang on, are these all delicas? Well, one of them is delicas, the other two are round seeds. Okay, so you can mix them, nothing saying you can't mix them together. Yeah. What, why, okay, there's a clock on our screens right now, which those of you that know jewellery maker know that that mean one thing. We never go up, do we? That's just, that. can you imagine if we did? One day, should we just try and throw a curveball out there just for kicks? Not, no, we're not going to do it. That's not how it works here at Jewelry Maker. <laughs> um, we, are, we, are, we are creatures of habit. The clock means that our price is going lower, um, which tells me that possibly we've got quantity. Yes, we've got quantity, amazing. But we always need monochromes, don't we? Even if you're not a seed beader as such, you're gonna use these, uh, um, these little beads, these little tubes of beads, yep. and you will use them, say, for example, in your um, early bird earlier on. Um, how about alongside your deal of the day where you've got your microfaceted gemstones? They are fantastic alternatives to a space bead, aren't Absolutely. they? Absolutely, yes, yes. And also, Oh, if I can show you on the overhead quickly, if you want to mix delicas into the demo that I just did. So leave out the eight O's and just use your 11 O's there. If you, in place of the purple in the middle stripe, you put your delicas. Delicas, although they're both size 11, the delicas work up a little bit smaller because they fit together closer. So if you put your delicas in the middle, it's gonna have the same sort of effect as in Lovely. adding a larger bead on the side. So it'll graduate your sizes a little bit and make the, um, the spiral a bit more spirally. So there's no reason you can't make the, the, the that spiral using some delicas in there as well. Amazing. Absolutely. I can't, I, and I'll be honest, that's, that, that for me is, I don't know, I'm not great on, I'm not up to date on the Mayuki pricing, but surely that's the price of one, one tube. Oh yeah. Price of one tube, but you're getting three. I, the delicas, I, I'm not even sure you'd be able to get the tube of delicas for that. For so £4.99? <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you just do the maths, divided by three, mm -hmm. that's what, a, 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 not even £2 per yeah. tube. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Well done, everybody. Stock up your stashes. Fabulous. Again, use them, in, even if you don't do the wonderful techniques of sea beading. Oh, I beg your pardon, Ross, sorry. Um, then, yeah, as, uh, they're an amazing opportunity for you to use them as, as a spaces or beading in their own individual, right? Don't forget yes. as well, coming up um, in, at midday, we're launching your, um, your gorgeous multicolored elastics as well. Now, um, we have also got, because a technique um, that many sea beaders um, also achieve is the loom, looming is, is very popular. It's something that I believe you can come back to as well. Absolutely, yes, yes. So now there are very, these are very limited. Um, this here, uh, wonderful contraption, is adjustable. Yes. So you can create long lines. So I'm quite proud of this because I had a bit of a Is this you? I had, well, I had, I, I had a, a say in it, let's say. With, no, along with Georgia it, and Monica. Debbie. Own it. <laughs> okay. This is yours, isn't it's it? It's all mine. This is Monica's loom. <laughs> she invented it. It was going to be the it was credit. at one point going to be called the Lumica. <laughs> the Lumica. Yes. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, so, uh, in terms of components, I mean, we haven't got many of these. They have absolutely flown out the door. So, um, you, can, uh, you can see the Lumica, I'm going to call it that. <laughs> okay. um, the Lumica um, has, is adjustable, Monica, isn't it? So it you is. can take it from... It is. I mean, you can see you've got the different holes there on the side yeah. and on the inside piece as well. So, you just uh, stretch it out and then you, you just 
join it with the um, wing, nuts. wing nuts. Yeah, whatever size you like to make it. And then you've also got the different sizes of the ends. Yeah, the different Which you get additionals of, don't yes. you? Yes. So you've got. Oh, I see what you mean. That's the sort of the standard size for your size 11 and your size 8 beads. Okay, so if and I then hold you've those got behind. the other options there, you've got the larger ones if you're using size 6 beads or if you want to use gemstones or anything like that. Uh, with the biggest one, you can use up to probably up to about a, uh, an 8 millimeter gemstone on your loom. And then you've got holes there if you want to use it for uh, kumihimo, um, not kumihimo, uh, macrame. Uh, and that sort of thing. So, so it's a really versatile uh, loom, and it stretches long enough to make. I made a hat band on it. Wow! So long enough. Whereas to go before, you'd be quite restricted with looms, wouldn't you? To you obviously would. the shorter lengths of them you as would. well. It does come with um, complete, complete instructions as well. So you don't need to have a, um, a master's degree to figure no. out how to actually set this up, which I like. Um, Monica, so um, yeah, the Lumica, let's, let's call it, yeah, that's what it should be called, isn't it? Because Monica de designed this. Um, so step-by-step -step instructions, we've only got 20 of these available. I like the fact that it's in your wood as well. It is, and you can take it apart completely flat, well, obviously, except for the dowels, they won't yeah. go flat, but, uh, but it, it takes a very little space when you take it apart as well. We're going to do... Okay, okay. Well done. Check out on these. Um, I, what do you take that to, by the way, Ross? Really? Oh. 20 pounds? And let's be honest, you're probably not going to need to replace that. There are only 20, though, so make sure you check them out. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Right, we're going to do um, a last chance bundle on one of the birthday deals that we brought you um, as part of the celebrations recently. Um, we all said it. This is probably one of our favourites um, that we launched. And in terms of precious metal, this is quite possibly one of the best prices you could ever imagine seeing. Um, I'm going to ask, is Kinga there? Kinga? Can I borrow three of the navy busts for a second, please? Um, just because I'll do it the same way as I presented it during, um, during the birthday celebrations. Now, I'm going to tell you that this is solid 925 sterling silver. They are not base metal. In total, you are looking at 18... Wow. 0.7 grams and remember remember like i said there's 27 opportunities so there's not many of these available um one of the biggest trends thank you lovely one of the biggest trends of uh, um, of jewelry at the moment is chains but in particular um this paper clip chain as it's so called uh, first invented by coco chanel uh, made all the more popular, if you like, by Jackie O and her. She was a huge fan of this amazing design, um, but still absolutely very, very, very relevant, very on trend um, across all the design houses as we speak. And we can show you that. So there's Jackie O uh, wearing the famous paperclip necklace by Coco Chanel. Jackie had wanted one for years, but Coco only made a very small number. One finally came up for auction um, and Jackie paid whatever she had to win it. I like the simple terms. They don't know what she paid but probably would have been a lot um here we go so um perfectly trendy get on board with paper clip chains remember when you were bored in homeroom and you strung together paper clips from your pencil case to pass the time or maybe you gave them to a friend to cement with your uh your friend clique um either way paper clip jewelry has come a long way they are now the trend so get on board whether single stranded or layering paper clips have reached a new level of chic Back to Jackie O, uh, the paperclip jewellery uh, style revamp. Um, whether this trend takes you back to the homeroom or makes you nostalgic for the style of the 80s, the paperclip necklace may be trendy, but it is anything but new. Created by Coco Chanel and made famous by none other than Jackie O herself, paperclip jewellery is actually a classic, classic masquerading as a trend. Paperclip necklaces have come a long way since you strung them together as a kid. Available in both yellow and white gold as plain paperclip chains and even accented with pearls paperclip pieces need to be part of your fine jewelry collection after all if jackie o and coco chanel approve how can you go wrong i i mean i'm not even arguing with that absolutely i love 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 the paperclip chain it's very i could say modern but as we know it's not it's masquerading as yeah. it's been around for multiple decades this is 18 and a half grams of sterling silver and we have the final 23 that we can't have 23 stat, sat within our vault not only because it doesn't really benefit us this is too beautiful to be sat in, uh, under lock and key the last time they were on was during the after party of our birthday um we, we had um 
yeah, we launched 208 of them as part of the birthday celebrations. 23 of them are left. Each of these lengths are 50 centimetres. So you don't even have to be a silversmith with this. Or it just literally open and close um, a clasp, attach it to yeah. magnetic, whatever you wish. Um, you can find this style. You can find it in Pandora. £125 um, for one of their versions. You can go to places like Misoma. Um, granted, that's a bit chunkier, but again, £310. Another one from Misoma, £155. Lovely. Very, very similar to what I'm holding right now, or the three I'm holding right now. Um, Thomas Sabo, again, love that. That's very... Mm, very close to the Tiffany's and Cola uh, necklace that um, I've seen recently. £298 in 925 sterling silver. Monica Veneda, of course, um, £495. And again, you might be thinking, oh, yeah, yeah, but Elba, that's quite a bit more chunky. Yeah, OK. All right, let me show you a more petite version of it then. Um, it's still £350. <laughs> um, you can make them into bracelets. Um, £295, I'm just really showing you the style of the link and you can see the price point. And this one, which I actually say is, I've, I've physically held that bracelet. It's so lightweight. Yeah, it's so, so, so lightweight. £95, it's tiny. Yeah. It's actually one of the, I'd call it more like a trace chain than a oh, yeah, yeah. chain myself. £95. We've got the final 23 chances. All you need to do is attach a clasp. You don't have yeah. to solder. They are 20-inch yeah. necklaces, if, you want, if you're looking at them as necklaces. Um, unfinished, because then you can actually choose your class of choice, magnetic or toggle. This has proven to be a, yeah, a firm favourite, and I think something for the gents as well as ladies. Yes, definitely. They aren't available individually, so first one's gone straight away, well done. We are down to the final 22. Look at the investment of 925 sterling silver. You can see there's a significant gram weight. Um, really, the average chain, um, and I'm just talking about sort of a very traditional curb chain here, you're talking less than two grams. So 18 and a half grams um it, across all three it, you know it, it, it you know is usually is significant ten chains. hey ten chains usually would make up yeah exactly that, that kind of gram weight yeah. that, that's approximately 6.23 wow. um in each one approximately of course you are seeing live quantity as we speak um we're under 20 pardon under 20 in terms of quantity We're going to do first price crash, and I'm going to tell you we're not stopping there. Yeah. Did you see any of those necklaces from any of those um, establishments? I think the most affordable was Pandora, wasn't it? At uh, £125. We've beat that straight away. We're under 100 for, you know, if you actually do the maths between yeah. the three. Let's half that price. So we're talking fifty pounds per fifty centimetre wow. chain, and over six and a half grams of sterling silver. We are over allocated, by the way, and this is last chance saloon, last chance saloon. But we will only uh, sort of accept com uh, um, confirmations on this one. There's seventeen left. We are not done at fifty pounds each. I'm not. We're not about to half that price again. I tell you what, we are going to do though is we're going to better than half it. Wow. <laughs> Who would like each 50 centimetre chain, unfinished, so you do need to add your clasp, so on trend, available on split pay. In fact, we're going to go lower than one monthly split payment. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, they, we all said it, you know, as, uh, you know, you know, when you look back at the birthday and you kind of think, OK, what was our best bits? What was the most uh, the most exciting products? This was up there for us. We all said this had to be one of the best purchases. The only negative, if, if I was sort of like uh, um, being a bit of a stickler here, was we wanted a bigger quantity of yes, them. Yes. If we'd have had a thousand of them, they are still sold out. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing. I mean, we are going lower than one of your split payments here. Jewelry maker, Candy, Soraya, Joanne, Christine, Leslie, June. Uh, London, well done. Multi buyers on this opportunity. Yeah, you are hearing that right. Hey, you, you might be thinking, what, £74.50, Al? You're saying you're going to go lower than that. Yes, correct. For all three. <laughs> Goodness for me. all three. Per chain, today, and for the last chance, I hope we get these again. I hope we get them again. Ooh. 
20, oh. 20 pounds. <laughs> let me, let, let me, and I've just, I remembered, I've, I've asked Kinga to bring those busts and I haven't actually used them yet, but here you go. Sorry, Kinga. Wow. Look at that, look. Look, at, look how you can see the sparkle, even from so far away. That's 20 pounds, Monica. It's Gosh. over six and a half grams of sterling silver. Gosh. Look at how beautiful. You can see that they're significant in their gram weight. It's not plated. Absolutely. This is solid 925 sterling silver. Do you want to see the next one? And I think all of these would work for men's jewellery, actually. Absolutely. Mm. Pop to Gucci if you want. You can get their version. Or one of their versions. I know it's an 18 karat gold. Eight. That's so overpriced. It's obscene, isn't it? Eight and a half thousand pounds. <laughs> Pounds. Um, and again, I don't know how heavy that is, but amazing, amazing, amazing. Do you want to see the next one? Do you want to see the next one? We are super over allocated. So I'm going to say good luck to Leslie, good luck to West Midlands, good luck to Maria, good luck to you, Anne, good luck to you, Nita, good luck to you, Kathleen, good luck to you, Rhonda, uh, good luck to you, Susan, good luck to you, new customer, good luck to you, Caroline, good luck to you, London. I've got two left. Um, and you've got to remember, people are multi-buying on this as well. I mean, we showed you one at the beginning, the most affordable, from at, uh, Pandora, wasn't it? £125. £125. There's two left. Good luck. Or I might have to snap some of those up. Because all you need to do is open and close a clasp. Absolutely, yes. And it would look really nice layered as well. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. And with them being the paperclip chain, means you've got quite nice exposure to attach to if you wanted to. Um, who's taking that last one? We've got London, Caroline, Leslie, West Midlands, Anne in Merseyside, Kathleen, um, amazing, Susan, Shirley, Nikki. Hello, Teresa. Good morning, ladies. These are so chic. They are, aren't they? Absolutely. They are, hands down, I think, one of the best products that we actually had during the uh, birthday celebrations. Well done. Well done. As it stands, we're going to leave that last one with you because there's... How, how many people are with it in their baskets and on the, and on the phone? 18. So 18 of you. 18 divided by one. Mm. No, it's not, <laughs> not going to work, is it? Um, amazing. Well done, everybody. Now, coming up, after the break, we have your beautiful faceted three millimeter rounds um yeah those of you that know me though i'm a massive fan of the three millimeter rounds and i'm kicking myself because just before the show i was like oh, ross i was going to bring in all my lovely uh, oh, oh well i say lovely the simple stretchy bracelets like stretchy bracelets that i've made out of three mil rounds and there's just a couple of my yuki beads dotted in between yeah. simple stretchy you know job done um and I've probably made about two or three bracelets out to each of these strands. They are so on trend um, and they're absolutely everywhere, particularly in Ashley Clark as we speak. We're bringing you a showcase of your three millimeter rounds. It works, as Monica was saying, um, alongside your techniques of seed beading. Um, Monica's made some beautiful jewelry, which I'm going to be showing you in a few moments' time. Don't go anywhere, lovely jewelry makers. We'll be back after this. <laughs> Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. to know what's going on in the next show then head over to our website click on the TV guide this will tell you who's presenting which guest we have joining us along with what's going on in each hour if you ever miss a show you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show you can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy 
catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Welcome back, everybody. So excited about this deal of the day. The showcase is like, well, it's, a, it's an hour of deal of the day, uh, days, effectively, because showcases like this come around far less than we want them to. Because uh, when we're talking about not necessarily one particular gemstone, we're actually talking about a particular style or cut of gemstone um, that's huge at the moment. And I uh, mentioned just casually there, um, Ashley Clark, but the reality is I could reel off probably, I don't know, multiples um, of different designers that work with beads effectively. And here at Jewelry Maker, I mean, we've just celebrated our 13th year, haven't we? But um, have you ever noticed that a lot of the most luxurious or considered the most luxurious of jewelry houses are actually not just working with your calibrated stones anymore? They're actually working with, well, they are, but not just them. Um, they are working with rounds. They are working with your faceted. They are working with things like your briolettes. Um, and it got me researching that, saying, okay, so this is something that is now uh, um, Boucheron, Boodles, um, Cartier, all working with beads rather than just your, your, your cut stones. Um, and I, I saw, saw this article and I was like, this is something I'm going to share with our audience because I do think it is very relevant um, to the pieces of jewellery that we make um, on a regular basis. So, um, And you can see some really lovely pictures that are absolutely going to work alongside your deal of the day to give you just a little bit of inspiration. So um, our favourite beaded necklaces to kick off summer. Here we go. So you can see beautiful faceted rounds there, creating that lovely twist. Um, in the jewellery world, diamonds, pearls and gemstones of all varieties are seen as the star or the crowning jewel, if you will. But recently, a nostalgic jewellery format has taken the jewellery world by storm once again. Beaded necklaces. Beaded necklaces have recaptured our attention with their cheery colours, handmade craftsmanship, which often makes each one unique, and their ability to add dashes of laid back joy to every outfit. Is that not just joyous, that paragraph straight away? It is nostalgic. You know, it's not 
pretentious. This is, this, you know, that's the thing. Jewelry, certain jewelry designs could come across as a little bit pretentious. Do you see where I'm coming from on that? Whereas your beaded jewelry isn't. It's playful, it's fun, it's, you know, it's, it's adornment, of course, but it's actually a much more laid back vibe about it. Um, we'll read on. If we were to analyse what makes the beaded necklace so appealing, um, it would be hard to decide what we love the most. Is it the fond memories of earlier childhood years and making beaded uh, pieces for Mother's Day or friendship bracelets? Maybe it's the homemade crafty DIY quality they have, which is extremely relevant at this moment, um, at, in this moment of time. Or maybe because they're just so cute. No matter what draws you to the beads, we all agree that they feel special right now. Their uniqueness can speak to everyone's individual style and their customization, friendly nature brings a personal feeling to your jewellery box or to someone who deserves a gift. Again, I was like, you've just described jewellery maker. You've just described the audience that is jewellery maker. That's one of the reasons why we make jewellery. A, one of a kind designs. B, it's more affordable. And the fact that you can actually gift these fabulous creations too. No longer are beaded necklaces relegated to the bat back of the metaphorical trend line, nor are they constrained to the past eras they had a stronghold on. These are, definitely, these are definitely not your middle school summer camp beaded necklaces. Elegant, chic, and definitely the it accessory for this summer. Um, below, our favourite beaded necklaces are on the market, but don't forget to unleash your creativity and perhaps try some beading for your own. It was like it was written for our audience, wasn't it? Of course, and what it doesn't mention there is also beaded jewellery is the first type of jewellery that was made historic. thousands of years ago. Yeah, the most historic. I mean, they didn't have claw setting and things like that in ancient Egypt, you know? No, <laughs> it was all beaded. It was all beaded. beaded. That's a really good point, Monica. Yeah. We'll, write, we'll write to the author and say, oh, you've forgotten this. You but yeah, that, absolutely. An important so, point. So, so, so <laughs> yeah. true. Um, so here we are. Take a little look at these articles. So just when you thought you, uh, that we were over the 90s obsession, the beaded necklace is back. Love it, and you can see there that photograph of that a beautiful model wearing lovely colours in a beaded necklace. Remember the adorable handmade beaded necklace you gifted your best friend when you were little? Or the one your childhood friend gave to you that you still guard with your life? It's time to get it out of hiding and wrap it around your neck. Oh. Love it. <laughs> Okie dokie, no problem. Reading on. Whether a single delicate strand or, la or a layered one, whatever your preference, there's one for everyone. Rainbow coloured rounds or floral beaded necklaces as well as mixed beads and pearl necklaces are massively popular. You can also string together alphabet embossed beads and spell words, names or even a cause that you stand for. If the vividly coloured beads are too much for you, you can also opt for a more new neutral colour. Maybe something like your early bird, for example. Beaded jewellery is summer's biggest hit. Here's where to buy yours. Add a dose of colour to your outfit, just like Gigi had it, and looking incredible as always. Um, but again, mixing her shells with her beads. You can see pearls in there. Making fashion jewellery by hand is the perfect creative process, she says. Not Gigi, somebody else. Um, not only is there an aspect of calm and expression, me time, you also get beautiful end products that you can wear yourself and give away through thoughtful bespoke gifts. The current climate has left us all feeling a little nostalgic for easier going times. And the beaded jewellery of our childhood is right on trend with fashionistas showing off their personalised bracelets and necklaces all over social media. Beaded jewellery is 2020's hottest summer trend. So uh, there she is again. That is, it, it's not Gigi, is it? Um, is that her sister? I don't know. Um, I don't know. Anyway, it's gents as well. And you might be thinking, these are, hang on, Elle, this is just showing 2020 right the way up to now. Yes, this is a trend that has not gone away. Um, likewise, you've got John Mayer there, you've got Johnny Depp, and you've got Aerosmith, Steven Tyler, there we go, um, who's always rocked the bead of jewellery, hasn't he? Pieces like this, which mix up your heshies, um, that lovely uh, um, shell necklace that you can see on the right-hand side of the screen, again, perfect for your deal of the day. Um, you can make lots of different versions like this lots of pops of color i like that one which has the ribbon as a clasp uh, mixing it with your pearls there's the lovely uh, dainty flowers mixing it with some lovely charms long line to the short twist we had that magnetic clasp earlier on this yeah. morning which would really work with that um, again you've got some i think they're acrylic i think they're actually acrylic beads 
to things like your aquamarine. Um, so it's just everywhere, isn't it? And it's not going away. Um, I have to also mention the most successful, or certainly one of the most successful jewellery launches that Ashley Clark have brought you, and that is that biography bracelet that I reference quite frequently. Now, I'm going to start with a very high-end gemstone. Yes, we don't sort of uh, only pr uh, sort of facet your three millimeter or any round strands um, with a more abundant gemstone. We also include that of your beautiful tanzanite. Um, so just to give you an idea, look at that quality of blue that you can see even from there, an idea of how much you're gonna be able to get from uh, one of these strands. We even without any additions, maybe uh, seed pearls, seed beads, we've just had a few moments ago. Um, some of your galvanized, just even on elastic that we're gonna be bringing, you to, uh, bringing to you as well. Um, in the 12 o'clock hour and you can complement the color of the tanzanite too um, with the uh, elastic that you use through the center look at the quality of that color seriously it's absolutely unbelievable quality of tanzanite again they glow do you see how they glow it's a brand new premiere opportunity so look i'm wrapping it around my wrist and it does just depend i suppose on your uh, on your frame and size amazing color um so yeah you will easily get uh, it depends of. I could, I could easily get two full tanzanite tennis style bracelets with this. If I start adding additions, then obviously I'll probably get three. Um, brand new launch. How many do we have then, Ross? It's an hour of deal of the days. Um, we bought these. They've never been on your screens previously before. And the maximum quantity that we could purchase was 32. So it's always going to be a limited gemstone. We should, let's, let's, let's not be blasé though here, folks. It's a strand of tanzanite. It's tanzanite of amazing vanadium blue quality. Um, we're, we're lucky to have that quantity, aren't we, from this one locational gemstone. Um, you know, 18 carats of beautiful, genuine tanzanite. Not a, not, not, we're not talking acrylic or glass. These are genuine gemstone treasures. That if you, I, I know that Astley Clark, as I've just mentioned their biography bracelet collections, they don't have tanzanite in that collection. No, they have your more abundant onyxes. They have your uh, um, lapis lazuli. They have your turquoise, which we can bring you turquoise, absolutely. But um, they don't have tanzanite, is my point. So that neck, that bracelet, by the way, or this one, look at the price points. £155. £135. £135. £135. And most of these, if you go on their website, are actually sold out. This is one of their most successful collections. Black Spinel, £135. I think they've incurred a price increase too since we've uh, I put together. Yeah, I think it's gone up by £10. So since I put this PowerPoint together, they have uh, they have gone up since then. £39.99 only. Imagine that you are creating, even if you divided this, you know, the carat weight by two into two separate pieces of jewellery, nine carats in the tennis style bracelet. And I'm saying bracelet, it could be necklace, it could be earrings, whichever you wish. Um, that's £20 each. I mean, how amazing is that? Are you ready, though? Because this is not your deal of the day. More limited, because it's tanzanite. It's not lacking in colour. It's not pale. It's not white. It's not wishy-washy. It's not hugely included. It hasn't got those big black blemish marks that would hinder our ability to see that wonderful tanzanite glow. Wow. £19.99 pence only. There are limited quantities available. Absolutely amazing. Well done to each and every single one of you. And in terms of usage, you can put these onto elastics. Absolutely. It'll also work really nicely on your loom. Oh, well. my goodness, Monica. Yeah. Imagine, because I've just seen that rose quartz beaded bracelet in the, um, in one of the uh, PowerPoints that I've, I've showed you many moons ago. Can you imagine a full oh, tanzanite oh. loomed bracelet? Yes. How incredible would that be? Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Well done. There we go. Sorry. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh, Ross, he's on it. He's on the ball this morning. Yeah. You can make that on a loom. Oh, imagine. 1999. Amazing. Barbara's got two. Soraya's got two. Pauline, Karen, Maya. Hello to you, Leone. Hello to you, new customer, Susan in Dorset. Am I giving the wrong person credit there? Was it Adam that was on it? <laughs> um, it was, Ross. Okay. <laughs> unbelievable well done everybody again limited in their quantity and you can mix and match these up with uh, the other color gemstones i'll leave it with you just because we've got a lot to squeeze in within this hour well done everybody now everything um your entire deal of the day hour is available on pre-order right now 
So you can shop ahead. Um, you can guarantee your success on the gemstones that you love the most. So I can see turquoise, rose quartz, peridot, pink tourmaline. Uh, do we go turquoise or tourmaline next? I'm going to say as we showed it, let's go, tour let's go turquoise. Because that bracelet on Ashley Clark, you could, I might get, he's probably switching between PowerPoints now. Sorry, Ross. Um, it's a good job he knows where my PowerPoint, you know, which one's what. Um, so that bracelet there, it's, I love it. And I don't think I'm ever discrediting um, um, brands when I'm showing them. If anything, I'm, I'm, I'm raving about them. Ashley Clark, I love the designs. I love the all-seeing eye motif. I love the fact that you've got those wonderful faceted rounds. I like the fact that you've got what looks like a galvanized bead dotted in between. Um, and then you've got a beaded necklace. You could so easily make a version of that or be inspired by such a design. You just need the components, don't you? Well, let's bring you the turquoise, which, being honest, is going to be the most, uh, most expensive part of actually putting that piece of jewelry together. Again, the length of the strand, this is USA. I'm going to get at least two full um without any other addition uh additions elements spaces whatever it might be charms i'm, I'm going to get two full wraparounds um on myself anyway you might get more you might get a little bit less whichever it is but again this is usa turquoise which tells you the, the lovely quality and intensity of that gorgeous color you've got wonderful visible matrixes but not so much that they almost become quite dark and uh um, un turquoise like effectively um turquoise is a, a very shallow forming gemstone um uh, historic of course so you mentioned earlier on about yes. sort of uh, um, ancient Egyptians. This was a firm favourite of theirs. And of course, it was all about the beaded jewellery. So yeah. we are talking about jewellery that dates back thousands upon thousands of years. Um, amazing quality. You can see that real intensity of robin egg blue. When I think about sort of uh, um, those kind of stacker style layer bracelets, I think about turquoise. Yes. You know, turquoise is one of those that I would always imagine uh, sort of within that collection. And we've got photographs, haven't we, Ross, about like, Astley Clark, where they've got that sort of full arm of, of biography bracelets or collections of those bracelets. Um, and they look absolutely amazing layered together. Here we go. Uh, sort of photographs like this, you know, mixing up your gemstones. It is, as it goes back to the original article that we were referencing, it's not pretentious, is it? It's much more nostalgic. It's yeah. much more laid back. Um, um, or something like this. I, ju I just love it. You could do versions of each and every single... Yeah, put a little bit of turquoise in amongst those strands. How beautiful is that? Now, the first price crash for 23 carats of USA turquoise and the elastics that we are bringing you at 12 o'clock will work for this perfectly if you wanted to go stretchy. First, we're starting there, not closing there. Oh, okay. We've got a big quantity. I'm kicking myself now. I'm meant to bring my phone over. Yeah, sorry. Very unprofessional of me. But I would be shopping alongside with you right now. Beautiful robin egg blue, which is the most... Look at this one here in particular. Look at that. Oh, it pops. I, I like the fact with turquoise, you have got those wonderful different colours and tones. We always reference the fact that um, this is a very shallow forming gemstone. It forms between cracks and crevices of the host rock in very dry and arid air, so desert-like areas. Um, and the actual matrix that we reference is actually uh, the host rock, which is sort of blended within the gem itself. Um, but you can see it forms in, uh, in minuscule amounts. Um, but it's about that wonderful robin egg blue. All the big designers work with it loads of different celebrities have been pictured wearing it on the red carpet for obvious reasons it's beautiful immediately we have got people multi-buying congratulations to you all and at 20 uh, at 19.99 i thought that would have been our closing price but producer ross is saying in my ear l, l we've got a big quantity of them that's the only reason that we are going that little bit lower but we need to justify this especially when you consider that you could go to places like Fabergé, you could go to places like Piaget, you could go to places like Chopard, you could go to places like Harrods and buy the exact same gemstones, yes, with different, yeah, they're, they're, they're reconfigured differently, that's, that's just, a, that's a Tiffany's necklace, by the way, three grand, three grand. We're at £12.99 for a full turquoise, genuine turquoise strand. 
Um, if you may turn those into, what, two stretchy bracelets costing you £6.50 each for turquoise. Yeah. I mean, what on earth? Again, it makes it takes me back to what we were saying earlier on. You know, this is not quartzite, which is far yeah. more abundant. This is not like a, um, I don't know, uh, your more plentiful jaspers or agate. This is a gemstone that's history changes so frequently um, because of the offerings that come from any one given mind. Now, I have got quantity of this opportunity, and that's the only reason we're anywhere near twelve ninety nine. Nine, if we had 50, 19.99 would have been your price. But we have 150. And it's part of your deal of the day. There is no point in us bringing it to air and only selling, I don't know, 50%. We don't want to do that, especially on the deal of the day. The deal of the day have to li live up to that status. But here is where we work together. We need to see you on the web. Even if you just drop it in your basket and you don't check it out, we need to see you on the phone lines, even if you don't press your option one as of yet. The 50 people we need to see there, that's how we discuss it with the powers that be behind the scenes, basically. Why did you take it to that price tag? Believe me, that conversation goes on a lot. Um, we go, oh, well, they were there. They were there. We just needed that little bit of encouragement. So, um, yeah, and believe it or not, we're not on the light, big screen upstairs, so they don't know. They don't know. I need 39 people now to join us on the web and on the phone lines, and we will take this under that milestone that you're thinking. Who wants turquoise? USA turquoise under £10. Oh. We need 31 of you there. Put, I'm going to put 60 seconds on your screen. So use this time to show our team that you want to get involved. You want USA Turquoise at a single figure price tag. Again, you don't see Turquoise at single figure prices. This is a gemstone. I'm so, and I'm almost sorry to talk about price, 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 price. But to, when you've got the history of this beautiful gemstone, you know it's been around for thousands of years. They often refer to it actually as the original jade. Um, a gemstone that has, is often, you know, uh, you've got to be mindful of synthetic turquoise that's out there. And um, because of its amazing peel, um, you know that each and every single one of our strands is certified and laboratory tested. Gemstones that have been draped around the decolletages of the Hollywood rich and famous, the likes of Kate Blanchett, Heidi Klum, Beyonce, Taylor Swift, Megan Fox. We always get it wrong. Eva Mendez. Eva Mendez. Cameron Diaz, Sarah Jessica Parker, Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, Cher, and also Scarlett Johansson, Kelly Rowland, Jennifer Lawrence. There you go. I mean, we could go on and on and on and on and on, couldn't we? Who wants it under £10 today? It's happening. We've got 150 available genuine usa turquoise but workable again like monica, monica said can you imagine looming with usa turquoise ordinarily i don't think we'd have even entertained that would we because it would have been a piece of jewelry that would be yeah. quite the investment how many strands do you think we'd need to make a loomed bracelet Ooh. three or four yeah i would say three or four so 40 pounds i could do a, yeah. a full turquoise yeah. loomed bracelet but also how amazing is that another nice way to use it if you look at the bracelets that i made i use the turquoise in one of them oh yes is to make it into a, a gizmo coil and then you can use it as a as a bead either on a stretchy or you can thread it onto cord ah oh, monica and use them as spaces yeah. as well with this bracelet that's a great idea contrasting it with other gemstones out there nine pounds and 99 pence there are certain gemstones that we know that we can bring to you at under ten pounds. Turquoise is not one of them. It's it, yeah, we shouldn't be anyway. Um, but purely because we have got the quantity for you this morning, well done. Um, it is possible, but one hundred and fifty were there. No, Ross. Ross, no. Ross. Oh. Every other three mil round. I'm repeating what producer is on pre-order. Uh, what for? Does that apply for? All of them. Yeah, but this is turquoise though. This is. Pink tourmaline, lapis lazuli, peridot, Rajasthan garnet, rose quartz, white topaz. Mm. They're all going under 10 pounds. I've said it now, so you can shop ahead on them all. 
we're taking this lower. I don't, I don't know why. I, I, do you know, I would love to be able to give you a reason for this other than the fact Ross, Ross has gone rogue, maybe. Maybe he's gone rogue. I don't know, but this has to be one of the lowest prices we've ever done on tur a turquoise in our 13 years of broadcasting of this quality, definitely. You know, Ross, Ross, we didn't do turquoise nuggets at under £10. Um, yeah, and we're going even lower than that. Make sure you are checking out. There's 150. This is an absolute giveaway deal. Today has been all about giveaways, isn't it? We've had that tanzanite earlier on, which I thought was ridiculous at, what, 6 99 or something like that. Your CB kit, £7.99 pence only. This is not howlite, no disrespect to howlite. This is not magnesite, no disrespect from, to magnesite. But we all know they are more abundant stones, don't we? They're much, much more abundant than the likes of your turquoise. Turquoise is very shallow forming. Um, so what I, the reason why I say that is it's pointless digging to... Multi, you know, meters upon meters below the Earth's surface because it just becomes less and less and less abundant. Um, that's why the history of turquoise changes so frequently because you are literally, okay, that mine's done, let's move on. Um, 7 99 I think even with little to no gemstone knowledge, we know that turquoise does not is not a single figure price tag. Unbelievable. Well done. Cardiff snapped up four. Um, so here we go. You know that every single one of your deal of the day strands is guaranteed under £10, so you can shop ahead and pre-order on your Rajasthan Garnet, your Peridot, your Lapis Lazuli, your Rose Quartz, your Tourmaline, your Amethyst, your Topaz. You can shop ahead on each and every single one of those. Um, I would recommend doing it too. I don't know the quantities of them, um, and I reckon we're going to be seeing a lot of biography-inspired bracelets or looming on the back of this deal of the day. Well done. There was 150. There's definitely not 150 anymore because our lovely audience, know a deal when they see it they know a deal that we cannot afford to miss out on as well because let, let me just say this say say i didn't have this on the back of my hand right now if i was to sort of come to wear and say jewelry makers have we ever done turquoise like usa turquoise in a cut 23 carats of amazing quality at 7.99 you you know you're going to be answering no well done until today right we have to do the pink tourmaline Okay, Ross says, I got a bit excited. <laughs> <laughs> this, this shouldn't be going under £10. He says, in one crash, we're going to do it. Um, and it's going to be on your screens for how long? Okay, we'll put it on screens for one minute. This is meant, at the very lowest, this is meant to be £14.99. He says, I made a mistake. Yeah, because it's pink tourmaline. Pink tourmaline is... Yeah, can command one of the higher price points of the tourmaline family. Not family, gemstone. And they're perfectly colour matched, Ross, as well. You've made the most beautiful earrings with these, Monica. Yeah, I did like those pink ones. Oh, they're so pretty. <laughs> oh! Are you doing the royal we, Ross? That's okay. That's okay. Let's do it. Uh, listen, we got you back. We've made a mistake. <laughs> less so ross more us yeah fair enough should have been 14.99 at the very la at the very lowest but yeah we'll do this for 60 seconds and 60 seconds only is oh he says what's bad about this l i've made a mistake with not just a, a small quantity like 30 or 40 there's a hundred of them available okay <laughs> Um, I'm not going to sit here and say this is rubelite. It's it, it's not rubelite. It's a pink tourmaline, which I absolutely love because you get this really um, very floral-like pink, I yes. think. It's quite a peony pink, really pretty. Um, that being said, I can see a rubelite in this strand. But again, totally and utterly natural. This auction will end in 60 seconds because this is a pretty significant um, error um, in terms of price point. It's natural Brazilian tourmaline, which is known for um, having the, some of the most amazing intensity of colour saturation. I personally use this with the tur uh, turquoise. Yeah, but I had the same sort of thought as you, that it's got like the floral colours. That's why yeah. I put it with the peridot. Oh, so that, Monica, that's green is so there. beautiful. And you've used, what, a handful? Uh, I think I used 10 or 20, uh, no, 12, 12 in each earring. And you've got... Uh, over a hundred on that strand. Oh, so you can make mo even if you just had a, like a production line of these earrings. Yeah. How much would you sell those for? Do you reckon? Oh. Don't be silly, though, will you? Thirty pounds. No, <laughs> no, no, no. They could if look if these were at an artisanal market or 
in, you know, let's just stick artisanal market rather than a, uh, a jewellery shop because we know that'll be much more expensive. But 50, 60 at least. Yeah. But the quality is tourmaline. I mean, I, I only used a tiny little bit of the gemstones on there. I'd expect to pay 50, 60 pounds for those earrings. They're absolutely beautiful. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. We had to move on quite quickly because, yeah, that was a pretty, pretty colossal mistake. Um, okay, let's do our beautiful topaz. Again, I'm going to wrap it around my wrist. Um, here's your opportunity to create... I don't know. I'm not going to sit here and say these are diamonds. They're not diamonds. These are uh, topaz, which is another naturally brilliant forming gemstone. I'm not, that, uh, I'm not just saying that as if to say, oh, yeah, you're, you're brilliant. You are. Yeah, amazing. Um, topaz is known and celebrated to have some of the most unbelievable clarity. Um, and this strand is, yeah, we've, we've said it multiple times, um, just amazing the quality of the topaz that we actually have within minimal inclusions if any at all um if there were then you wouldn't be seeing the fire and the dispersion the scintillation that uh, um within um within this recording there are only 40 available opportunities um i'd put this with the black uh, onyx that we had earlier yeah. on i think that would be amazing or maybe as accents with all your other sto uh, three millimeter stones now this is the most limited um and ross is saying uh, we've already made a price pledge haven't we we've said they're all going under 10 pounds okay mm. and we think it may well sell out before that clock runs out because we're at 9.99 for pristine eye clean clarity of your white topaz I mean, you can see it's it's flawless in its clarity. There's not any dark, heavy inclusions that are maybe hindering our ability to see that fire and scintillation. Um, you can see how beautifully, seamlessly faceted these are because you have got that wonderful... Uh, um, continuity um from from bead to bead again i'm thinking looming how amazing yes. would this be in looming and i'm thinking back to all of those beautiful designs that we showed you remember beaded jewelry is the hottest trend and it has been really since 2020 and it's not going it doesn't seem to be disappearing anytime soon straight away we've got collectors getting involved carol susan irene five pauline rowena karen ronda patricia fiona amazing well done even without any additions um of of, uh, I don't know, charms or spacer beads. You can see, wrapped around my wrist, I can make at least two full uh, tennis-style bracelets. Well done, everybody. I'm going to leave those with you. Um, and I'm going to move on to... Can I just... Just one sec, because these are the ones that we've brought so far. Oh. I'm going to... Hang on. And imagine you've been getting involved during the deal of the day yeah. and you've got potential to make that. but even more beautiful because you're probably going to put spaces in and additional charm. Look at that. Wow. So wait a second, that's less well, than 40 pounds, isn't that it? That pretty much answers your question, how many do you need for a loom bracelet? Because that's kind of how they would sit if you push them together um, on a loom bracelet. Amazing. Actually, sorry, let me correct that. 50 pounds because the time tonight was 20. Mm. So, I mean, come on. Expectations here, time tonight under 10. No. Okay, it's flying on pre-order. Let's do the amethyst, which is so pretty. Monica, I know without even looking at you that this is going to be one of your favourites. Um, because she loves her purple. I can totally see why. Oh, it's amazing quality amethyst. Have you seen the wow. colour saturation of this? Goodness me. Okay, we're going to open it up for everybody. First price crash. You know we've made a price pledge. First price crash. We, talk, we spoke about nostalgic jewellery, didn't we, when we were uh, reading that article? We were talking about how um, non pretentious it is. Well, amethyst was once upon a time a gemstone that was warm, uh, worn by uh, um, royals, if you like. It was. A, it was. It was. It was a sign of superiority back in those days. Obviously, we don't really go with that anymore, and it's a gemstone that the world absolutely loves. But you can see that wonderful richness. You can see that beautiful decadence. At £9.99 pence only, we're going even lower. It's not heat-treated. Sometimes your amethyst can be uh, heat-treated just to encourage those beautiful ultraviolet colours. Um, not the case here. You can see you've got that quality already. Don't see it very often, do we, anymore? Amethyst is one of the gemstones that is less frequent... 
um, becoming more and more more less frequent on our live shows, unfortunately. So do seize that opportunity when you get the chance. Um, Zambian Amethyst, you know, um, we know that Gemfields invested millions upon millions of pounds into this location of mining because of the quality of the gem, gems like this that were coming from the ground. Um, not stopping at £9.99. Loads of you have shopped ahead on your pre-orders. Amazing, well done. Six ninety nine. Wow! Amazing deals. Amazing, amazing. Have we got quantity though? How many? Hundred available. Not bad, but at these prices, they aren't hanging around jewelry makers. I mean, pieces like that. That bracelet. Sorry, Ross. That bracelet, which I've shown. I, I found that bracelet about four years ago. Yeah. On online, and it's been the inspiration behind a kit. Yeah. It's been referenced on our live shows, I don't know, I don't, don't know how many times, and it's always referenced when we're, we're doing showcases like three millimeter rounds. Yeah. You know, it's, it's yeah, um, you could use it with the loom that we brought yes. you earlier yes. on. How beautiful. Or oh, the tassel. Imagine that tassel yeah. in, in, in amethyst. And also there was another picture that we had of a, like a multi-strand, the one with a big magnetic clasp in the middle. I think it was blue. At the beginning of the PowerPoint. The yeah. Yeah, so, so you probably need even if you've got six of these strands, you're still looking at, what, 40 pounds? Yeah. Uh, you know, and you'd have a quite a big chunky beaded necklace from that. I know which one you mean. Well, I tell you what. That's the, that's the you, one, yeah. I tell you um, what, hang on. I, and I'm going to hold the tanzanite just because I can't let, I don't want to leave it out. So hang on a second. There's four, five strands that we've brought you so far as part of this deal of the day. Yeah? I mean, look yeah. how beautiful they are, all sort of alongside one another. But let's do this. Oh, look at that. And you can imagine that necklace, can't you? Oh. Oh, amazing, amazing, amazing. Right, we're going to dive into the peridot, which if you're a fan of Monica's beautiful earrings, um, then you'll have spotted that there's some beautiful pops of vibrant natural green. Um, these are beautiful, aren't they? First price crash. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And you've used, what, a handful of the Peridot. 9 99 but we're not stopping there. Again, the days of us having full Peridot showcases, you know, we used to have all hours um, of this gem, so we haven't done, we've done one for probably years, in actual fact. Uh, totally natural, so there's no uh, laboratory treatment to, uh, uh, to this gemstone. And it has quite literally travelled over 50 miles to the Earth's surface. That's so wow. cool, isn't it? <laughs> a gem that forms within, not the Earth's uh, crust, like most, within the Earth's mantle. Look at that amazing colour. Peridot is, at te technically speaking, um, older than the oldest gemstone of our planet. You might be thinking, what are you talking about, Al? What are you talking about? How can it be older than the oldest gemstone of our planet? Because this is the oldest gemstone of our solar system. So there we go. Um, that beats that, doesn't it? That beats <laughs> that. Uh, 9.99, but in 17 seconds, what are you doing? Uh, why is there a clock? Is that to... Oh, OK. I thought that was to uh, sort of end the auction. No, no. It says, no, there'll be a red clock for that, Elf. We're going lower in terms of price. Have I got quantity of these as well? Peridot is one of those gemstones that you will see from dis meters away. It has, when it's quality like this, it's got that perfect summertime chartreuse, uh, chartreuse green. Six ninety nine only for you all. So much potential. Again, those necklaces that we've shown you throughout the course of this hour. Um, you could, and, and you could go to Cartier, you could go to Ashley Clark, you could go to Miss Soma, you could go to Thomas Sabo, you could go to. Uh, um, uh, Preta Porter, um, all those different design houses working with beaded jewellery at the moment. It is so bang on trend right now. Lovely layered looks. £6.99, Tina, Fife, Rhonda, Alison, Doreen, Joy, Hello to you, Fiona, Irene, London, Deborah, Carol, Susan, West Midlands, Kathleen. Um, amazing. Make sure you're checking out your baskets to guarantee your success. Again, that continuity of quality from end to end on this beautiful strand and perfect for little, little summery vibe pieces like these. These lovely earrings that um oh and the bracelets the look bracelets, that monica yeah. has actually created as well i'll pop those behind too um absolutely beautiful using them as little spaces yeah um well done um if i'm allowed a favorite this this strand will be my favorite this next one it's absolutely beautiful um tell me this quantity okay we're not even stopping at 9.99 if you value my recommendation, start dialing now, because this garnet is 
uh, genuinely, uh, it's, it couldn't get any better. Because garnet can be quite, a, quite um, it can be so deeply saturated that it becomes almost black, yeah? Whereas this has got that really beautiful, passionate red. Now, I guarantee this strand under £10. Guarantee. That's what I'm talking oh, about. beautiful. If you value my recommendation, then this absolutely has it and then some. Because this is not a gem that you, uh, um, it, you're not seeing pleochrosum. It's a, of a cubic crystal structure, so the same as your diamonds. Um, but look at that luster. Can you see? Look, every single one of those facets, like we always call, we call it a paparazzi luster. Absolutely beautiful. Um, and then you're seeing the different the different spectrum colors within absolutely unbelievable It's the perfect level of saturation not too dark. Otherwise, then it'll be quite uh, almost black that perfect Passionate red that is Rajasthan garnet. We're gonna do it in one price crash And we're not stopping at 999. There's 150 of these I'm gonna get a few of these put them in between your white pearls. Look how beautiful that would be. Yes just dotting them in between white pearls. Imagine these on top of Monica's beautiful earrings. Very nice, yes. Just having a cluster of Rajasthan garnet. Oh my goodness me, it's just beautiful. Again, it's, it's, it, these are quite playful, aren't they, in the color choices yes. that you've gone for. If you actually swapped it over to the Rajasthan, yes. then all of a sudden quite it easy. becomes... Yeah, very yeah. evening-y, absolutely. Six ninety nine. There's people getting fives, fours. Don't blame you, Catherine, Candy, Lanarkshire, Barbara, Elaine, Irene, Fiona, Doreen, George, Tina, Fife, Kerry, Susan. Amazing. Um, we had one hundred and fifty, which might seem like loads, but probably about fifty percent of you have chosen to multi buy on not just this strand, actually many of them. They all work absolutely beautifully together. Um, one more three millimeter. No, we've got two more three millimeter round strands. Is that right? Um, oh, and they've all been. Oh, you're not. Well, oh, rock in a hard place, Ross. Because yes, I want them obviously to sell out, but also it means I'm going to miss out. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Beady beads. It's like you were saying earlier, we don't do 5 99 do we? <laughs> we don't. We said to bypass it for some reason. <laughs> Those in between pearls would just be absolutely unbelievable. Oh. Or, and, and again, I'm fairly sure, in fact, I know, Ashley Clark do a garnet, don't they? Biography bracelet. But it's not 4 99 You're talking <laughs> £150 for any one of their biography bracelets. And it uses probably a third of this strand. Can you imagine a little red bracelet in amongst those designs? How beautiful that would be. I, I love this strand. I think it's absolutely amazing. And again, Rajasthan garnet we used to do by the showcase. I can remember when I was working on our sister channel again, we used to have hours of Rajasthan garnet. We don't anymore. Um, and sadly, the quantity just seems to have completely diminished. So we rarely ever see it. Um, but it's such a beautiful gem. It's so beautiful. Um, and it's totally and utterly natural. It's just got that oof. You can see, you can see the value in this gemstone, can't you? Well done, everybody. Stay where you are. Lots of fours, fives, sixes, twos, threes. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Well done. Um, okay. Uh, penultimate strand, yeah? Um, this is, so going back to, okay, let's do the rose quartz first. Because it is going on pre-order. Um, and you know that bracelet that we showed earlier on? You know, the, that was rose quartz, by the way. Um... And I'm sure, again, Ashley Clark have done a version. Uh, Rose Quartz, of course, sim uh, symptomatic of uh, love, unconditional love and friendship. Um, and I get that. This is totally and utterly natural. I'm going to announce it. I'm just going to say it out loud. We're going to do natural Rose Quartz under £5 today. Oh, gosh. <laughs> is there 150 available? 150 available. I'd team this with the, to with the topaz that we had earlier on. Yes. Ah, uh, Ross, yeah, you need to start thinking about weddings and, you know. <sighs> yeah, no, but you know what? This, like, like, this is just 
perfect for, for a hair or something like that. It'd be really pretty. But how pretty is it alongside the topaz? I, I love that combination. Um, well done. I've said it out loud. It is guaranteed to be under five pounds for you, jewelry makers, this morning. Well done to each and every single one of you that has shopped ahead. As I said, this was flying out on pre-order as well. And that's with you thinking, or knowing rather, that it was under 10 pounds. Um, was there 150? 150 available, 4.99 for rose quartz. Looming, spacer beads, in your technique that you showed earlier on. Yes, yes, but also with the gizmo coils, you can use your it. Your little gizmo a, coil technique just uh, here is going to make them the go that The waterfall style earrings. Do you remember the ones that Caro uh, used to make? Yes. Where they start, there's more of them at the top and then you make less. Like grapes. Yes. Like a grapevine. I remember good. those. Yeah, that would be gorgeous. Well done, everybody that is checking out those baskets. I love it. With, with rose quartz, you get this kind of um, very um, ethereal uh, sort of semi-translucency. Um, the ethereal sort of translucency to this. You get this um, absolutely beautiful, delicate p uh, uh, pink glow. Well done, because we had 150 available opportunities, but... Um, yeah, lots of multi-buyers getting involved. Well done, everyone. Congratulations now. Um, the last of your three millimeter collection is, and we've spoken about it, haven't we, already? Lapis Lazuli. Um, lapis lazuli again much like your turquoise is steeped in history um, beautiful gemstone that has pyrite inclusions that gives you these really beautiful uh sort of like like like, uh, like a midnight sky i suppose um again this is totally natural sometimes lapis lazuli can be actually uh, sort of impregnated with a dye or bleached um or dyed rather not bleached um this isn't the case here you've got that beautiful intensity of color and it's done completely and utterly naturally um earlier on we showed you that lady in that um in that uh, advertisement that just had a wristful didn't she she had a wristful of lapis lazuli pieces so um, it does tend to be one of those gemstones that we gravitate towards. Six pounds and 99 pence only. We've gone straight down to that price tag. Lovely jewelry makers. No dilly dallying along the way. Lapis lazuli, much like gems like your pearls, amber, um, yeah. rose quartz, diamonds. You know straight away, don't you? Yes, absolutely. Well done, well done, well done. Um, congratulations to you all. Stay where you are. Um, we've got still got items we want to squeeze in with this before your uh, what's it, uh, Larimar hour. Um, but earlier on, we did a last chance opportunity um, of one of your birthday deals that we brought you, those lovely sterling silver chains. We have got another opportunity to repeat um, one of your birthday deals. Now, this, thank you. Kinga, this necklace, and I said it at the time, um, this is even more limited than the chains. I said it at the time, this piece of jewelry, hands down, is, and I know you've got to, you've got to complete it. You've got to add your precious metals. You've got to knot it if you want to. There are four available. In, in 13 years, it gets no better than this. Genuinely, this is one of the finest pieces of jewelry I could potentially ever bring to you. I, I could be I could be one of the auctioneers at Sotheby's right now um, in the presence of a piece like this. And I'm just going to ask Kinga, have you got a white bust as well? Just because, thank you, darling. Um, just because it's ombre, so I want to see it against uh, um, the colours against both. Now, this is totally natural. Cotan jade. Cotan is widely documented as the most expensive jade in the world. It's also the most historic, and it's rumoured to be at the end of its mining uh, um, time frame. Um, it's the only location in China that actually mines this gemstone. Um, most other jade will come from different locations around the world. Thank you, beautiful, thank you. Um, so, yeah, uh, it's steeped in history. The most expensive piece of jade ever sold at auction was not Burmese jade, it wasn't Guatemalan jade, it wasn't Canadian, it was Cotan. It's, it's well documented as being the most, exp thank you, that's better, well documented as being the most expensive jade in the world. Now, there are only four available. And I, I will always be as transparent with you guys as, uh, why wouldn't you be? So if I had the budget right now, I would be getting involved in this right opportunity because this is something that a is potentially irreplaceable moving forward um 
but also look at that sorry look at that seriously the co the translucency uh, this has probably taken years to create that beautiful ombre effect there are four available in the world this is quite literally when i say look approach the likes of Bonhams, approach the likes of Christie's, approach the likes of Sotheby's if you want, if you are thinking about profits right now. With pieces like this, oh my goodness me, and you will get a fantastic return. Um, it doesn't get any better than what's on your screens right now. You've got the perfect ombre, you've got that perfect translucency. Again, to achieve that wonderful blend, and I, you know, you've got to remember that we don't just go down into a mine and these colours. Oh, look, there's a lovely ombre. That's not how it's uh, how it's unearthed. You actually have to source the perfect. And I'm gonna I'm gonna follow. I want you to follow the necklace round. So you've got right from the back, pure white, pure imperial white cotan jade, natural. And then follow it round. You can see it goes down into your sort of more uh, mutton fat colours. Right down then into your soft, delicate greens. Following it down, then you're almost going like a spearmint green. Going all the way down, then you've got your darker tones. Right the way down to your borderline black Cotan Jade. It, 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 it is this... Of all the auctions that I've brought, you have to say this is probably one of the most memorable that I will ever see. There are four in existence. That's all we have left. Um, if I was lucky enough to get hold of this, then I would probably not it. Um, I might not even bother with an 18 karat gold class, but if I did, I would put that on there. It would be that level of precious metal. Um, and yeah, I would. This is something that would be a, a legacy piece that you pass on to future generations. Most definitely, you should look at getting this insured. Definitely, definitely, because it's irreplaceable um, at the price point that you are about to see. The, the, the perfect ombre, but know that this is one of the rarest, one of the most valuable valuable gemstones that exists on our planet. I wish I had more than four. I do. It was part of the birthday celebrations. Th oh, there was only over 30 created in the world. Do you know, and I'm not sitting here saying £2,999 is not a significant price point. Of course it is. Of course it is, particularly in my world. But even if we were to stop there, that's an incredible price for Cotan Jade. It's not where we are stopping. There is a reason why so many of us, jewelry maker staff and behind the screens, have really seized this window of opportunity, grabbed it by the horns, um, got involved whenever we could. And th this is, these are opportunities that absolutely moving forward, we're never going to regret these purchases. And I keep saying this to my husband, I will never regret purchases like Cotan Jade because I know even if I was to sell this tomorrow, I could sell it at a significant price point. Let's, let's squeeze it into three figures, which is absolutely unbelievable. You don't have to take my word for it, you know. Get this home. Take it to a reputable gemologist, not just your run-of-the-mill jewellers, and that's not me being disrespectful. I've worked in those jewellers. They don't know about jade. They don't. That's the reality. Um, I didn't know about jade when I worked there. I've only really learned through Sally Hure and Dave Troth, etc., and Bernard over recent years. But Cotan and a double-figure price tag just doesn't happen. Just does not happen. Two of you have this in your baskets... If you check out, that means there's two left. I'm going to put a 60-second clock on your screen. We are going to drop that price in a significant way. If I had the budget right now, I would be joining you on it for the last four opportunities. It does not get any better than, the, uh, than what's on your screen. Also, whoever made the strand, do you think maybe they had a mile in mind because it's exactly 108 beads? Yes. Ah. Yes, and that might have been something that we briefed our suppliers yeah. with, said we wanted the 108 beads, yeah. potentially. Um, I mean, can you imagine a Kotan Mala? Can you imagine that going under wow. auction at Sotheby's? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, you know, even, these are the drums as well, so you get those really beautiful linear, like that seamless transition. Oh, it would just be incredible. So, again, I, I, I'm going to be really honest with you. I am buying jade fully, fully, fully... Um, 
planning at some point to maybe approach those where uh, th those those auction houses at yeah. some point i'm not yeah. doing it now i'm going to wait till kotan is absolutely so, uh, mined out can you imagine what price it would be selling at on re um, at, at those auction houses nobody is paying 999 Of all the deals we've brought you in 13 years, that might well be one of the best. That's less than five pounds per Cotan Jade. The most, the most ancient, historic Jade location in the world, widely documented as being the most expensive Jade in the world. And I'm not saying 499 pounds isn't significant. Not for the va not, but for what you are getting, it's an absolutely unbelievable deal. Again, you can look at places like Sotheby's, Christie's, Bonhams. They're the places that we kind of have uh, opportunities really to see Cotan Jade, but they're not at three figures on any of those auction sites. Well done, everybody. You can get this home today for £124.75 on your split payment. Absolutely unbelievable. Um, yeah, if your budget allows, again, this is a purchase, and this is what I always say to my family, I'm never going to regret, never going to regret buying this round. Um, an opportunity like this. There's lots and lots and lots of you there. I've got just two of them left. I do get that this is considered. Get it home. Use your 30-day money-back guarantee. You can go and get it valued. You can go get a second opinion. My only recommendation would to make sure you go to a fully-fledged gemologist um, because here in the West, we're still very much learning about the wonders of jade. Um, so go to somebody that does understand jade. Um, you know that it's fully certified. It will say Cotan jade on there. It will say completely natural not type b or type c it will say those words type a um, and again when you find that person that specializes in jade um they're not going to come back with 499 pounds so again th there's gemstones that i am buying most here at jewelry maker at the moment and it's jade and it's our pearls um, because of these wonderful deals congratulations to every single one of you make sure you are checking out there's three of you in for that last one worcestershire gloucestershire and also middlesex so i won't call your names out just in case that's a surprise well done everybody congratulations to you all um okay i'm gonna bring you another amazing jade opportunity this is it's the year of the rabbit just in case you didn't know um, now, there are only 15 available, so if you know somebody that's about to have a little baby, they're going to be uh, um, in this year, of course, then um, they are going to be um, um, a rabbit. Um, but also 1987 and years previously, I don't know how many goes back in, but um, maybe you are, uh, maybe you're a fan of rabbits, I don't know, whichever it might be, but there is meaning behind each year's in Chinese history. So this is hand carved out of, again, Kotan Jade. You can see you've got a really beautiful little bunny rabbit there, um, of course, haloed by the circle of heaven. So lots of meanings behind this beautiful carving. Um, it's like a, um, like a dove grey, isn't it, this one? So again, totally natural in its saturation. No enhancement whatsoever. You could just lark said not, can you direct onto this? Absolutely. You yes. don't have to uh, yeah. sort of overcomplicate it. Um, we're going to do, what, 49 99 for 10 carats of Cotan Jade? Wow. 49 99 It was a birthday deal. There are only 15 of them left. They absolutely flew out during the birthday celebration. So last remaining opportunity. So what a lovely gift this would be to someone that's about to have a baby, don't oh, you think? Oh, yes, definitely. So, yeah, because you yeah. could explain it then, couldn't you? All oh, they're, you know, they're being born into the year of the rabbit. Um, also, they are considered lucky, aren't they, rabbits? And as you say, just on a piece of cord, you know. Just a bit of cord. Yeah. Lark said, oh, look at that. Sat on that beautiful bed of grass. Oh. Looks like there's a little carrot underneath him as well. I'm not saying this. Yeah. Looks like a little carrot shape there. Um, amazing. Well done. Stay where you are on those phone lines, lovely jewellery makers. Now, coming up, we have got Larimar, um, but we also have... I have to show you these because they're going to blow you away. They're absolutely unbelievable. And it's been probably... The last time I saw Kyanite like this, um, I remember I bought it, and it was alongside... Laura, because she remembered um, when I was talking about it, was probably, <coughs> excuse me, um, I don't know, maybe six years, maybe, there or thereabouts. I, don't quote me on that, but it was, I bought a strand like this when we were back in Ivy House. Um, I don't recall ever seeing kyanite, like, and I think mine was filled. These are totally natural. 
There's no enhancement to this. So I can't really make comparisons. You're getting eight, six, and four millimetres. Um, they are available on pre-orders. That's all natural colour, and it's coming up after the break. Wow. Not just them. We also have got amazing mega deal coming your way on beautiful pearls, um, natural purple. So you get three strands, and you get the um, half-drilled stones too. Um, a shocking deal, an amazing, shocking in a good way, um, deal coming up. Lara Mar as well in a beautiful showcase, lovely jewellery makers. Don't go anywhere. Make sure you check out your baskets and all of your amazing deal of the days. Good luck and well done to those of you that managed to get hold of the Cotan Jade. Don't go anywhere because I'm joining Monica after this. <laughs> Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. to know what's going on in the next show then head over to our website click on the TV guide this will tell you who's presenting which guest we have joining us along with what's going on in each hour if you ever miss a show you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show you can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy catch up on jewelry maker Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Welcome back. I love it. Monica just said in the break, she was like, they're already in my basket. Yes, all three of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
And I don't blame you for seizing that moment because I, quite... I remember a strand that we brought to a... It's got to be about six years ago. Maybe a little bit less, maybe, because I'm sure Willow was born, but okay. But it was, it was, it was a long time ago. Um, and I remember because uh, um, it was Laura and I together on air back in, Eagle, uh, back in Ivy House. And there was this one strand and it was filled, filled kyanite. And I turned it into just simple stretchy bracelets. Perfect. With some, uh, some spacer beads in between. And I, I wear those all the time, all the time. But it was filled. Now, I guess we should kind of expect that, really, of kyanite, because I'll explain in a few moments' time. But kyanite is a, quite a complex gemstone. This is not filled. This is all completely and utterly natural. Kyanite is almost like a nemesis to gemstone cutters. Um, they find it incredibly difficult to cut, and that's because it's what we call a polymorph gemstone, and it has dual axes. So let me explain. So um, kyanite is actually two gemstones I'm trying desperately to remember. I don't get a chance to speak about it very often, so I should have... Had I known, I've obviously revisited this. But So it's a, it's a polymorph gem, so it consists of... Um, it's not selenite, is it? Andalusite and, is it selenite? I don't think it is, though. It is selenite. Yeah. There you go, so stick with what Rossi says. It's two gemstones, but it forms in a really unique way. So you, to, firstly, to form, it needs the perfect pressure and the perfect temperature. But in terms of its actual, yes, you're right, sorry, so, uh, silimonite and also, we'll show a diagram in a second. Um, but it forms in a really unique way, where you have these wonderful sort of rough crystals that kind of go in different angles, um, very fragile to touch because it has what we describe as a perfect cleavage. Um, so if you imagine just looking at this, you can't just go, OK, I'll cut around there, around there, around there, around there, around there, because you also have to incorporate a dual axis. Oh. What that basically means is if I just took, say, a, a round out the top of one of those crystal formations, right. it would probably just split perfectly in half. Oh, right. Um, because, like I said, perfect cleavage. What you need to encompass is basically... Um, some of the crystal formation going in one direction, some of it going in the opposite direction uh. or another direction. That also increases the hardness of the gem yes. um, and gives you the ability to cut it in diff different stones. But it needs the perfect, most ideal gemological conditions to actually form. Um, so you can see just here, perfect temperature, perfect pr uh, pressure. Um, if the pressure's too low, it'll become andalusite, right. another gem we don't often see. If the pressure's too high, it becomes silimonite. When it's that balance between the two, oh. you get lovely kyanite, oh, amazing, amazing kyanite. Um, but it's, yeah, a very complex gemstone, like I said, a nemesis to many gemstone cutters. But when you do find it, and it has formed under the, fir uh, the perfect pressures and temperatures, you get this absolutely beautiful gemstone that almost has, and embrace this, by the way, um, it has the, almost looks like driving rain. So those crystal formations, you know when you're in a car and, you can, and the rain is sort of coming past your window and you can see those perfect lines? Visualise that in a gemstone. To a certain degree, it gives you a chatoyancy as well. I would have expected, had Ross not have told me, that this was fissure-filled. Uh, a because a because of the colour quality, yeah. you know that I've never seen kyanite rounds like that without it being fissure filled, um, and also because of the complexity of cutting these rounds. Rounds in particular, if you think about it, a perfect cleavage basically means if you go back to that picture of a rough, you'll notice that it forms almost like slate in layers. Does that make sense? Yes, yes. Kind of on top of one yes. another. Um, so if you were if you, you can get hold of slate. And you can kind of literally prise it apart perfectly and you get that flat sheet, don't you? Yes. So um, it'd be hard to do so, I guess, with your hands, your own bare hands, but you can prise it apart. The same would happen with kyanite. So if you hit that, 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 yeah. that cleavage effectively, it just shatters in two or splits in two. Well, it's kind of like we had the, the selenite ones, which yes. were like a natural piece of selenite. And you sometimes get little sort of shards peeling off of it yeah. because it's... 
it, it splits along, so the, it's cleavage. along the, it's the yeah. cleavage of the gemstone. So now imagine cutting around into something that's got a perfect Gosh. cleavage. <laughs> yeah, you've got, a, you, you're going to have that issue all the way around, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. Now these, I, I've, I've never, I, I agree, Ross, I agree. Ross is saying they're the best rounds I've seen because they're natural and they're not, they're not filled. The ones I bought years ago, however long it was, were fish filled. I know that, and that's fine. I love them, but they were fish filled. Um, these are limited. The biggest quantity I have is 40, and you have them in the three sizes, eight, six, and four. I don't think I know these are going to sell out. Hmm. I know, I, I'm that confident because our viewers, look at that quality. I'm sorry, move over cashmere it's sapphire. Beautiful. It gives you the same beautiful, rich intensity well, of, it, a, of a cashmere sapphire, which is never going to be anywhere near the prices that we would expect for this. When it was over on the other desk, I mean, the colour is so strong. I thought it was lapis because it's so blue. Yeah. yeah. And it's all natural. Nobody would, nobody would guess kyanite. No, absolutely, because A, we don't see kyanite. Look at it from there. Yeah. And B, you wouldn't see kyanite of this size and you don't expect that colour. Kyanite can be quite silvery. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. So take a little look at this one here. I'm putting them on. That's Sometimes its natural formation gives you a phenomena, a chatoyancy. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. You're queuing up for this already. I'm going to start with the eight millimetres and I can't separate them. They look absolutely amazing together. The graphics are going to appear on your screens in three, two, one. Starting with the eight millimetres, then I'll bring you your six and your four mil as well. Look at this. Perfect. And I can remember we had um, in our gemstone museum, it's probably right before us, actually. I can see a piece of kyanite, but um, pieces like this. Can you imagine trying to cut rounds into a specimen like that? <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> you know, it, 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 it's not easy. You can see how it forms. It's very irregular. It's quite, it's like an Achilles heel to any, wow. any gemstone cutter out there. So they quite literally avoid it. Um, but you can see they grow in different angles. You need to capture those different angles wow. to actually um, increase the hardness of the gemstone. Um, the depth of color is absolutely unbelievable. Absolutely. Oh, 100%. Um, Ross is saying £129 for this quality of natural kyanite. That's an amazing deal. 100%, Ross. I've got a feeling that's not where you're going to be, though. <laughs> Under £100 for the 8 mil. I'll bring you the 6 and the 4. The graphics for those are coming up. But right now, I don't want to separate them, though. I think they look absolutely amazing together. Oh, goodness me. Ah. Oh. <laughs> that's... that's just quite a bit below 100 pounds isn't it <laughs> if you'd have held this ross at 89 pounds that would have been an amazing price point to me 89 pounds yeah. for the eight mil there's six left only six of them left well done get your certificate of authenticity as well this is a kind of strand that i would want that documentation um congratulations i've only got a uh, look four now remaining three um well done to those of you that have shopped ahead um, not left anything uh, left anything to chance congratulations the quality is absolutely unprecedented you know what of all your blue gems you know if you compare it alongside things like your tanzanite your sapphires your lapis lazuli this is the most yeah. deep beautiful seducing yes. blue you could ever see sold out well done everybody now let's bring no i'm sorry you're coming back Just, i know they've <laughs> sold out but i don't want to separate them i think they're absolutely gorgeous together tell me monica that you got all sizes i did yeah I'm not surprised. They are gorgeous. Ah, uh, let's do the six. How many have we got? 25. Yeah, it's not going to be enough. There's so much chatoyancy in these. Wow. Uh, do you know what? 13 years, this is the best kind out we've ever done. Hands down, the best kind out we've ever done. It's almost like a, a cross between a moonstone and a tiger's eye, isn't it? The chatoyancy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The effect that you get in it. I always say it's like driving rain, mm -hmm. you know, because you have those form, natural formations and they almost uh, um, appear quite silvery, don't they? Yes. So if you were that, driving... That's, that's why I'm thinking of the moonstone, moonstone yeah. as well, because that's got a similar... Oh, it's so beautiful, but of course, the strands. Of course, the colour is... Wow. 
I might even go as far as saying, Ross, this might well be one of my, some of my favourite collections of all time. Of all time. And I'm, I'm only sorry that we don't have huge quantities of it. Right, we had 25, there's 17 left. We're bringing you the six millimetres right now. Do you know, and that's not, I, I don't say that lightly. You've got to remember, I've seen probably hundreds of gemstones um, uh, uh, in any given week. Thousands, probably. Yeah, you're right. This has got to be my favourite. I'm going I, I, I'm I'm to own that one. This is my favourite yeah. of all. Everything that normally... No disrespect, but some of like the kind like rough nuggets that we've had in the past and everything, they're all right. Yeah. They're all right, but they're not like this. Yeah. If you want the six millimetre rounds, that's what we're doing right now. We're doing the six mil. That's what's on your screens right now. Zero enhancement. For this quality at £129, that's amazing. It's an amazing deal. You know we're not stopping there, though, don't you? Um, we've matched the price of the eight mils that sold out. But you also know we're not going to stop there either. If you are lucky enough to get each and every single one of these strands, I, for one, am very envious. That would be an amazing necklace. Oh, you? my Using goodness. All sizes. Good would you go gold or silver? I'll be silver because of the silver sort of colours in there. Yeah. I'd go gold. Would you? Mm. <laughs> I like the blue and the gold. There's no right or wrong. Of course, no. <laughs> Are you ready? Because we're not stopping at 49 oh. We're hugely over-allocated. There's 33 of you with it in your basket for the final 11. If you don't, I'm all over it, 100%. This is right up my street. Again, I bought Kyanite. So about, it's got to be about four or five years ago, because I'm fairly sure Willow was born. But four or five years ago, mine's Fisher filled, and it's still not as beautiful as this. £34.99 wow. only. Mine was six mil as well, and I made a couple of stretchy bracelets out of it. Really simple. And you've got the perfect colour yeah. of elastic coming up as well within your 12 o'clock hour. Brand new. Do you know, kyanite for me is one of those gemstones, I'm being brutally honest, I would overlook. Normally, I would overlook. Really? Or, normally, I would overlook a kyanite. I'm saying it. I, I, yeah, I would. I always like kyanite. I like it, don't get yeah. me wrong. But I would overlook it. Mm -hmm. However, how wrong could I be? I haven't <laughs> yeah. seen, clearly up until today, I haven't seen kind of like that. Yes, that's true, that's true, yeah. I would always go, oh, I don't know, like if you're talking about blues, I'd go maybe, I'd gravitate towards the tanzanite or I'd gravitate right. towards other blue gemstones. Yeah, yeah. Sapphire, absolutely. Not today, not today. This is like cashmere blue, isn't it? Absolutely amazing. Um, the final five, Barbara, Susan, Karen, hello to you, Tracy, Sheila, uh, Susan, hello well, to you, Midlothian, Anna, Gloucestershire, Fiona, Cambridgeshire, George, Sandy. 23 of you have the final four in your basket. If I could, I'd snap up those final four myself. Yeah. So I'm not going to be too disappointed if they don't sell out, to be truthful. If they don't, they will. They definitely, definitely will. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to be too disappointed because it gives me an opportunity. The final three, they're truly, absolutely mesmerically beautiful. Again, the color, if you say, L, show me the best kyanite, um, show me the best color kyanite, the best quality kyanite um, that you possibly, possibly could without any enhancement or treatment. Scrap that, rephrase it, just show me the best, even with enhancement yes. and treatment. Yes, yes. This is natural, though. Mm -hmm. This is completely natural. I've got one left of the six millimetres. Mary, you can get that last one, lovely, if you press your option one. I'll leave it with you because there's a lot of you there. Amazing. <sighs> I've also got a mega deal opportunity coming up. Half-drilled suite of jewellery. Let me turn that round. Sorry. There you go. You've got natural, natural purple pearls. Goodness me, that's beautiful. And... It's all natural, by the way. Oh. Within this beautiful little pochette, you have a little pochette. One. Ooh. Two. Oh. Three strap. I mean, oh. let's, just, let's just leave that there, shall we? <laughs> should we just leave that there? Yeah. Yeah. No words necessary? No. Yes, please. If anybody's watching who wants to get me a Christmas present. 
Yes, please. Well, we're going to do a mega deal on all these natural <laughs> pearls as well. Look how beautifully they go with your kyanite. <gasps> Coming up in a couple of auctions time. Amazing. Right, let's do the four mil. Um, amazing. They're so beautiful. Natural, 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 which is almost unheard of when it comes to kyanite, especially if they have this intensity of blue. Now, again, each and every single one of these strands has been limited for the best grade I've ever seen. Hands down, I don't hesitate in saying that. Hands down, the best, the best strands I've ever seen of this gemstone. Without doubt. They're going to be limited, aren't they? They are absolutely going to be limited. How many did we have? Oh, less than, just under 40 of the four mil. Oh, no words necessary. We can see how beautiful they are. You can see that, that intensity of natural saturation. We can see that, the, you know, going back to the rough, and this is probably a little bit unjust of me, but bear with. If you look at the, the, the kyanite rough, this is what I've seen in, I'm not saying all, but some strands before we've had, which are nice. Listen, they are nice, but it's more silver than it is blue. Yes. Does yeah. that make sense? Oh, definitely, yeah. Yeah, and you can see they're quite fragile, can't you? I mean, looking at that, I mean, where would you even start <laughs> Don't know. to try to cut that? I mean, I've got, I've got, you can, do you know that bottom, the longest length that goes yeah. horizontally across the bottom of that yeah. photograph? If you look to the right hand side of that length, yes. you see how it looks like, uh, like, like uh, um, a block of paper, yes. you know, where they're sort of stacked on top of one another. Yeah. That's what we call a perfect cleavage. Right. So that's where it's challenging because if you catch that, it splits the gem perfectly right. in half and you would have the, a, a perfect flat surface. Great if that's what you're going for. Yeah. Not great if you're going mm -hmm. for a round. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, where do you start? It's a really good point. We're doing the four mils. They're flying already on pre-order. I'm not surprised at all. Can you text in if you were lucky enough to get each of these strands? Can you text in? Oh, because I'm very jealous if you manage to get each of these. I'm very jealous if you got any of them, to be truthful, because they're absolutely beautiful. They went crazy on pre-order. Um, okay, just because we need to start somewhere, even if your four mils were at £49.99, pence, I'd still say that's an absolutely unbelievable deal. They're not Fisher-filled. The last six millimetres went to, what, £34.99? Mm-hmm. We're going even lower than that. Ooh. Going even lower. Tracy snapped up two. Fiona, Anna, George, Fiona, Meath has, has got three. Well done. Denise, Jane and Dorset, amazing. We're under £30. We're talking about the, th the four mil now. Look how beautiful this is. I, I, we're going lower than what's on your screens right now. If you were bought all for my wife, George. <laughs> I can see why she loves you. I can see why she <laughs> loves you, George. But you know, well done you as well for recognising yeah. that that's, this is a purchase that you need to make for your wife as well. Amazing. Um, there are 39 available opportunities, or rather there were. Um, again, could it be any more beautiful than what's on your screens? If you, you know, Let's be honest, never mind rarity, never mind the stories, which of course we know kyanite is rare. But if we just put that to one side, that's a sub story if you like. Could this be any more beautiful than what's on your screens right now? Yeah, imagine a beautiful long line graduated Marla. How amazing would that be? Oh yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah. And also, Twenty-four. Right, I'm going to do it. Twenty-four ninety-nine. Just beautiful. Absolutely amazing. I, again, this is probably going to go down as one, one, one of my favourite, if not my absolute favourite, um, parcels that we've brought to air. Oh, look! At look that. at that! Look at that blue, oh, and it's yeah. all totally and utterly natural. So, can we just do a little bit of a tally, Ross? One hundred and ten pounds for all three strands. Wow. It does look a bit like that does, beaded necklace, yeah. which, by the way, I think was dyed lapis lazuli, which was still lovely. Don't get me wrong. Still absolutely beautiful. But this is natural kyanite. Um, and you can get all three sizes today. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. beautiful. 
Does it say? Uh, doesn't say a price or anything, but yeah, you can see. Um, I would, I, because of that consistency of colour, I'd suggest they're, well, I guess I say they're lapis lazuli um, and may well be dyed. Yeah, may well be done. And you're looking at natural kyanite. Also, don't forget, although the four millimetre is obviously smaller than the six millimetre, you've got that many more beads because it's the same length of strand. Yeah. So in the four millimetres, you've got close to 100 beads on wow. there. Can you imagine the amount of work to cut 100 of those? Especially when it's a nemesis, yeah. remember? Kyanite, beautiful, but an absolute nemesis. Goodness me. Yeah. Um, there's the quantity. You'll need to be quick on this. Well done to you, Anne Olwyn. Well done to you, Nikki, Angela, Tina, Susan, Pauline, Fiona, Anna, George, Fiona. Hello to you, Meath, Denise. Well done to you, Michelle, uh, Ellen. Good luck, Maker. Good luck, to County Tyrone. Good luck, Anne. Good luck, Lincolnshire. Good luck, uh, Vanessa. Good luck, Tracy, Wendy, Kent, Sharon. Good luck to each and every single one of you. I've only got five of them left, so we are super duper over allocated. There's 27 of you on the web, and that's not even counting the people on the phone lines right now you can still do it don't let that put you off it'll be allocated on a first come first serve basis and you can bet your bottom dollar that as soon as we uh, um, dip into a break I'll be all over these like hot cakes all over these if there's any left and if they are showing us sold out then I'll be wishlisting it I'll be absolutely wishlisting it because you never know. I'll leave the final two. Congratulations, Tracy's just up the quantity. Don't forget, we've got that mega auction of your beautiful pearls coming up as well. But just before we do that, oh, my word. Ooh. Isn't it mind-blowing that Mother Nature can bring you from this, a natural blue gemstone, to something that is... I don't know if it's the opposite side of the colour wheel. I don't know, but what I do know is... Are they alongside one another? Wow. Imagine that as a piece of jewellery. That's, oh. that's natural chrysoprase. Goodness me. Look at the beauty that we've been bringing to air today. Oh, and the colour, this is what I was saying, there was a theme in today's show, but the colour... Oh, it has, yeah, it's been colourful from start to finish. I, I'm, I'm just going to do this because, you know, why not? <laughs> we're going all out. We're going all out beautiful, aren't we? How about this? Mm. Why not? Imagine layering all those together. Look how beautiful that, that display is. Pearls are coming up right now for your beautiful chrysoprase. Chrysoprase is often referred to, uh, certainly in Australia anyway, as uh, Australian jade. It forms very differently to that jade um, and uh, actually in quite small sizes in actual fact. Um, we can show you that. So uh, there was a very exciting boulder that was discovered relatively recently in uh, Down Under. Um, the jade boulder, boulder likely to be the world's biggest, and there was talks about it being exported, um, exported uh, um, to China, so it could actually be broken down into carvings. On the surface, this 16.4 ton freak of nature isn't much to look at, uh, but veteran sapphire miner Jenny and Jim Elliott say this uh, precious stone. I'm rephrasing that; we don't say semi anymore. Um, is a one-off, um, if not the world's biggest boulder of Australian jade. The Marlborough area is world famous for chrysoprase and the the Elliott specimen would have to be one of the best. Chrysoprase is usually found in thin bands or in bits and pieces. The Elliots initially tried to sell the boulder in China, um, where it could be carved and turned into jewellery, but the logistics of getting this mammoth rock overseas was too great. And anyway, we've got to preserve these things for Australians. It's important, says, G uh, says Jim. I like it. <laughs> um, but lots of big, uh, very reputable, high-end jewellery designers will favour your uh, um, chrysoprase for obvious reason. David mm. Morris, um, here in London, you're talking about £19,600 wow. for one of uh, uh, the uh, Chrysoprase uh, bracelets or a necklace, maybe a single stone, still best part of £2,000. And, so, and even say it's small, they even <laughs> say it's small. Um, <laughs> and again, um, it, to show you how this actually forms, you can see quite small sizes, you get that really beautiful translucency, um, semi translucency to this lovely gemstone as well. That's all natural colour. Um, 
often actually has these tiny sort of flecks within, but again, I think that uh, sort of adds to the overall appeal of this gemstone. But it is a gem, you know, much like Chrysoprase, much like Aquaprase, has really dominated um, the high-end jewellery. Um, so these are some photos that Dave Troth took and went whilst over in... Um, whilst over in Tucson at the beginning of this year. Um, he found a strand of, of, of chrysoprase and obviously approached the trader. Um, and he was trying to justify basically the price of, uh, that he was offering it for. And he was saying, look, Dior is working with it right now. Piaget is working with it right now. Um, Tiffany's and Co are working with it right now. Um, I, li I like that Tiffany's are working with it because it really matches their branding, it does, doesn't yes. it? Um, so yeah, and you can see there's beaded necklaces like this. So this was the this was the strand that Dave was actually negotiating, and you can see the price that the trader was actually wanting for it three thousand and twenty US dollars. Wow. Um, I don't know if that was each or maybe if that was for the two. Either way, it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Um, either way, again. So it, it, it's everywhere at the moment. Chrysoprase is definitely one of the it gemstones, and I can totally see why. It is that really beautiful, very unique glowing green that no other green gemstone, I think, can actually uh, compare. You can't compare it to your malachite. You can't compare it to jade. You can't compare it really to um, to your emeralds, if you like. It's really uh, unique in its, uh, its own individual glow. Now, we have it for once in a blue moon. I'm going to introduce the graphics. Again, for me, this is a nice beaded long line necklace. It's been very beady today, isn't it? It has. Which I love. Well, as you were saying, the beaded jewellery is very much back in at the moment, yes. isn't it? Yes. And it's not stuffy. It's not pretentious. It's not, you know, this. It, it, I, there's always a place for formal jewellery, obviously. Of course, yes. But I think it's easy to wear beaded yes. jewellery. Yeah. And even then, you know, you think back to the coronation, how many, how much, if you watch, I watch the coronation, not just because it's an amazing thing to celebrate and part of history, but... Also, do you, I watched it for the jewellery and the oh, outfits yes. too. Did you see how many beaded necklaces yeah. were there and pearl necklaces, for example, and yeah. earrings? It was absolutely everywhere. A beautiful, beautiful strand of glowing green chrysoprase. Um, graphics are live. How many do we have? Oh. Oh, dear. Oh. I was thinking we might have the quantity, but you'll need to be quick. There's only 36. Good luck, everybody. It's all completely and utterly natural. And at 79.99, you know that that's, well, a fraction of the $3,000 price point that we saw at the beginning of the year at Tucson. When the likes of Piaget, when the likes of Tiffany's, when the likes of Dior select a stone to be part of their collections, it does make it incredibly challenging for us to continue to bring the gem. I'm not saying it's impossible, but it's more challenging. We are not stopping there. We are going even lower. It's become my newest obsession, actually, Chrysoprase. I've said that quite frequently. I've actually said, like, yeah, of all greens, you know, this is one of the most distinctive. Here it is, oh. 19 pounds and 99 pence. Yeah, wow. it, it is one of my newest obsessions. And I said that to Dave the other day. I love the glow that you get from Chrysoprase. Yeah. Um, you can see even from there, especially when it's actually up at the um, up at the neckline, oh, it kind of radiates, and it's one that's going to be uh, spotted from distances away. Certified completely natural, and from that same area that we heard uh, that we read about a few moments ago. You know, you can see they often refer to it as um, Australian jade, but you can kind of see why yeah. because it's got the same sort of um, translucency, I suppose. Well, if it as, were, as it'd jade be imperial. How much, yeah, it's very gemmy. How much do you think this would be if it was jade? Oh, a lot. <laughs> a lot more than 20. Probably four figures. <laughs> Probably. And the reality is, Chrysoprase is equally very, very, very rare. Yeah. Astonishingly rare. It's, and here we are at 20 pounds. And it's not like any other gemstone, as you say. It, it kind of glows, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. Amazing. 1999, Jackie, Leslie, Ellen, hello to you, London, Julian, Somerset, Multibuying, Candy, Moy, hello to you, London, Ellen. New customers getting involved as well. I adore Chrysoprase. I love the fact that it glows and it has that wonderful translucency. So it's going to react beautifully as well to uh, sort of natural summer sunlight. Well done, everybody. We've got that mega deal coming up on those beautiful pearls as well in a few moments' time. Um, so make sure you're with me on that one. And don't forget, oh, 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 we've, we've got that Larimar too, haven't we? 
haven't we? The really beautiful Larimar strand, that's coming up. Pearls are going to be next, and then we're going to dive into your Larimar, um, which we have in different, um, in different shapes and sizes, but that round strand is definitely grabbing my attention. Amazing. Well done, every single one of you. Okay, now, I'm going to ask producer Ross to tell me what you're taking these to. Yeah. Really? Now, on the launch, because these have been on air before, 150 of these sold. Yeah. There are 20... Were you, was I'm not to... surprised at that price. No. No? There are 23 left. Um, I don't know where to start with this, but I'm going to start with this trio. Oh, that makes sense. Might have been the dealer day of the birthday, maybe. Yeah, it would make sense. So, firstly, these are drop shapes. Many would argue that the drop shape is one of the rarer shapes. Um, I know Charlie Barron used to say that. And many would argue that the drop shape actually commands a higher price point than rounds. They're also completely natural. Wow. There is no enhancement to these whatsoever. So they're not bleached and dyed. They're half drilled, so all they're, you're just, they're just crying out to be glued with the most beautiful bale. Fed onto a chain and maybe a pair of earrings, it's entirely up to you. Let me just tell you that this, this trio, would be a, if, even if it was just this, it would be a great price. Yeah. But you don't just get this. For me, that's a necklace of matching earrings. Oh, definitely, absolutely, yeah. And it comes boxed. I'm not going to forget this bag, because you also get this lovely little pochette that comes with your pearls. There's no, no, no treatment process to these. They're all completely natural. And then I'm going to start introducing the other natural pearl strands that you have within this opportunity. Look at the luster on those. Wow. I'm not going to sit you and tell you they're the most perfectly spherical. It doesn't matter. Baroque pearls are huge at the moment. We are embracing yep. them for their irregularities. So we've got your natural purples. Then we have your natural pinks. Ooh. And last but by no means least, we have your natural multicolours. Mm. This, again, in terms of pearls, has to be one of the biggest deals we've done. And the only reason we're repeating it is because it's the last remaining quantity of the birthday celebrations. Three strands, three drop pearls, all natural in their quality, uh, natural in their quality of colour. No enhancement whatsoever, but... There's only, do you say 23? Yeah. If you are a business, which I know so many of our audience are, as Jan Dwyer used to say, it's all gravy, isn't it, or something like this. You could knot them if you wanted to. You could attach them to your high-end clasps. You could attach them to a, a sterling silver clasp. And I still think, look, which, choose, choose a pearl strand. Oh, the multicolored one. Multicolored one. Okay, yeah. so Monica, if I knot that, put it on a 925 sterling silver clasp, you're, you're going to sell it for more than what you purchased the entire parcel for. Oh, absolutely. Well, I was going to say, if you take one of the drops and turn it into a pendant on a silver chain, you would sell that for more than the entire more parcel. Than the absolutely. Price is going to be, yeah. This has to be one of the best deals of pearls that we've done. And it's, the reason for it is because it was part of the birthday celebrations and we have the last remaining quantity of them. Good luck. So if you, if you, if you missed the birth, birthday and that bypassed you by, um, maybe you're away, maybe you're on holiday, whatever it might be, then here's your chance. Because £499 is no way near the price point that we took it to. Natural. At £149, I would pay that in all honesty, I would pay that for just one of those pearls. Well, you know, you were saying about the drop shape. I mean, I don't know if it's just me, but whenever I get a strand of Baroque pearls, let's say like the ones that you've got there, first thing I do is I look through them to see if I can find a, a couple that are sort of drop shaped to make a pair of earrings. Yeah. I always do that La with Pena all my Bruno strands. Is one of the most famous pearls in the world. Mm. It's a drop. Yeah. Owned by Elizabeth, Elizabeth Taylor. You know, it's a drop pearl. You've got three, I'm not, look, they're very different, they're very different in their colours as well, but 
You've got three drop pearls, which are, let me just double check, half drilled. So yeah, all you need to do is get some of your sterling silver, bales, whichever it might be. £50 per pearl, that's unbelievable. And you get, you've still got three strands draped across the back yeah. of my hand. But Monica, is that the price that you heard? No. No. <laughs> There's a reason why I'm saying this has to be one of the pe best pearl deals. If you've got a business, or maybe you're considering starting a business pearls everybody knows they have got an intrinsic value yes. even with little to no gemstone knowledge people will understand you gotta be careful of course you've got to educate people on the fact that there's a difference between synthetic pearls glass pearls um and, and genuine cultured pearls of course which these are but, but you could walk around you could walk down any high street monica yeah. and find a pearl necklace say an ernest jones for a triple figure price tag let's say a hundred let's say that let's say 149 pounds yeah. nobody would bat an eyelid at that yeah and that's what's nice about the Baroque-shaped pearls as well. I think it, it Shows automatically real. looks real, doesn't it? Yeah. This is not your price tag. It went even lower, purely because it was part of the birthday celebrations. If you... I'm trying to do the maths. Three strands, three pendants, if you want them to be pendants, that is. So say six components. And they're all natural, they're not dyed. Do you know what that's working out at each? 16 pounds and 66 pence each. But there are only 23 available opportunities. Again, if you imagine walking down any high street, which by the way, and I would ask the question, not saying every single establishment will know the answer, but are they natural pearls? Because you pay a premium, or you should pay a premium, for natural coloured pearls rather than your sort of bleached and dyed. Yes. That's easy. It's easy to Absolutely. do that. Yeah, yeah. These are all completely and utterly natural. Again, so many of you getting involved. Well done to Denise, Agnes, Candy, Devon, Jeanette, George. Amazing. I only have 23 available. Margaret, Maggie, hello to you. Linda, Mary, Jeanette, Dorset, Maker, Ellen. Um, you do need to check them out, though. 23. This is part of the birthday celebration, so which happened at the beginning of the month, which seems to be like, uh, like uh, ages ago. It seems like. Well, <laughs> I, I was going to say it does, and then it doesn't as well. Yeah. I'm like, how are we almost at the end of this month? Yeah. Already. That's true, but we've had so many, so many goodies since I know, then. I know, I know. I was, I was talking about you, Monica, the other day when you were leaving work. Uh, yeah. Boxes and boxes. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, we're all there. Listen, the birthday. It's, it, it, I've got it's another box to pick up today. <laughs> yeah, so by actually. Um, yeah, absolutely beautiful. £16.66 per component. Amazing. Margaret, congratulations. Linda, you can still do it, but know that they are very, very, very limited. We're down to the final, probably third, I believe. But again, there's loads of people still with it in their baskets. Good luck to you all. Use your split payment if you wish. It's 0% interest. Um, £33.33. And, and you're getting everything that you see here. Out of the 150 that we launched at the beginning of this month, that's how many's left. So, uh, no, I, I'm just, I know, I know we've spoken about this, but for the benefit of people that have just tuned in, hang on a minute, are these dyed? Okay, they're faux. Hello to you, London, saying, hi, Jem. I have these and they are gorgeous. I literally just gave one strand as heirlooms to my niece at the weekend. So pretty. Oh, how Aww. wonderful. Isn't it lovely that we can do that? Yeah. Thank you for your message, by the way. Hi, Irene. They are worth every penny. I have them and they are gorgeous. Totally agree. Thank you, Irene, who's messaged in literally 24 uh, seconds ago. Yep. That speaks volumes, doesn't it, Monica? Because it's all very, very well and good. You and I sitting here wittering on yeah. about how beautiful these are. But yeah. when there's people at home who um, are seeing feedback direct from customers who are watching yes. at the same yes. time, you know, because we are live, you know, um, Irene and Tyra in a way has, has, has taken her own time and said, I need to share that yeah. feedback. They are absolutely beautiful and worth every penny. So I really appreciate that, Irene. Um, down to the final five opportunities. Congratulations to Karen on the phone lines. You've got yours. George has just upped his quantity. You're lucky wife, she's getting spoiled today, isn't she? <laughs> um, amazing, Samantha, congratulations. Heath, amazing. I'll leave the final two, because again, we are um, actually over allocated. Okay, we are going to hop on a plane. Not literally, but I'll take you there, metaphorically speaking. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, um, we're going to take you to the beautiful Dominican Republic. This is a gemstone that was previously believed to be part of the lost city of Atlantis, a gemstone that, um, yeah, has got myths and legends attached to it and always has done. The reality is it was only recently discovered, in actual fact. Laramore was discovered around about the same time that... Uh, um, uh, Tanzelite was, but the reality, it was probably known before that because um, ancestors have, uh, have documented this beautiful blue gemstone oh, right. um, that sometimes used to be discovered along the shores. Uh, let's call it a rediscovery, shall we say, mm. the 19, uh, 1970s in actual fact. But what is Larimar? For those people that don't know what Larimar is, we have what we call one locational gemstone. So diamonds, rubies, sapphires, emeralds are mined all over the world, aren't they? Um, there are gemstones like Tanzelite, Tonight, Mukai is another one. Um, Laramar, of course, is one of the most obvious, and I've just drawn a blank of different one locational gemstones out there. But Laramar is one that tends to sort of roll off the tongue. And it is uh, very beautiful in its appearance and very unique to any other gem out there. Well, I know the first, literally the second word in this article is, is describes it as semi-precious. This is not semi-precious. In actual fact, I always wonder why Larimar is not in the top 10 rarest gemstones in the world. And yeah. you'll understand why in a few moments. Um, if semi-precious stones have their own cachet of best-kept secrets, then one of them is definitely Larimar, an extremely rare, precious stone that has only been found in one very small location on the planet, a remote mountain range of the Dominican Republic in the Caribbean. Look how beautiful it is. Um, saying about the location, yes, Larimar deposits have been found in only one place in the world, a remote uh, mountain range on the island of Hispaniola. The total surface area of the Larimar deposits is thought to cover less than a single square mile. It is unknown why Larimar only formed in one location, but the mountain range was formed by tectonic plate movements pushing against one another, so the region was very volcanically active, and it was uh, most likely that this unique volcanic event had led to the formation of Larimar. Uh, the, there are uh, various elements, sorry, which influence the properties of Larimar, such as copper, vanadium, hematite, phosphorus, and silica. The exact process that formed Larimar is unknown, but it is obviously due to the unique composition of these minerals in the area. For example, you can see by that rough that he's holding within his hands, can you see how you've got the reddish colour? That's the copper presence. All oh, right. Um, in terms of the blue, it's the vanadium as well oh. so they or each of those uh, elements actually have a um, an influence on the color of the larimar itself how is larimar mined well you might be thinking okay this is this huge large it's only found in one place in the world it must be this vast mining locations like the big open pit diamond mines Quite the opposite. Larimar mining is considered artisan mining, um, meaning that it is small scale and informal, carried out by individuals or small groups using minimal machinery and equipment. It is a major driver of community development by providing jobs and ensuring profits for local villagers in the surrounding region. Alternative employment in this area is limited to low paying sectors such as agriculture and fishing. In contrast to industrial scale mining, the miners' earnings are spent locally, supporting sustainable economic growth within their community. And I, I love that. Do you know, if you're, yeah. almost, it's our responsibility to make sure that we purchase gemstones ethically, which you know we always endorse here at Jewelry Maker as well. But it's lovely to know that the pe you know, it's the people that are the group that's involved in Larimar mining, you know, everybody that goes down into the mine benefits from that, day, that day's yield. Um, it's cut on the shores of the Dominican Republic as well, so it's not the case the rough is shipped elsewhere. Um, 40 years ago, uh, the deposits of Larimar was very much on the surface, but over time that material has been mined out, requiring the shafts to go deeper and deeper. The best quality Larimar is often found in layers between two different types of rocks. So the miners dig vertical shafts down until they hit this boundary layer and then start tunneling around looking for the veins of Larimar. Wow. So we are chasing Larimar Goodness now. Me. Um, so I think that, uh, and I don't know if we, if we skipped a slide just a few moments ago, did we? No, no, okay, um, because it leads very well into the next question. Yeah, will Larimar run out? Well, if you're chasing veins, yeah. and you've got to remember this is a gemstone that is formed from previous volcanic activity, you don't know where that volc acti a volcanic activity took those veins. Yes, of course. So we don't know how long is left yeah. of mining this gemstone. Um, and it's only found here. 
Due to the very small deposits of Larimar and the limited financial uh, value of Larimar deposits, extensive geological surveys of the land have never been done. Um, the available quali uh, quantity of Larimar is unknown, but what is known is that the surface area is, has been mined out, so now the shafts are chasing the Larimar deposits deep into the mountain. I I'm going to say, can I, can I, can I put pl a punt, if you like? Yeah. Don't, I don't know this, and it is a guess. I'm going to guess Larimar runs out before Tanzanite. Hmm. It makes sense, doesn't it? Because Larimar... I don't know where it was on there, but there was once the area of Larimar mining is less than one square mile. Goodness me. Which is minuscule. Tanzanite's significantly bigger than that. Tanzanite. Less than one square mile in the entire planet of mining this gemstone. I, mean, I always find it so fascinating, especially with the one location gemstones, that all the, the chemical reactions, all of the conditions, everything had to be perfect in that one spot for yep. this gemstone to form. Exactly. So it's not like something that's going to be recreated later. No. We're not no. going to... It's unlikely that we're going to find it. I mean, Mother Nature does throw up new gemstones every so often, but, you know, you've got to remember, this has been... All right, it was rediscovered in the 1970s, but actually, Larimar probably was widely known well before that. If you want to know what it looks like, well, let me just conjure up some beautiful images in your mind, maybe something like this. Yeah? Or maybe something like this. <laughs> Adam was on the boat. Ross is in the bushes. <laughs> Look at it, though. I mean, it, it is the ultimate Caribbean stone. And, and also, it's worthwhile saying, if you have ever been to the Caribbean or on a cruise, chances are you have seen this beautiful gem. Now, we rarely ever get it. And for, to be honest, across the entire partnership here, if you get Larimar in a showcase, it's like, oh, you got Larimar. Our sister channel probably sees it even less than we do, to be truthful. And when we do, um, it's, a, it, it's, a, it's a big thing. Everyone's really excited. It's breathtakingly beautiful. And again, I'm showing you two photos in this slide. One is of Larimar and the other one is the crystal clear oh, waters wow. of the Caribbean Sea. And you can yeah. see, you know, how the, the sunlight sort of uh, captures and reflects on the uh, on the, on yes. the uh, gentle it's, waves. It's almost like the gemstone is a, a snapshot of, yeah, exactly. of the ocean. Yeah, exactly. Capturing that bird, almost like a bird's eye view of the ocean, yeah. isn't it? Now I'm going to start with the biggest Larimar rounds I think I've ever brought to air. Do, do we all agree with that? Larimar are normally four mil. Would we agree, Ross? Yeah. Normally? Have you ever seen ten? <laughs> These are seven to ten millimetres in their size. All completely and utterly natural. Oh. So again, I, I know it was a bit of a punt, but yeah, and I don't know it for sure, but I think Larimar could run out before Tanzanite. It makes sense, doesn't it? And I generally don't know why it's not in the top 10 rarest gemstones in the world. Yeah. Because it's got to be up there, isn't it? It's got to be. This beautiful one locational gemstone, not found anywhere else on this planet. Have we ever brought you 10 millimetre rounds of Larimar before? I've never seen them. I don't think so really? either. In rounds as well, particularly. Yeah. Now we're going to open up this auction opportunity. And you're going to be thinking that we're missing digits. Mm. Yeah, 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 149. Yeah, you're right. At £149, that's an amazing price. We're under 50 but we're not even stopping there. Tell me there's quantity then, Roscoe. OK, that's, that's actually way more than I was expecting. 60 available of Larimar in 10 millimetre rounds. So it goes into graduation 10, 8, and obviously you can see going down uh, to your 7 mil. I would quite simply just not this. Yes, with maybe red Ooh. silk or something like that, yeah. Lovely. Lovely. Or a coral <laughs> colour. Yes. What about what Would about be like a darker turquoise? Wait, wait, wait. Monica. Um, sorry, I'm shouting your name now. <laughs> Kinga, can you bring me back those beautiful pearls? Because can you imagine these dotted in between those pearls? Oh yes. And there's one left of that pearl deal, by the way. One left of them. Can you imagine? Larimar in the eight o'clock hour, we brought to you, sold out. Thank you, lovely. 
bear with because we br there were some tumbles, by the way, in the 8 o'clock hour that sold out. Let me just put that down for a second. I'm going to bring all these pearls to the back of my hand. If you are lucky enough to be able, if you've got the budget to get hold of these pearls, knowing that they are all natural and you get the additions too, can you imagine some beautiful pops of oh. exotic blue dotted in between? That's, that's for, like a beach wedding. Oh, that, that's the thing. <laughs> I, I think Laramar and pearls is like the marriage made in heaven. It just works, doesn't it? Because you think about beautiful tropical destinations. Ross, when did you do that? Sorry. Pardon? So I'm so I'm so engrossed oh, I in the Larimar. I didn't even I see didn't that price see that crash. Either. Twenty nine ninety nine. That's a price for Larimar. Um, in 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 yeah, small nuggets, not rounds, not ten millimeters in their size. Unbelievable! Congratulations to each and every single one of you that has already yeah. shopped ahead. Again, that is totally natural in its colour saturation. Candy, Veronica, Soraya, hello to you. Margaret, Cheshire, Elaine, Wendy, Susan, Veronica. You once seen Larimar, you'll never forget it. And again, um, whenever we talk, discuss this gem, we normally have uh, viewers that will message in saying, "Look, I was on a cruise. I saw Larimar on the cruise liner in their jewellers, and it was like it was really expensive. It was like three figures and then some." I bet it was. In rounds, and I bet it wasn't full strands. Yeah, we're talking about individual yeah. cabochons, aren't we? I mean, I never saw it before jewelry maker, but since the first time I saw it in jewelry maker, I've kind of been squirreling it away. Yeah, so it's, I'm, it's a good squirrel. Yeah, I'm kind of collecting it up so I can make a really nice big wow feature necklace well, or Larimar. Don't let this one pass you by then at twenty nine ninety nine. Um, okay, now who knows, Monica? Who knows? In five years' time, we might be saying Larimar's run out. Yeah. Don't know. Possible, isn't it? Okay, let's bring you the other strand. So 15 centimetres, these are slightly smaller. So if you wanted to create a longer line graduation, um, then this would work, wouldn't it? It would, yes. I can see you in Laramar, Monica. Can you? Yeah, I think well, it would suit. These are my favourite colours. <laughs> Oh, okay. So Monica's favourite colours are basically colours of Larimar and then, of course, purple. <laughs> it, 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 Can you imagine how happy I was when I found this bottle? Yeah. <laughs> and do you need a bigger, uh, a larger water bottle? Stay hydrated, folks. Yeah, it is that colourway, isn't it? It's the, yeah. it's the bottom colours. Yeah. Just here. Amazing, absolutely amazing. I thought you were going to take a sip there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> At £24.99 for rounds. Again, Larimar tends to chase veins of it. So again, much like your turquoise, when it forms in veins, rounds become much more expensive. So because they're quite wasteful, tends to be more on your slices, um, on possibly your rondelles or tumbles. Here we are bringing arguably the one of the most expensive shapes of Larimar um, at a price point. Yeah, there should be a one in front of that, really. Um, um, amazing congratulations to each and every single one of you I went on a cruise some years ago and it was around uh, the Caribbean I loved it it was absolutely amazing we spent a, a week in Miami and then we hopped around a few of the Caribbean islands it's absolutely incredible but again I remember um, I remember the jewelers there they had they had Larimar and it was you're talking like hundreds of pounds yeah. not just one or two hundred pounds yeah. multiple hundreds of yeah. pounds Congratulations. Okay, I'm going to move quite quickly because time is rushing by. Let's bring you the... Oh, this is beautiful. Look at the quality of that blue. The more exotic the blue, the higher the value of the, uh, of the Larimar. This is actually some of the deepest saturation. Yes. Isn't that beautiful? 65 carats of amazing Larimar in your beautiful rondelles. I like this one a lot. And I think the rondelle shape also kind of uh, makes you think holiday. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah. yeah. I'd team this one with the um, early with bird the this morning. Yeah, yeah, I think it'd be lovely alongside the early bird. Um, for this natural... £29.99 only. Again, uh, the mother of pearl that we had for you this morning... 
absolutely beautiful uh, beautiful alongside this gemstone you can imagine your toes almost pressed within um, within the sands we've crashed to that price tag again bigger carrot weight that you're seeing within this opportunity um, you get this really beautiful sort of linear like uh, linear like uh, design Tracy well done Joyce Samantha Jacqueline Maker Swansea Hiya Christine in Cornwall um, it's been busy today and you can see the more intense that exotic blue much like we say the more uh, vibrant your uh, your two turquoise the um, same applies when it comes to this beautiful gemstone as well um, sorry say that again oh yes your masterclass kits are coming up brand new premiere launching today um, with all of your beautiful colors of elastic they're coming up with Monica in a few moments time also let's not forget your wall of fame is happening as well oh, yeah. Um, yeah we're gonna bring you lots and lots and lots more goodies um, still to come between now and the top of the show don't go anywhere lovely jewelry makers Monica and Oh, have we? I beg your pardon. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> I thought you were closing out then, Roscoe. Um, one more. One more auction. So this is the finale, oh. did you say? Finale of the Larimar. Ah. Oh. Um, if you go on the website, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com, there's a few um, other Larimar, very low in quantity. We'll load them during the break so you can actually uh, um, sort of add them to your order. Not often we see faceted Larimar. Oh, that, especially with the pearls. Yeah, beautiful. Yes. Absolutely beautiful. We don't see it very often, um, particularly in the droplet light shapes. It does tend yes. to be much more sort of your circles or your rondelles um, or your tumbles. Um, so yeah, yeah, absolutely beautiful. I think if you were creating long line tassel necklaces or something like that i think it'd be absolutely gorgeous um again well done straight down to 39 pounds and 99 pence larimar was always one of those gemstones if we were fortunate enough to get in the showcase you'd struck gold but um it was always a certain price point wasn't it it was never these it was never 39.99 larimar um well done you've got a full parcel wall of fame is coming up immediately after the break the kits are going to be available on pre-order they are launching for the very first time today you've got brand new colors of your beautiful beautiful elastic in the two sizes I want these in fact I think it's four sizes because I four well we'll talk about that when we do the kit okay <laughs> uh, am I allowed to go and get my phone as well during the break to get hold of these if we can pre-order it amazing because I need to get hold of those for Willow during half term um yeah yeah throw that one back at you Adam saying no it's not for me it's for Willow oh okay yeah that's fine, <laughs> that's fine. Um, <laughs> don't go anywhere well done everybody join Monica and I for the launch of these beautiful masterclass kits after this did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. 
You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Welcome back, everybody, and time for your beautiful creations, your wonderful inspiration. We haven't forgotten you, I promise, um, in the Wall of Fame. Starting us off this afternoon um, is Barry, your number 482, Barry, a vision of colour. What lovely, oh, lovely Aww. sea beading. And Barry says, hi, all. Here is my entry to the Wall of Fame this week. Um, I have a special friend who has been very kind to myself and my wife, so I decided to make her a special present. Isn't that lovely? Aww. Um, I used some of the bicones from the butterfly box that I bought from you recently, along with various sea beads uh, to make a kiss cross bracelet. I'm pleased with the end result and hope she likes it too. Love and magic to all at Jewelry Maker and all fellow Waffers. Well, Barry, your friend is very lucky. That's a beautiful piece. Congratulations. Um, number 483 is from Amanda. Hello to you, Amanda. Gosh, you've been busy. Amazing. Amanda says, hi, all at Jewelry Maker. My entry to the Wall of Fame this week is a few simple macrame bracelets. These are going to be wish bracelets for my first ever craft fair oh. just awaiting some cards um, with a little saying on them to attach um, making lots of small simple pieces to sell and see how it goes s long cord is so easy to use and i get a neat finish majority of beads are from jewelry maker wish me luck huge good luck amanda oh, not that i yes. think for one second you're gonna need it oh that's beautiful amazing yeah you'll smash it lovely well done uh, number 484 is from norma hello to you norma oh, oh i yes. spot one of our lovely Lovely Susie's pieces um, and Norma says hi all can I uh, please be ent sorry can I please enter my Susie's design jade endless knot bead captured on a handmade silver plated infinity necklace with a slider clasp uh, so it can be worn at any length from a choker to 22 inches this was my first attempt at making chain using one millimeter silver plated copper wire all from jewelry maker um, as always, good luck to all in the draw and a big thank you to all at Jewelry Maker. Norma, that's beautiful as always. Good luck to you. Uh, number 485 is from Deborah. Hello to you, Deborah. Oh. oh, oh my goodness me. Do you know what that reminds me of? The kyanite. It does, yeah. <laughs> I know it's a different gemstone, but it's very similar um, in its appearance. So this week's offering was inspired by Mark Smith. Blue tiger's eye weaved into a Shambhala style bracelet. Um, all components are from JM. Happy waffering, everybody. <laughs> Happy waffering to you too, my lovely. 
Uh, number 486 is from Michelle. Hello to you, Michelle. Oh, some very neat wire work there. Um, hi, all. Here is my latest uh, make. It's a garnet and silver plated wire, all from Jewelry Maker. Good luck to all in the WAF um, entries. Your JM Junkie. Love that. <laughs> Amazing. Um, over to you. Good luck, everyone. Number 487 is from Isabel Moore. Oh, look. Oh, look at the colours. Beautiful. Hello, lovely friends. I'm on a recycle mission at the moment, and these are two items created from a 15-year-old broken necklace with JMC beads and wires. I love the bumblebee effect of the memory wire bracelet and have popped the sun catcher on my pergola. Have a lovely day all. Aww, Aww, I love lovely nice. seeing those colours out in the garden. Some of my mum's old amber, amber jewellery. Yeah, yeah, should. Number 488 is from Abby. Hello, jewellery maker. Inspired by newbie Natalie's demo, these two adjustable bangles were good to make. Using memory wire faceted red beads with silver pearls and green gemstones with silver plated spaces. I hope you like them. Everything is from Jewelry Maker. Oh, lovely, lovely, Abby. Beautiful. Beautiful. Loving those. Yes. Number 489 is June Evans. Hello, everyone. Please find attached my Wall of Fame entry using JM stones from many moons ago. Rose quartz with pearls, rose quartz rosary linked with extended chain finished with rose quartz. Had the overlapping rose quartz for so long because I wasn't sure what to use them for. Hope you like it. Thank you for the wonderful shows and amazing goodies. The stash is growing bigger. Oh, June, oh. that's beautiful. Lovely jewellery, but also photography. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Should great. be in a glossy magazine. Um, you've still got time to send your entries in. The draw happens on a Wednesday morning, so uh, that'll be with lovely Carol. Um, so send us a photograph of your creation. The only stipulation is that they are using jewellery maker products and a little message. And we'll keep everything crossed for you because you never know. Uh, you may be winning £100 being credited to your jewellery maker account or £50 if you are the runner up. And we do that every week and have done every week um, since we started here broadcasting some 13 yes. years ago okay are you ready for a launch cue for a song that isn't it <laughs> it's cue for a song um but not gemstone launch we're actually bringing you one of your essentials for the first time ever now we have it in two different gauges i'm going to start with the one mil and then we're going to bring you um a, a huge bundle they're just the needles sorry that's okay. Uh, and then we're going to give you a huge bundle of the 0.4. So just here, look at, you get all of this. It's a lot. And a the lot. needle as well. I mean, these, by the way, are genius. They are, yes. Absolutely genius. I will genius. show you how to use them. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, but I will show you in the, in the demo. How Monica's going, well, actually, it's not, because when I first got one of these needles, I was like, oh, hang on a minute, how do I then do this? So, okay. So this comes with it. And you are getting all of these colours. In 44 seconds, we are going to bring your graphics to air. Um, in terms of quantity, we have got a big quantity. There's, oh, okay, there's 100 of this size. And I, I, I think we all know the answer to this question, but I'm going to say it out loud anyway. Why would I choose an orange or a red or a green or a yellow? Well, it's a few different reasons. First of all, if you have translucent gemstones, you can change the colour of them, you can enhance the colour of them. Uh, or if you have completely opaque gemstones, then obviously on a stretchy bracelet, you sometimes see the elastic yeah. in between. And it kind of just adds a little bit of fun, even if you only see it when you're putting it on. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know? Yeah, I mean, let's, see, let's describe, say, the Laramar or the Kyanite that we had a few moments ago. I would always go for the blue. Yes. Just to, it's not, because it's not going to... It's only going to benefit, isn't it? Exactly. It's not going to detract. It's only going to benefit in the overall appearance of that piece of jewellery in itself. Um, and you are getting a huge selection of colours. Like I said, orange, yellow. You've got a darker brown, red, green, blue, another yellow, um, like a fuchsia pink colour here, another orange and then some pinks. Um, into, and the needle. Let's not forget, you get that needle, um, which is 170 millimetres in its length and just makes stretchy bracelets super quick and easy to actually create. Um, so this is 300 meters of elastic that you're looking at right now. Um, 300, that's 100. No, it's going to be more than that. Wait a second. No. 100 meters per color. These are these are 100 meter spools. Yes. Yeah. The other ones. Are the big thing. ones. Yeah. And then these. Are 70 meters across yeah. those colors. Does that make sense? So 10, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. yeah. So 10 meters on each of those, 100 meters on these. 
370 yeah. and you know, meters. Earlier, I bit. said that I thought it was four different gauges. The yeah. reason I said that is because although they both say they're one millimeter, I think the big spools are a little bit finer. Okay. Than the smaller sp spools. Okay. It's great again because you can use it for different things. And if you want to double it up, you can. Well, that's what I'm going to show you in the masterclass. Aha! <laughs> so you can always double up your elastic to give you. If you go like, for example, the Links of London stretchy bracelet that they did some years ago, yeah. um, they double up your elastic. Um, hello to you, Margot. I use my stretchy needle all the time. Yeah. Um, lets you get double elastic through. Fab show, talented crew. I'll oh, bless you, Margot. Lovely Margot. Hello, lovely. Um, hello, Kathy. Say. OMG, I've been searching for my needles all weekend. This is spooky. It's on the show today. <laughs> I know. They, they do change. I remember the first time we launched a needle like this, and I was kind of like, well, what did you do with that? And you say it's fairly self-explanatory. Took me a while oh, okay. to figure it out. You get everything. So these are 100 meter spools of elastic, never done before, brand new premiere, and 10 meters on these. A third of the stock is already gone. So for example, we had that tourmaline earlier on. I'd go to the pink. You know, carnelian, I'd go to the orange. Um, hiya, Patsy. Hello, Ellen, Monica. I was asked to make stretchies for kids yeah. to sell at school charity. Those needles were fabulous. I made 30 bracelets. Probably, you know, all right, bit of an exaggeration, but, you know, not like that. But quick. But much, much quicker. Yeah, my, my six-year-old has been nagging me, bless her. She has, and I think I've told you about this a few weeks ago. She's like, Mummy, can you make my friends those stretchy bracelets? Mummy, 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 it's, we're almost coming to the end of the school term now. Have you made the stretch? Start on the stretchy bracelets, and I haven't yet. But I've just got this bundle um, because how perfect for kids. Oh, absolutely. And Willow yeah. could make them. Yeah. Couldn't she? And I think these are quite fun as well. I made these on a previous I, I did clock those. Jellyfish so you've earrings. used <laughs> look like little jellyfish I call earrings. them jellyfish earrings. <laughs> Very sweet, Monica. It's just um, a beady bead on top. Very cool. Because, I mean, the elastic looks quite pretty as well. I it is? Colours. Yeah, you can have that yeah. exposed. And let's not forget, it's not just bracelets. What about stretchy necklaces? Well, I've got one here. There you go. And do you know what? I was actually thinking on my way in here this morning, I was thinking of my first ever piece of beaded jewellery. Yeah. And it was my first year at university. I bought from like a street vendor yeah. a stretchy necklace with a single row of probably size eight seed beads in like pastel colours. Mm. And I had that necklace on for all five years of my university. I never took it off, not in the shower, not to sleep or anything. I had that on for five years. It lasted that, that long. Yeah. yeah, they do. They do. We're at £39.99. Uh, that gets you the needle and 370 metres yeah. of multicoloured elastics. Um, we're not stopping there. Oh, oh I forgot to get my phone. Wow. 19 pounds and 99 pence only. I mean, how much do you, how much do you need for one bracelet? Let's say nine inches. 30 centimeters. Well, you need a bit extra because you need to tie that Okay. Lot. So let's say 30 centimeters about the length of this bead mat. Yeah. So. It's, it, it, yeah. Thank yeah, you, Adam. He's exactly. on it. I well done. Work that out my head. <laughs> 370 meters. <laughs> and 30 centimeters. I don't know, but it's a lot. You can make you can a lot. Three out of a out of a meter, so that's over a thousand bracelets. Stretchy bracelets. The phone lines. The website has gone completely oh. nuts. So again, there's two different sizes. So you have got the one mil just here. That's what this uh, um, this kit. Plus, you get the needle um, in all those different colours. And then we're bringing you the is it the finer gauge, which is 0.6. Six. Yeah, and the needles um, are different sizes as well. So they fit. The needles yeah. fit the needles, uh, sorry, the elastics themselves. Um, hello to you, Rhi in Newport saying, uh, how do I use the needle, please? Rhi will show you that during the masterclass, so just bear with us, lovely. Uh, hi to you, Mary, saying, hi, ladies. Sorry to be ignorant. I'm newish uh, to jewellery making. Can you briefly show me how we use the needle, please? Yeah, absolutely, Mary. Um, I tell you what, Monica, do you want to do that now? Okay, sure. Because the other kit's available on pre-order, so you c we, because I'm about to join you on this as well, um, you can shop ahead on both of those kits as well. Um, I mean, if you've got some of the Agate bundles that we've brought you um, here at Jewelry Maker or any of the gemstones part of the deal of the day, you've got the elastic to match now, haven't you? So, here we go. So, lots of people asking how we work with it. Right, so, I'm going to use the thinner elastic here because I've got fairly small gemstones here. These are six millimetre rounds. Mm -hmm. So, for the needle, I mean, it's got a little, a little hook at the end, which is very difficult to see because it's tiny, tiny, tiny on the end. Okay, but it's just big enough 
for you to hook into your elastic. This is why you have the two different sizes of, um, of needle with your two different thicknesses of elastic. Okay, can you see the little hook there at the end? If I take away the elastic, you can see the little hook on the end there. Okay, so that just hooks into your elastic. Okay, so when you're using your needle, the only sort of prerequisite is you need to be able to get your needle through your gemstone. Now, as I say, these are six millimeter gemstones and the needle goes through them quite easily. The other prerequisite, obviously, is the thickness of your elastic. This is why it's great that we have the different thicknesses because you need to get two thicknesses of your elastic through your gemstone. So basically, all you're gonna do is you're gonna thread on your gemstone. You can put more than one on at a time. I'm just gonna show you with the one for now. And then you're just gonna hook your, I just need to hold it close. So you're gonna hook your elastic into your needle and then you're going to push your gemstone down and pull it through like that okay and that's it really so if you're using a single strand of elastic then you just pull it through and then you pull through the 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 loose end and you've got your gemstone threaded on there which um, I mean, it's easy enough when you have the, the larger holes and the larger gemstones to just thread them on like that. But if you're doing a lot, I find that my fingers get very sort of cramped. Yeah, tired. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. A whole, picking up your gemstones like that for a long time. So first of all, it helps with that. It also helps with, um, well, as I say, if you have any sort of dexterity issues or anything like that. But also what it helps with is what I'm just about to show you is how to do a double strand uh, bracelet because for example if you look at this one if I bring it over so if you can see I've got my double strands open out here where I've got the smaller gemstones and I've got two strands threaded onto there okay and then, and then I've got both strands going through the larger ones but also if you have let's say you've got your it was a 0.6 millimeter thin yes. elastic Let's say you've only got your thinner elastic and you want to use some 12 millimeter gemstones and you're worried that this might not be strong enough to hold uh, your bracelet, then you might want to double up on your elastic. Um, now, if you've got really large holes on, the, on those, then you can just obviously fold it in half and thread it through like that. But again, it comes in really handy if you have the needle. Now, if you're threading on more gemstones, then obviously all you do is you thread all your gemstones onto your needle, just like that. And although you're still holding your gemstones like the same way with your fingers, it's much quicker and easier to thread it onto a needle than to fiddle around with the soft end of an elastic to try to get it through there. So I've just got some silver spaces here to use as well um, with the holes that are big enough. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna thread on however many gemstones you want to thread on. Now for the length, People sometimes ask me how many beads to thread on if you're making a stretchy bracelet. Well, that's kind of like a question like how long is a piece of string? Um, <laughs> because it depends on obviously the size of the gemstones. It depends on what else you put on there. It depends on the size of the wrist that you're making it for. It depends on whether you want it to fit snugly around your wrist when it's on or whether you want it to fit loosely. So there isn't a hard and fast rule for how many beads to thread on to make one bracelet. So it's basically just a little bit of experimenting, but I'll show you how I check in a second if it's long enough. So I'm just gonna do this many, it's probably not enough, but let's go with that many. So I haven't cut my elastic off the spool because that always makes it a little bit easier to work with because it doesn't run off the other end. Okay, so now I'm just gonna grab my elastic as I did before, push my beads down close to the end, hook your elastic onto your needle Okay, and then just push your beads down. Genius. And it's that easy. Sometimes you need to wiggle it a little bit because obviously don't forget the inside of the gemstone is not 100% smooth. So it might get a little bit caught, but just wiggle it around a bit and it will go through. Okay. So just pull your gemstones onto there like that. Take the hook off the end. Okay. So there you've got your gemstones threaded on. Now the way I test for the, for the length is when I've threaded on my gemstones. Now, in this case, I am going to cut the elastic off the spool because I'm done with it. Now, obviously, this is going to be too short for a bracelet, but it's fine for my demo. So what I normally do is when I've threaded on what I think is enough, I usually thread on extra because it's easier just to take it off afterwards. And then I hold the two ends together and I put it around my wrist 
as I say, this is now way too short. And then I see if the two ends meet up when the bracelet is kind of loose around my wrist. Okay, so obviously this is too short because there's a great big gap. Um, so I'll just keep adding until the ends meet up and that gives you a rough idea. And usually, usually, if your bracelet kind of just touches loose without stretching, mm -hmm. it'll be big enough to go over your wrist. Yeah. If you have a particularly large, um, I mean, to, not your wrist, your hand. If you have a particularly large hand compared to your wrist, uh, then you, you normally would know that already. So then you would make sure that your, your bracelet, when you hold it up against your hand like that, is a little bit loose. Mm -hmm. okay? But as I say, it's trial and error once you, once you know. And if you're selling, um, again, it, it depends on the size of the person because there's a huge big variance between people's hands. So then I would say go quite loose if you have sort of an average size wrist go quite loose because it's unlikely that it's going to be so loose that it's going to fall off somebody's hand no between seven and eight is the average isn't it yeah uh, seven eight inches right so, the average size so now if you're doing a double uh you want to double up on your elastic so as you can see i've pulled it through with the needle and i haven't pulled the loose end through because this is what you want to start with to do your double uh knotted bracelet so now what you're going to do is you're going to take one of the loose ends of your elastic and you're going to feed it through the loop on the other end okay just like that okay now make sure that you've got a hold of both of the loose ends so they don't come out and you want to pull on them and just jiggle your gemstones around until you pull this loop back into your gemstones so it's a little bit fiddly but don't worry too much just push them down keep going make sure you don't let go of the loose end Okay, so keep going, pull, 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 until you want that loop on the end to completely disappear, but not just disappear, you want it to go right inside your gemstone. So can you see I've pushed this last gemstone down and I'm going to keep pushing until that, that loop Oh, so you connection. don't, not just next to the loop? No. Okay. So you want to pull that loop inside your gemstone. Okay. Okay. And then what you want to do, you basically need to pull the other end other loose end because if you pull this end you're going to pull it out of your gemstone again yeah so you want to keep pulling on the other end and Hot again tips these are monica you just want to fiddle with it and just keep pulling it's a little bit um it's harder to pull at the moment because it's very short but you just keep pushing them down pushing them down yeah, it it's obviously easier if you before you pull it into the gemstone to make sure that you've got very little showing on that end because I had quite a lot still showing there just now because I was showing you what I was doing you're making it harder for yourself because I am I am bracelet. yes <laughs> so I just want to push down all your gemstones first until your little loop end is right there by the end mm -hmm. of your last gemstone so keep pushing them push them a little bit more a little bit more these kits, by the way, stock update are absolutely flying. Um, I'll show you the quantity. We had, what do we have in total? 100 of this one with the one mil. There's 14 left. Right, so as you can see now, I've just got this little tiny little loop left there. And then effectively, if you pull the other end, it should pull into there. So just keep fiddling until, can you see now my loop's gone right inside there? Just pull your, the rest of your gemstones down. And then keep pulling the loose end. I'm not sure why it's not coming through at the moment, but this is how it's meant to go. <laughs> Always happens on live television, doesn't it? So there you go, it's going, it's going. You just need to keep fiddling with it a little bit more and keep pulling the loose end and it will eventually close up. I'm not gonna fiddle with it too much because this is not very intriguing television. <laughs> I don't know, I find it quite enjoyable watching stretchies. Well, you just want to carefully put, you don't want to tear your elastic, obviously, you just keep pulling, keep pulling. I don't know why it's not coming closer. I'm making it worse, actually, at the moment. Let me pull that in. Oh, here we go. Okay. Right. So my loop is inside the gemstone. And now you're just going to tie it the same way as you would tie a, um, a normal bracelet. My gemstones are they're not, they're just not behaving today, are they? Give me a second. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. But you so are, slowly, perseverance. Slowly. Just Here so you know, go. the 0.6 millimetre is coming up, but it's on pre-order right now, so you can grab yours. So there we go, I've got it now. 
So now that your gemstones are touching yeah. and the little loop is inside this last gemstone. Okay? Yeah. So now you're going to tie your knot. So you're going to tie the two just in a normal overhand knot like that. Okay, just loosely for now. And then you're going to do another one. You're going to do a surgeon's knot. So go around twice. So once and then twice. Okay, and then you're going to bring that down. Make sure it sits on top of your other knot. It doesn't go onto the other side of one of the beads. And then you want to pull it. You want to pull the stretch out of the elastic. Now, you've already stretched this elastic quite a lot, obviously pulling it through. But just to be sure, you want to stretch it. Can you see how it goes really, really thin? Mm. Now, don't break it, so don't pull it that hard. But you want to kind of pull that stretch out. And then I also, what I normally do is I hold on to the two ends and I pull it the other way as well. Mm. Because if you only pull it uh, this way, then what normally happens is it tightens up your, your elastic too much and your bracelet becomes too stiff. Yeah. So I pull it loose a little bit and then I pull this tight again. Okay, now obviously I didn't pull it quite right there, that's why I got a little bit of extra there, but you would spend a little bit more time getting it right at home. And then I just use a little bit of clear nail varnish. You can use, um, the E6000 glue is the best to use really because uh, that doesn't dry brittle. Mm. So that gives you a little bit of wiggle room. If you do have a little bit of extra elastic there, don't worry too much because as you're wearing it and as you, as you pull it open, obviously your bracelet will be bigger than this, uh, it will pull inside the rest of the bracelet so it's not going to stay there. You can see as I pull it, that kind of moves into the bracelet. Yep. Just make sure that the last pull that you do is on these and not on the bracelet so that it's nice and tight. And then you just take your little nail varnish and you put a little drop of that onto your knot. Okay, and then you let that dry. And then once it's dried, if your other, so the loop is inside this gemstone here, okay? The next gemstone or spacer bead or whatever it is you're using, if that's one that's got quite a big hole in it, like these spacer beads that I'm using here, okay? Then after it dries, you can jiggle it around again a little bit more so that your knot goes right inside of that bead. Can you see? So now I can't see either of the knots because the loop is inside the gemstone and the knot that I've tied is inside this uh, metal bead. And then once it's dried, you just cut off your elastic and there's your little bracelet made and you can't see any ah. of the knots. I'm not going to pull it now because obviously it hasn't dried yet. But That's very cute. There's your little baby bracelet. The baby bracelet. Look how adorable And it's on that a double is. strand so it's stronger yeah. as well. Um, there's four left of this kit. Um, 121 people have got it in their basket, so I wouldn't leave it there. Let's bring you the 0.6. Amazing. 0.6, and you can double up 0.6, which ultimately yep. then has become obviously 1.2 exactly. millimeter. Um, um, yeah, and you get the matching needle as well to match. Yeah, uh, to those correspond. are the ones that I used here. I used the 0.6 and the and the smaller needle, but obviously it works the same way with the one millimeter. Yeah, with larger gemstones. Same technique. And yeah. we've done some very sizable gemstones oh, yeah. as well over um, over recent weeks, haven't we? So again, just to let you know, you've got a hundred meters on the spools. So that's these. So in the orange, this dark brown, and in the yellow, you get 100 meters. And then there's 10 meters on the reels just here that you get across uh, um, seven colors. Yeah, again, it's going to help you. For example, if you're working with rose quartz and you choose a pink, it's going to encourage the pink colors. Of course, yes. If you're going to work with an aquamarine and you choose the blue, it's going to encourage the saturation of, of the aquamarine. But also, if you use clear quartz, then you can yep. have real fun with the colors. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Whatever color you use is going to show through. Plus, you get the needle, the corresponding needle that will work um, um, and go through. It's same technique. Yep. Um, so you can actually see you've got the little hole on the end. But on this side, if I just flip it around, there you go. You've got, a um, you've got that very, very, very tiny. Yeah, slightly bigger hook than you've got. If you want to put the two next to each other, you can see. Well, this is the point six. Oh, it's the same one. Uh, yeah. Then the other needle. The other needle the other. was bigger, yeah. yeah. So if I put the two together, you can see. Can you see that? Yeah, slight difference. It's ever so slightly. Enough so that it can hold on to the thicker elastic. Yeah, amazing. Now, first one sold out today to get 370 metres of your 0.6 coloured wire, brand new, uh, not wire, sorry, uh, elastic, and the needle. It's so much quicker making jewellery with these needles. So much quicker. Um, we're at 19 pounds and 99 pence only. The phone lines are absolutely lit up. Well done to those of you that did shop ahead. Amazing. Um, oh, there I am. Look, you can see my name there. 
There you go. Oh, very sweet. I might have been a little <laughs> bit sidetracked. I was a little bit sidetracked, Monica, while you were demonstrating because I need to get. I need the elastic. I make a lot of stretchy bracelets. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it'll go. It'll, it'll go a long way as well. And and if you look at the bracelets I've made, it doesn't have to just be a strand of beads threaded yeah. onto elastic. I've got some uh, gizmo coils here. I've got some uh, little. Um, Sort of on bubble on style, spins, bubble style over here. Then I've got the, the jellyfish earrings, um, then a necklace as well because there's no reason you can't make a stretchy necklace. No, absolutely. Um, so amazing, yeah. amazing again. They've absolutely flown out. We had a hundred of the first kit sold out, and over a hundred people missed out. Sorry on the on the last kit. We have got three hundred of this kit. Well, if you missed out on that last one, you can still use this one. I, I went for this one. Yeah. I went for this. Well, listen, I would have got both, but I knew that we were more limited on the previous kit, so that's yeah. why I only got this one, because I can always double it up, like you of said. Course. Yeah, so yeah. easy to double up. Purely because of the quantity, Monica, we've got 300. 105 have gone already. Wow. So that means we've got, what, 195 left. We are going even lower. Purely because of the quantity. And, and this needle. Yeah. You don't have to just use it with your elastic. Huh? What else well, you use, can it, use with? it with your monofilament? Of course you can. You can use it with wildfire. Wildfire with your nylon threads. <gasps> you can use it if you have um, for for sewing, for example. If you have a little thin you have the, the thin elastic that you use in, in sewing sometimes that you want to thread through things. You can hook this onto there and thread it through. Why have I not ever? Th why have I not thought of using it with things like wildfire before? Yeah. Because I do loads of long line necklaces. Yeah. So much easier, wouldn't it? Yeah. Feed them on. If, if, if you have chips and thread. nuggets, those are always difficult to thread on, isn't it? So you could do you could do a big long line necklace, couldn't yeah. you? Yeah. 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 In six seconds, Monica, we're going even lower purely because of the quantity of them. Um, 300 were available. They are brand new. They've never been on your screens previously before. So again, you get 370 meters of beautiful, colorful elastic and you get the revolutionary needle. Oh. 16 pounds and 99 pence. That's amazing. Also, what's great about the needle is you might say, okay, I can take a piece of elastic and thread it through a bead without a needle, which is yeah. fine. But then you get to things like the, um, the gizmo coil, for example. Now, this is a short piece of gizmo coil, but you could do a longer piece. That's going to be very difficult to thread a piece of elastic through. Yeah. That is soft and, and wiggly and it's not going to go straight Yeah, through. it goes a bit floppy, yeah. So the needle is much easier to get through. Um, also, in the jellyfish earrings, in a mm. BDB, that's going to be very difficult to thread your elastic directly through there, especially if you have a big clump of elastic like I've got there, because I just it's harder. Uh, several strands there and I just hooked them all through and yeah. pulled them in. Um, sorry, that message from Lorraine saying these will be so useful with Mark Smith's bead packs I bought recently. Absolutely, oh, yeah. yeah, those, um, the Czech Republic ones oh, that you're yeah. talking about, with those, uh, with your, yeah, they'd be amazing. Like the, we had the butterfly and the rainbow, didn't we? Yeah, but they'd be perfect. So the the multicoloured ones in the square boxes that we just Oh, bought. yes, yeah. yes. Um, they're absolutely flying out the door. We had 300 of them. Um, we have got, yeah, literally two full screens um, of names. People getting twos, threes and fours, amazing, well done. Um, I don't blame you. At £16.99, you're getting 370 metres of this multicoloured elastic and you're getting the needle. Um, those of you that do your craft fairs or your markets or um, you make for charity possibly or you gift, like, you know, I, I, don't, I don't make for as a business anymore, but um, um, I make, well, not anymore, I never did, but, um, but I do make to gift. Gift, you know, sixteen ninety nine, or even if even if you have any sort of children's craft. Well, that's uh, what Willow's nagging me for. She wants them in. for her friends. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, you could do them in little party bags. Exactly. Yeah. We've got three hundred. Over two hundred have gone. You need to be quick. We're going to sell them out today, Monica, because there's surprised. another price crash on your way. I'm glad I have my sets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look how busy we are. Everybody will pay that final low, regardless whether you're the first person or whether you're the very last. Everybody will pay that final low price tag. How amazing is that? 370 metres. That's thousands of bracelets, potentially, yeah, it isn't is, it? It is. Thousands of bracelets. And you also get the needle, which is going to make those thousands go, you know, get created a whole lot faster. Yeah. 
a whole lot faster. You can't beat a stretchy bracelet. You know, I, whenever I go out, I wear a stretchy bracelet. Always. Yeah. Yeah. Always, always, always. Um, by the way, this might sound something like uh, something really basic, but always roll your bracelets rather than pull them over your wrists because then you are you're not putting that stress point on the elastic. Roll them down there, um, and they yeah. And also, thinking of this little bracelet I made here, that you can make stretchy rings. Stretchy rings, yeah. absolutely. People, you know, people that maybe have uh, pain in their joints or exactly. swollen joints yeah. or anything like that. The elastic is definitely your friend. Since we're talking about holidays, toe rings. Toe rings. Are you ready for this? I mean, I was more than happy at 19.99. At 14.99, that's a fantastic deal, isn't it? So you get, just to recap as well, you've got 100 meters on these spools, brand new. This is like a chocolate brown. Can you see that? Nice. It's really lovely. Um, then you've got this vibrant yellow. You've got a beautiful orange. Um, sorry, this is driving. You got. Let me just stack them. Actually, let's stack them up, shall we? Um, so you can actually see all of those beautiful colours. And again, you can complement it. So we had chrysoprase earlier on. Obviously, you gravitate towards the green, wouldn't you? Um, if you had something like specetite, you'd go for the orange. If you go for pink tourmaline or rose quartz, aquamarine or lapis lazuli, you can complement the gemstone. Citrine, you go for the yellow. Complement the gemstone, which is only going to make their colour saturation look that much more uh, beautifully intense. Um, or, as you said earlier on, Monica, just to have that wonderful little pop of, uh, of colour um, yeah. as and when you do put it on or off. Fourteen pounds. And 99 pence for 370 meters, plus you get the corresponding needle. And what I haven't tried yet, but I would like to try, is how to knot with elastic. Um, you know, so like you have the normal pearl knotted necklaces, but knot it with elastic because then it should still be stretchy, but you still have the color of the elastic creating the knots and creating the um, sort of the flash of color between your, uh, whatever beads that you're using, even if it's opaque beads and you can't see the color of the elastic through the beads, but you can see the knots in between, like you would with your silk, silk cord colors in between um, yeah. whatever beads that you're using. Perfect, amazing. So that would work. There were 300, we've got brand new buyers getting involved as well. Hi, Susan saying some of these colors yes. would be great for amber bracelets, lovely idea. Absolutely, yes. Well, guess what? Tomorrow at 11 o'clock, we've got an amber selection for the first time in months. Months and months and months. That's a great call, Susan. Yes. Yeah, um, we've got a sausage amber. dog amber. Oh. Oh. oh my, my son is so into sausage dogs at the moment because you're seeing them everywhere at the They're moment. So cute. We've got rounds. We've got different shapes and sizes as well um, coming up at... Yeah, they are so cute, aren't they? I love all dogs, though. Yeah. I saw the smallest chihuahua the other day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so cute, really dotty. All dogs, they're all ace, aren't they? Um, well done. From 300, we are down to stock update. Okay, less than 40 of the remaining. Cheryl's just got three. Janice just got two. Maker's just got three. Amazing. I got two. Um, Janet, Anthony and Kay, Diane, Jenny, Lincolnshire, Brenda, Jill, Alison, Aloma, Marilyn, Claire, Margaret, Pauline, Deborah, Lisa, Vanessa. Well done. Um, we're going to do a 60 second clock. Stay where you are. I can see there is a queue. Look, look, um, for example, if you go down the one side of the call screen, you can see one, 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 one. That's because you've pressed your option one. So you're in the process of speaking, waiting for our call center. I can see you there. Um, you'll turn to a T when you're actually answered. So there is a little bit of a cue, but we are talking, you know, a couple of minutes, that's all. It's worth bearing with our amazing call centre. They will get to you. So Maureen's just been answered. Avril's just been answered. Um, bear with our call centre. They will get to you. You can alternatively still shop with us as well on the um, on the phone lines. Um, sorry, on the web and on the app, of course. There's no, there's no cues there. Stay where you are. Our call centre will get to you, I promise you, on that one. Um, but, yeah... You want to see the necklace that uh, that Monica's created? Yeah, there we go. So no need if you've run out of if you've run out of clasps. Oh yeah. Then just go with a stretchy necklace. Just got some beady beads on it, and then some of the three millimeter faceted. Yeah. That you could have got from the uh, deal of the day. Perfect. Mm. Absolutely perfect. And the only only prerequisite for a necklace is that it's got a stretch enough to go over your head, obviously. <laughs> 
Um, yeah. 60 seconds, we're closing this auction. Just because we move on doesn't mean you have to. Um, just stay where you are on those phone lines. Um, yeah, speak to our call centre and they will uh, obviously get these on their way to you as well. From 300, um, I was happy at, at 1999. I thought yeah. that was an incredible deal, to be honest, for 370 metres of beautiful brand new elastic and the needle. Um, yeah, but let's just bonus. Let's just work out then if it's enough for a thousand bracelets, 15 pounds. Divided by a thousand. One and a half P. Each stretchy bracelet. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know you've got to add your gemstones, but yeah, one and a half P. P worth of elastic. Is that right? I think that's right. I don't know. You're great at maths. I'm not. If it was a hundred, it would be 15 P, but it's a thousand. So one and a half P worth of elastic in a bracelet. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember half pennies? No. I didn't live in this country when you still had. Oh, we had one. Yeah. Half penny sweets. You used to feel like you're rich if you had a handful of half pennies. All oh, right. <laughs> yeah, go down and get your little, little, little on, a, on a Friday. Go down and get your sweets. Um, amazing. Well done. Now, we are going to do something unprecedented, says Roscoe Ooh. in my ear. Sha are we? Oh. Should we do that? Uh, do you know, that's amazing. Um, if you want spares of your needles... We've never done these on their own previously before. So this is the two different sizes. Um, and we have got quantity of them as well. So these, these I would say, is really an essential to a jewellery maker's stash, isn't it? And um, as I was saying, you can use them for other things other than your elastic. So I would definitely, the one that comes with your elastic, keep that to go with your elastic. But then you can use this to get other threads. Sometimes you have, <laughs> I mean, this sounds like a... Um, a funny thing, but when I have some gemstones left over, like I have my strand here, I like to thread them back onto the th onto the, the thread that they came on. Yeah, they don't. So that I can keep them as a as a, as a strand, whatever's left over. Um, and I usually struggle to do that because the thread that's in there is so tight fitting. Or through. fraying. Yeah. Yeah. Or fraying. Or fraying something like that. So this would. So I can that. work this with. That's that's a top tip actually, because uh, do you know I normally just decant them into one big dish, oh, and right. of course then they it becomes just a, a mass oh, of multicolored yeah. gemstones. Um, okay, so I can use this with my wildfire. I can use this with my silks. I can use this with uh, um, monofilament, as yes. you said earlier on. Yes. They don't have to be your elastic needles. Now, this is quite unprecedented. We don't normally bring you components. So, to be honest, let me rephrase that. We can't normally bring you components individually. It's not a rule that, that you know, that, that Ross and I decide. It's not <laughs> something that um, we can't usually do. However, today, on this occasion, we can. It looks like chopsticks, doesn't it? Um, but you can see the difference between the sizes of them as well. So, obviously, you'd use this maybe with your pearls. Is there gemstone, micro faceted gemstones? Yeah, some of them, yeah. Um, there's a very small little fish hook on the top. Yeah. Can you see that there? There you go. Very, very small little fish hook. 5 99 It's worthwhile having a little... Uh, who, was, who was it that messaged in earlier on saying they were looking for their needles? And they'd, uh, and, and they'd lost them, couldn't find them anyway. It's always worth having a little backup plan, isn't it? Um, OK, we're going even lower. We have got quantity of them. The other size is available on pre-order. You can shop ahead. So this is the one mil needle, yeah? Mm -hmm. £2.99. So this is the thicker one. Amazing, 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 amazing. Um, so you could do things like standard beading with this, couldn't you? Yes, yes. If you struggle with your fingers, it's much easier to thread through than just your... You said earlier on, particularly with things like nuggets. That's what I oh, struggle yes. with. Yes, because the then you regular. Use, you'd use it the same way as you use a, um, a seed beading needle. So you actually pick up your nuggets with the needle. Yeah. You don't have to pick them up one by one with your fingers. And you just thread them like this? Yeah. That technique. Like a little spoon. A like little spoon. <laughs> scoopy, scoopy. That's all. Super simple. And then... What? So hang on. I'm trying to think now. I've, am, I having a, am I having a blonde moment? So wait, I would hook, put the thread, where would the silk? Well, no, you thread on your gemstones. Thread on your gemstones. And then you put your thread the thread in there, and then you pull your gemstones over the thread. Pull the gemstones over the thread, and then you do it again. Yeah. Do it again and again and again. Genius. Yeah. I was making that far more complicated than I should have done, shouldn't I? Wasn't I? <laughs> um, 2 99 well done. Again, it's super busy. Well done, everybody. Um, you can get hold of the other size as well. Hold those phone lines. I can guarantee every single one of you um, the needles. 
at least one. Um, so do hold those phone lines. You will be successful. We have got big quantities. Um, you can get three of the needles for under £10. Pretty amazing, isn't it? And again, it's in your stash then. I can't remember. The, I remember us launching these. I was thinking, oh, yeah, they're great. That's a good idea. They're revolutionary, aren't they, to your trusty, stretchy bracelet? Um, oh, all of a sudden, my call screens has completely gone bananas. Well done, everyone. Fours, threes, twos. Amazing. Congratulations. Um, we have got the other side as well, you, so you can shop ahead and pre-order on that one too. Should we do it now? Yeah, swap it around. Look at, stay where you are. There you all are. Um, and let's bring you the point six. So again, you can visually tell the difference between the size of the needle, and I guess that depends on the uh, the size of the drill hole. Of course, yeah. You know the price point. Well done. It is busy. So please do bear with our call centre, but know that if you have already made, if you're on the phone lines, if you're on the web, just a little bit of patience and you will be successful on these because we have got big quantity of them as well. £2.99. So tell you what, it's going to save you so much time. I was watching a video on YouTube because obviously we all watch videos on YouTube, don't yeah. we? <laughs> and there was a lady who was trying to thread uh, some elastic folded like I did through some beads. And she spent a half an hour making a needle by taking her fire line, threading it into a beading needle, then creating a loop from that, which she could then put her elastic through. And I'm like, well, I have a needle. <laughs> so $2.99, darling, you just need one of these. That's all you need. Amazing. Exactly. Ah, make sure you do check out your baskets. Now, tomorrow, can I just say, whilst loads of you, are, you're all there, and I can see you waiting on the phone lines as well. Tomorrow, I'm going to be, uh, who have we got? Go, Laura tomorrow, lovely. So we've got Laura tomorrow. Tomorrow, um, We've got a beautiful white jadeite, brand new <coughs> early bird. Um, and then we have got the most unbelievable pearls with Dave um, as your deal of the day. Yeah, so incredible. Monica, as always, it's so lovely to see you. Oh, Do you, you know when you're back next? Yes, I'm back on the 7th of June. 7th of June. Mm, Don't know what day that Carol. is. Is it? Yeah. Okay. But then I'm back again a week later than that. And is that with me? On the 14th, so that would be with you. Yay! <laughs> Amazing. Let, oh. Ooh. oh, my goodness. I know time wow. is running out, but look at these pearls coming up with Dave tomorrow at 10 oh, o'clock. Oh, my colours. goodness me. They're goodness unbelievable. Me. Look at the quality. Um, make sure you stay on those phone lines. I can see uh, just how busy it is. Good luck. Make sure you're with me tomorrow. Laura Binding and Dave, I'll see you bright and early. Thank you once again. Bye.